She not a lesbian for peace, she turned pisbian, push P, push a P. I'm capital P, I write you president, count president, push a P. Portuguese on her knees, my banana P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep P. Privacy, privacy, bitch, I'm pushing P. Purple paint, pussy paint, bitch, I'm pushing P. Push a P, I'm pushing P. Push a P. Yeah. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. Push a P. All right, don't forget to clock in, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to this chill session. We're gonna be pushing some P and begging some B. Oh, this video is for later. It's a great Derek video. But now let's get uh, ambitious for this bag. I love uh, music videos that have two minutes of non-music. I'm lurking. I'm lurking. I'm lurking. I'm lurking. That's what's hard. Grab that Pepsi, grab that uh, Wendy's chili, secure your PSN account. Join all the, the troll discords. I'm lurking. I'm lurking. Phil's erroneous use of tips and bits to fund his addiction to wrestling controls. All right, let's go back to the requests, okay? We're going to start in a couple minutes. Uh, the first uh, thing on the agenda is going to be Epic, Chill, King of Fighters, uh, whatever that was. And uh, then some clips. And then Horizon's Forbidden Vest is going to not save the business. 
and yeah maybe some other stuff we'll see maybe i'm gonna play some dying light while we watch some phil i don't know i don't know You can request a song with exclamation SR and the name of your song. You can also clock in with exclamation clock in so I can know you're here. This does nothing, but it's it's fun to do. And you can also do exclamation beg, but I think it's a little bit too early for that. I haven't even started the stream yet to beg. see the great video about dsp bitching about uh on-demand engagement it's one of my favorite dsp isms uh it was so good and then yeah like i said horizon stuff i want to watch a, a theo video the dst tries it unboxing horizon forbidden west uh kiss kiss the ds theo series are great so fun then we have a shinko video that's a minute long and uh, that's it from my watch later playlist. Maybe it's going to be something else. Good evening, everybody who is lurking. Good evening, everybody who is stalking. Uh, good morning to the, the people on every coast all around the globe. Yeah, the potato video. We already got a bot in chat. Shout out to that bot. Susan Brickman, you're getting lean, buddy. have a new method for capturing timestamps i hope that's gonna work so far so good but we'll see how much for a beanie uh, i don't know i have a couple of beanies around the house i was thinking if if i ever bring the camera back i'm gonna put but it's gonna be free not gonna be doing ironic dsp isms well, I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. Hey, hey. Said I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. Hey, hey. And I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. And if I share with you my story, would you share your dollar with me? Well, I don't know if I'm walking on solid ground. Hello, Rene. Hello, chat. How's it going? Don't I want is someone to help me. 
<laughs> you wanted just a camera for for the hat just a camera frame where a, a hat is just a hat i could do that i can put a picture of the of a hat on the screen if we raise a hundred dollars a day i'm gonna put a picture of a of a hat on the screen and you can vote for which picture you want that's fucking awesome then i can put a picture of anything i can put a picture of phil that's fucking awesome that's a great idea that's the feedback that i want then we can have a second tier goal for another picture of, of anything else hey what's up manuel Uh, newest news in the lolcow universe is wings getting his playstation account hacked again um now keemstar is involved uh, there's severe allegations and uh yeah it's it's kind of weird it's a thing man it's a thing keemstar was in discords talking to wings wings was talking to the trolls they made Wings and his wife um, weigh themselves live. Literally. Oh yeah, he got banned from Twitter too. Thanks, uh, Realize Open. He did get banned from Twitter. <laughs> Everything is just a mess. Uh, what else? Nothing new with Phil actually if i gotta be honest with you he didn't uh save the stream with horizon because obviously who'd want to watch fucking phil played on day one instead of everybody else the hulk is in the house. yo the hulkster is in the house holy shit is he a legendary hulkster He's got a brand new beat when the <laughs> what did he weigh I i'm not sure but I think he, he almost got back all the weight that, that he got before the surgery. So yeah. And now some trolls in the in the Discord were asking him for their money back, to do refunds for the surgery. <laughs> it was crazy, man. It's crazy. He was just talking to like 10 people that hate him. And they were talk talking over each other because it's it's just like a mess. He was sitting there asking for his account back. They were talking over each other. He, all of them were asking him different questions. He hasn't even finished uh, answering one of them. The other question is on top. It's just a uh, nightmare. And if you want to watch all that footage, I think it recently came out the whole four-hour call. If you want to watch all of that nonsense, you can freely go get uh, go watch it. And now I realize we've been live for 13 minutes. This is crazy. Let's just start with fucking Phil. Hmm. By the way, I have a new transition today. Get a load of this. Wow! That's like epic, man. Okay, let's go. The Hulkster is in the house. The pulls are, are going. We are actively pulling legendary Hulksters. Uh, first video today is going to be Derek's Path to Degeneracy because I watched it and I fucking loved it. It's a, it's a Frogger video from uh, quite some time ago, I think. But yeah uh let's let's watch this first to get warmed up then we're gonna get into actual fill and you know what i mean and that's it thanks everybody for being here thank you for uh the chill and let's just hang out for a little bit that food do you like best least and why so the free courses are yeah as uh as the videos go you can always request a song it's exclamation sr with uh you know the song name and who is is singing it and yeah, it's gonna play in the background. All right, sounds good. At school, are uh, drama because I like performing in, uh, in plays and uh, in uh, TSM. TSM. Oh God! <laughs> His fucking Twitter stream is just a nightmare. TSM, 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 um, gym because I like playing sports like basketball, soccer. Hey, Derek loves basketball. And uh, also, um, so 
science because I like doing science experiments uh, with the teacher and my lab partner. TSM. Let's go. Conlango, Spiga, Bjergsen, Double N, and Biofrost. And uh, watching episodes of the Lab of Science Guys. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, this is phenomenal. <laughs> what are these fucking questions? Oh my lord. This is something else. He hates math, obviously, because he's a DSP fan. Can't even put two and two together. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Well, if this didn't wake you up, I don't know what else. Uh, I guess what else would be if I literally went to Derek's fucking Twitter. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Uh, anyways, the first video from Phil is going to be the, the one for the King of Fighters. Let's go somewhat, uh, somewhat chronologically. Now, King of Fighters fighting game, it came, came out like two days ago or whatever. And it was great as we're about to hear from Phil. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about yesterday, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, I played King of Fighters 15 all day long, all right? I gave you the history of the King of Fighters franchise on the free stream podcast. Oh, yeah, this was terrible. Terrible. For if you were watching this podcast live, nightmare. This shit was terrible. The basics of the game, at the beginning of the stream, we tried out the Fatal Fury team and took them in the story mode, played through their entire story, and I was going to go online with them. But then, during that initial stream, people were absolutely demanding that I play with the dinosaur, even though it's just a wrestler with a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, because it's a wrestler. Dinosaur. <laughs> it's a wrestler. They were demanding. I'm doing, I play with the dinosaur. So I did. I switched teams. It was called Antonov's Wrestling Squad or team or something like that. And it was the mini boss from King of Fighters 14. Plus the King of Dinosaurs character, plus Ramon, who's like a luchador character. From the King of Dinosaurs HD. <laughs> the King of Dinosaurs, that's fucking DSP. Because they don't exist anymore, that's how he can be king. And I basically played with them all day long. First, I went and I went to their mission modes, learned them. Then I went online for a few matches, then we ran out of time on the first stream. So then on the late stream... We ran out of time, then talk less. We ran out of fucking time. Imagine being this fucking guy that that is is dependent on the day one views and before he starts that day one hot game and i'm talking both about uh, about horizon and king of fighters before he starts them he needs to ramble for two fucking hours and and therefore losing a bunch of people that are interested and curious because they go and watch somebody else that's that's the same shit with uh with uh horizon that happened that's why it was so fucking disappointed because people were already watching other people who are actually good and have better quality shit and get to it faster. Three hours, actually an hour later. Because uh, Raven's Dolphin was live for 12 hours when that game came out. In the beginning of the stream, he started playing the game. He was level 10 or 11 by the end of the stream. That's how you fucking play a day one game, not like this guy. Where you just ramble a lot, then you, you play the game while reading tips and cheers, and you're writing the fucking tips on your shitty leaderboard that is actually a manual. So yeah, very fucking hard. Great hours of online ranked gameplay with this team, okay? Now, first of all, what was the impressions that people got of the game? In general, the feedback I got from you guys is as follows. Wow, this game looks great. And it seems to be Shout out to my neighbors for drilling at 6 p.m. That's the feedback I got initially from this first batch of gameplay that I did all day yesterday. Okay, people in general seem to be pleased. Attendance was very high for a fighting game. Unlike Cat, people are pleased, allegedly. For a fighting game, I was surprised that we had that many people because I thought, oh, there'll be so many. <laughs> Attendance was good. I'm not going to get a, a ton of audience. Yeah, because it's a fighting game. You just want to, you know. They, they just want to see you you and your shitty reactions come on because every if you watch them play one fighting game you've seen them all it's just the same shit it's just the same shit there's a veil of professional for, for, former fighting game player and behind that is just the same excuses and lag and online fucking opponents or whatever yeah so yeah 
which was awesome. The gameplay mechanics of the game are pretty good. It's classic King of Fighters combined with some new new systems in place, which I figured would be how they would do it. Um, have I mastered the game? Fuck no. This is the first time I even sat down to really play it, and uh, I don't think I really implemented half the systems in the game yet. I'm just learning the basics. And the thing is with fighting games, this is what people... Super interesting stream. And, and he's also that guy that is... Not only is he a streamer, so he has to be extra entertaining. He wants to go into the tutorial area in, in the, the training mode. And just fuck around and sit around and, and do like training practice. Which is, of course, the hottest thing that you want from a day one game. You just go to the training and you just spam. And read chat. Really don't understand who aren't the competitive fighters is that you can't just sit down, pick a character, and just play with them and, and, and be doing well. You don't have to be a competitive fucking guy. Like, you, you really don't have to. ...playing with certain characters to learn them in a competitive setting. For example, yesterday, I basically played with this wrestler's team the entire day. You can do that. Yeah, you can literally do it. You don't have to play competitive. Just play against the fucking bots. What I can tell you is this. By the because against bots you can't complain of lag but you can complain of them i don't know telegraphing your inputs and in reading your inputs i actually got oh no dinosaur i actually felt like that's the character out of the three that i played all day yeah because he, he's relatable huh i did the best with the ramon character who's the luchador i think is actually the best out of all of them but i also think he's the most complex yeah he, he does talk about this like he wants to be a professional and it's this weird thing where he's been saying for so long that he's not in on the pro scene anymore he's not a a professional fighting game player he doesn't want to play it that intense but then he's talking about these games like he has to learn a lot so simply so he can play online but that's probably because he's uh, insecure and he's afraid of getting beat up because if he gets beat up instantly people are gonna come out they're gonna do it anyway. They're gonna come out and say, Phil, you're a fucking professional. How how did you get bodied like this? And then he's gonna be like, oh, I'm so fucking idiot in chat saying that I, I get fucking bodied. It was lag. More time to master and learn. Or some other excuse. These combo inputs are very difficult compared to other characters. A lot of hit confirms, a lot of timing. And because of that, it's gonna take a while to play with a character like that and master. Just talk to me about low views. Don't talk to me about fucking mechanics. Let's skip through this nonsense. Okay. Okay. People who are not educated on fighting. No, I don't give a fuck about fighting games. That's not why I'm watching Phil. I'm not watching Phil for the fighting. <laughs> I'm watching for the begging. It's even more challenging in King of Fighters because, again, you're using three characters. All right. Very nice. Roughly, give or take, 50 new subscribers to DS. Oh, okay. Let's let's talk metrics. The support was great. You know, we hit our, our full funding goal for the first stream. We did funding goal. Stream. Um. Engagement was great all day. We got engagement was <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Literally, it wasn't because you're about to say that you barely got any fucking views. So engagement was shit. For the streams and and I gained roughly, roughly give or take fifty new subscribers to DSP Gaming during the course of yesterday. Fifty new subs, fantastic people that that sub just so they can troll during Horizon and get banned. That's why. By the way, I would I, I would actually prefer people to sub to DSP and literally never watch his shit than him not getting subs at all. Because I want to see him be a, a 200k channel that can barely break a thousand views. That's what I want to see because that is success. That is how success looks like. Good. That's better. That than is engagement. Five ten a day. I got like fifty, so I increased that five fold. That's huge. And now what'll happen is those people want five times the chill. When I play again tomorrow, and they'll be able to come and join the discussion on Saturday, which is great, right? Awesome. Cool. Now, that was on stream. That was on stream. Now let's talk about. All right, let's talk about the on demand. This is bad news. The bad news segment. Silent majority. The silent majority. Literally 500 people is a majority. Watch all my videos on demand behind the scenes on YouTube. Bro, they're unwatchable on demand. Why would you watch them play fucking fighting games? Because all this fucking gameplay is, is completely skippable. Look at this. Let's go to his channel because you know I, I like doing this. I'm going to timestamp this as a, as a thing. Uh, I like going to his channel to make fun of his views because he's lame as fuck. Uh, so let's go to DSP Gaming.
of course, Forbidden West is already a massive flop. It got like 400 views for, what, 16 hours? It's lame as fuck. The, the one that got a lot of views is, is this one that he set as his uh, highlighted video. So, of course, it got like 3,000 views because you got some people visiting this page to make fun of the views, probably. Uh, so, here we got, look, Horizon is already lame. It's already lame. 500 views. People gave up after the first fucking episode. King of Fighters. Okay, it's a little bit better, but that's still part five. Okay, maybe there was some begging in this one. That's why it's like this. Let's actually change this view so you can see the, the entirety of what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is uh, this what, what I mean. So we were talking about uh, engagement, right? Superb engagement. Let's click on a random video. Let's uh, say this one. King of Fighters, 15. 30 dislikes, 22 likes. Miserable. Where is the engagement? Where is the begging? This has four fucking comments. One of which is wow from the romance cat guy. And then we love it. And generic like comments of people that got manipulated into commenting. And it's great. As you can see, all, all this shit is fucking skippable. Why would you watch this on demand? The only way it could pass is if you watched it live. Because you literally can't like skip forward or something. Because this is just like fighting shit. And, you know, generic, barely watchable shit. Alright, let's go back to the, the fill shit. And support them that way. Do you want to know the honest truth? The videos aren't doing so well. For a new release... Yeah, because you, you're trash. Much more new release. It's not the release, it's you. And or likes. That's the one thing in common with every metric on his channel is him. And comments. It's almost kind of dead. One of the videos, as of right now, has been live for about over 12 hours and doesn't even have 300 views yet. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Kind of crazy. Well, the silent majority doesn't exist. As you can see, they don't exist. Unless you make a massive drama video about it. Which is uh, the case where a couple of people come out and say, Phil, I've been watching you, but I don't really watch that actively. So I'm sorry that I can't watch six hours of YouTube videos a day, but I have a fucking job, Phil. And then he likes their comment and says, it's okay, I appreciate your support anyways. But please, I need your buy-in out about that no i'm not yeah adsense i don't know how much it pays because i don't run ads but i think it's five dollars per a thousand views maybe i don't know i'm really not but at the same time what this is showing me is that maybe people like to watch it live and see that live you don't know if it's gonna win or not you know but the on-demand viewership just isn't there i don't know but i would say if you're someone i don't know videos back slowly over time please if you like the, co the the video content, please give them likes and please leave comments. I please give them comments. likes. Maybe like five comments. <laughs> <laughs> Successful fucking channel. Mr. Rebrand. Mr. Fucking ambitious to rebrand his channel. Five comments. Five fucking comments on his video. So sad. Such a sad state of affair. And he's trying to get this channel to go in, in a weird direction because it's been dead for years. It's just been a landfill of garbage. Uh, it's been basically a wasteland of, of nonsense. And then he wants to jump on it one day and then start asking people for fake engagement to fool, to fool the algorithm yet again that somebody actually cares about this channel when obviously nobody cares about this channel. 500 fucking views, 20 likes, that shit is nothing. For somebody of his size and his, uh, uh, if you, you want to say uh, notoriety, that's okay. Or fame, if you want to put it the, the nice way. It's the same shit as click on the ads. It's just something that he asked people to do. And when you actually get engagement, it's organic. And that's the best engagement you can get is organic. When people genuinely want to do that. And not because you tell them. Obviously, if you tell somebody like the video, it's going to work. Because it's a call to action. Every site has those. Like buy now. Click here for more info. It's just like a... A thing you you gotta tell people, but you also you gotta tell them to motivate them, not just so they can do it for the sake of doing it. But please like this fucking video. I'm trying to get my channel back. I had 50 new subs yesterday. Yeah, dude, this doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. I played it all day yesterday, and I only got five comments. Five dollars. It was almost like everyone wanted to be there live, but no one really is watching the stuff on demand for whatever reason. Yeah, what the fuck do you expect? Is that a huge deal? No. Then why are you bitching about it? 
It's not a huge deal, but this channel is my livelihood. But it's not a huge deal. Not in general. The what? Are just as important as the on-demand videos. On yeah, but then why are they trash? Why are the on-demand videos trash? Why? Why did nobody care? Why do you have to ask people to drop likes? And even after you do, you get 20 likes. What? ESP Gaming for this channel's growth. It's so fucking important. So it's not a humongous deal. At the same time, if I'm going to be playing uh, this game long term as I would like to, obviously I need to get support from both sides, not just one. Support from, from both sides. He wants to get gangbanged with support. Support from the on-demand viewers long term if you guys are watching. He wants to get blacked by support. Hopefully people will eventually watch the videos, but I guess we'll see what happens. It, like I said, it was weird. The streams did great. And then it's like the opposite. Yeah, that's what I said, big guy. It's, um, why would you watch DSP play a fucking fighting game uh, on demand? You would, uh, even if you're his fan, it's even better to watch him the, some troll video. Because they at least put fucking highlights. Because the, the on-demand shit is just like, what, four hours of, of the same shit. And it's so repetitive and the excuses are always the same. And if he wins, he says he's good. And if he loses, he says uh, the game is glitched. So yeah, and there's no story, and people like watching me play narrative-based games. I, uh, again, narrative-based games. I'm trying to understand. I give up. A long time ago. Okay, I I turned down my volume for some reason. Anyways, he gave up trying to understand how things work a long time ago. So you're on autopilot now. You're literally giving up to try and figure out why is his business trash, and instead he's gonna ask random people for fucking likes and for views. Like DSP, I doubt you get any quality watch time out of those people. Out of the 500 people that watched that King of Fighters video, how many do you think watched the entire thing? Probably like 10, maybe even less. Because it's it's a whole hour, even if, if not more, of just the same shit. He can get those views, which is, I think you need to watch, what, 30 seconds of, of the video to get to give a view? I'm not sure how it works. It's it's just YouTube shit. Uh, and I think the best way to do it is just to not care about it and do your thing. And then if uh, you make shit that is not garbage, somebody's going to check it out. So, yeah, he's never going to learn. If you ever assume something as a content creator like me, you fail. Why did you move across the country on the assumption that YouTube is gonna be good and it's gonna give you the revenue. What is this fucking advice? You've been making assumptions for years. You bought a fucking BMW and all these props and all this garbage for Project 7 and all these statues with the assumption that YouTube is gonna keep making money. And then it stopped. And what happened? Begging happened. Black shirt videos happened. Massive emergencies happen. Moving from Twitch to YouTube, then back to Twitch, then back to YouTube. Opening a Patreon, promising a bunch of stuff, abandoning the Patreon, becoming a live streamer. All this shit is just an impulsive decision based on the fact that he ex expected the whole time YouTube to keep making him money. And in the end, it didn't. It, he took his entire life from 2014 until 2017 plus on the expectation that YouTube would just simply keep going. And then it didn't because it's fucking YouTube and not a job. If I assume I'm going to do really well on this stream, it'll end up being the slowest stream I've ever done. If I assume this is not going to do well, it gets sky high support. I just, I don't get it. Then you're really bad at reading your business. Because if you run a business, Mr. Business Degree, you need to make some kind of forecasts so you don't go homeless, probably. So you should know what to kind of expect from your business. And not one day the possibility that you're going to have a literally $10 in tips and another day that's going to be 300 which obviously is not a functional business if you're having your income fluctuate like that. And I'm like, whatever. I okay, the next one. Wow. Uh, considering dropping Horizon. But first... Uh, let's see the the DS uh, the DST tries it. This is a Theo video, uh, Dark Side Theo. It's a great parody of the DSP tries it. I'm gonna send it in chat. Please, guys, go and and drop a like. It's a it's a funny thing. And uh, yeah, here it is. Let's let's get into it for a little bit, and then we're gonna do something else. Uh, we'll see the we'll start with the Horizon Saga. And then after we're done with this, I'm going to run a poll. Maybe we're going to watch him live. 
while I play Dying Light. Maybe we're gonna watch some uh, other shit uh, while I play Dying Light. Hello everyone, Dark Side Theo here with another DSC unboxes. Okay, uh, today I'm gonna be unboxing Horizon uh, Prohibit West. Okay. Now, this is a sequel to a game. Now, get this, right? Okay. The first... Yeah, he got all the... He got all the DSP-isms in place. It's it's the, the inflection of the voice, the rocking back and forth. You'll see later, it, it gets better. Dad, zero dad. And, you know... Sorry, excuse me, okay? Uh, zero dad. And, like... Why did they change the name? Okay, look, a uh, PS4. There was a game called Horizon Zero Dad, and that was like an iconic name. Everyone knew what that game was, and now they changed it to Horizon Prohibit West. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> doesn't make any sense, dude. Right? I go and pick up the game. Now, of course, I have to get on PS. Four because, like you know, it's cheaper. Yes, five because the fuck cheaper by ten dollars. Golden children and gold boys all took the PlayStation fives, man. No one could find them, and I, you know I can't even get a Series X X back. I can get the Series S, but I don't want to use the Series S. I have a full time gamer business battle, and I need the option. For this, okay. Secondly, okay, uh, it can't play this because, guys, it's a PlayStation exclusive. All right, let's get a little bit further into. It. Uh, meanwhile, big ups to Paul J. Brazel for a super chat, uh, who says, uh, "Come on, Meerkat, you know, uh, DSP is his own demise. Before the SOK, GTG, the lesser, or even me." Phil himself is his own detractor. He is. He's always been. He's always been. That's why he's constantly wondering why his channel is doing so bad. Man, I don't know why. It's you. Yes, you. Me. Me. Yes, me. Like what? Last year and the year before? A game called Ghost of Sushi? And uh, that game was like way better. The gameplay was way cooler like you had a sword and uh you know the sword like then you were like the parry and then like you were the right <laughs> okay let's skip ahead a little bit uh you make sure you go and and watch the video if you want to watch the whole thing dude, how am i supposed to play that do this now my business is at jeopardy again oh my god look okay we just got out of the situation where i got kicked off a site and now this happens? This is day one views, and now I can't get it because, oh, your game's gone. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now I'm driving. All right. All the way back. Uh, now let's get into the next segment, which is called um, The SP is Complaining About Something Again. But first, I want to see if there's any bitching during uh, Zero Dawn uh, Forbidden West itself. That's what I mean. Let's see. I think usually and lead has those uh, the clips or unrecorded. Oh, here it is. Chastises fans for for not meeting goals. I is this the second stream? Is it the first one? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, anyways, we're not going to go by uh, by chronologically. Let's just watch the fucking the, the clip. Oh, this is pre stream. <clears throat> oh, very nice fucking clear. Thank you. All right, everyone. Big ups, uh, Paul J. Brassel for the super chat. That was not sounding very good when I first started talking. That doesn't have a message, or at least it didn't come up. Ready for another two-hour session of Horizon Forbidden West. Now, of course, the first thing that everyone is going to ask me here tonight. Oh, he has clips from both streams. Let me see, because I want to. I want to get it with the first one, because with the first one, he's more hyped, and then it turns into desperate. It's like, man, this game was supposed to... He hyped this month as one of the hypest gaming months in the history of gaming. And on the premiere stream, 
of one of the two hypest games of the year. He didn't even hit a hundred bucks. Hilarity. Uh, here we have some clapping pounding. That was a recent one. Well, this is the one that I can find. And then there's some Arceus, which I don't know. I think it might be blooper. Uh, pleading for tips after the first one. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the first stream. Guys, thank you for your support today. First of all, we are back at the record number of members. Three, seven, record number of socks. That's awesome. They're all real and they're all interact with this chat. This is what kind of surprises me. If he has uh, literally, uh, what what is it? 374 people that give him money to be members. Why does nobody fucking talk in his chat? None of them are in his chat. It's just they exist. It's obviously they're fake. They're not even fucking real. Uh, but he doesn't care. He gets the money. And that's why he's in the position where he is, where he has to beg for tips every day and has no idea how to read metrics or what to do is because he only cares about getting the money. And after he gets the money, it doesn't matter. Sure, it'll be great with uh, everyone. Right now, we are locked 374 and haven't moved, okay? <laughs> Nightbot had a four-message streak in his chat. Wow, very fucking nice. For over an hour since very I nice. The tips are locked. There hasn't been a single tip. We're at Not a single tip. We're at 100. You have to pick a hat for me to wear. At it's fucking sad. By the way, when, when there's no desktop audio, do you even hear the music? Like now? I don't think so. So why do we even have those requests going? All right, I think this is okay. Okay. A vest or a football jersey. It's the premier. I just don't want them to uh, to overlap way too much. It sure would be great. We can get some more support on the stream, but I can't make anything happen. All right. I do appreciate those who did support the stream. So far, I'm liking it a lot, this game. Uh, I think it's going to get better now that we're actually going to get to the real gameplay mechanics. Okay? What are the real gameplay mechanics? What did you do for like two hours? It's the same mechanics as the previous one, plus you have some more traversal. What is this bullshit? And it, he's going to do the same shit like he did with Dying Light, with Days Gone, and shit like that, where the game starts too late. Like, bro, these games are meant to be played for like 40, 60 hours. Of course it's going to start 10 hours into the game. Let's continue one more hour and then more tonight, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you to ERT plus Y76P for a super chat. I appreciate that. Oh, the disappointment of saying for a super chat. <laughs> that money doesn't mean anything. Uh, he should actually, I was thinking today, he, he should have the new phrase that's called Thank you for your delayed support. I do because it's not the same as a tip. It takes time to arrive. I appreciate that you guys have uh, still been supporting through your super chats and the like. Although, I don't know, support dramatically slowed down on this stream. I haven't had a tip for over two hours. and uh... Oh yeah, he asked uh, Rob on Wheels to send him 25 bucks. So he can name a Pokemon next time he's playing Pokemon. This is how, how terrible this fucking stream was. In, in terms of uh, support, quote unquote. And... Super Chats also were dead. Didn't even get a new membership today. Now, do you want me to be honest with you? No, I lie to me. This was gonna happen. I actually no, you fucking didn't. No, you fucking didn't, you scumbag. You were hoping this game would fix your life. Because the same thing... This game was the best thing since sliced bread. Come on. This was the hypest game of the year for him. Uh, outside of Elden Ring, which is coming next week. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, you are kidding. People complained the game was too boring. Oh, it's the fucking game's fault because it's boring. And of course. Of course. Entire playthrough that I played that game. Yeah, because you're bad and completely unimaginative. You shouldn't be playing fucking open world games. The only games you should be playing are fucking scripted uh, Man of Medan, Until Dawn, um, David Cage type games. That's the only shit you should play. So the game can play itself and you can just sit there and go laugh and read tips and fucking read chat. And tell him to focus on the game. Now, here we are five years later. I thought maybe things... Yeah, you're just as boring. Five years later, you're still on level one. 
Wait. Still on mission fucking one. You're still on mission one. Um, it seems like still on the first mission, man. Open world, explore, have fun, platforming, good plot, and people will complain constantly. And you know, you get to a point where it's like I'm kind of numb to it at this point. Like I like. like he's numb to it. He's numb to getting no tips. I guess. <laughs> Big ups, uh, Paul J. Brazel for a super chat. A big ups to Pig Asino Kenshin. Mash DSP on uh, King of Fighters. Big ups to that guy. Everybody mashing DSP is... I'm a fan of theirs. Goji Tanks, he's my soulmate. I will ship him across the country. I'm not, admittedly. We basically just got through... If he gets a job, of course. Obviously. So Can't be freeloading, dude. We got to pay bills. No, I'm not gonna drop it. Idiots already... Drop it! Go back to Dying Light 2. Drop it. No, come on, Dying Light 2. He's not gonna drop it for Dying Light. Um, and I wanna play it. You know, maybe maybe it's the fact that today was release day. A lot of people are actually playing it for themselves. Yeah, a lot of people that are interesting, not like DSP. Right? Maybe in a couple days' time when I come back to it, then they'll come back to tune into the streams and maybe support them. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. Tell them how they feel, by the way. Uh, is it a Make up a new reality where what you think is correct. Just so he, you can cope with the fact that nobody gives a shit about your stupid ass gameplay. Very nice, delicious, tasty copium. It uh, it's very nutritious. It has uh, plenty of calories inside of it. Fucking copium, tasty. I know this is gonna be a lengthy playthrough. I'm alternating this with King of Fighters this week, so good variety in that regard. But I certainly hope that it's not. Oh, uh, let's invent a new reality, dude. So the things that I I think about make sense. Sounds good. It sucks. Today, here I am playing the game. It's like dead silent in the stream chat. I'm like, what's going on? No one's talking to me. You know? <laughs> the stream chat is dead silent. You have almost 400 members. People that pay you for no reason, by the way. There's no reason. It's nothing that you gain that changes the game. For no reason. And, and still, they don't say shit in chat. There's really nothing Rip. To do about that kind of stuff. Rip. The game's fun. I'm playing it. I'm having a good time. It's not like... It's not like... 400 people, almost. Pay him money. And they don't say anything in chat. The game sucks. Phenomenal. It's not like I'm I'm being terrible at the game or whatever. And people, it's not entertaining. It's just. Oh, like, it's. Oh. You can't really be terrible at this game. You've been playing games. You know how this is played. So hopefully. Oh, I don't like the camera, man. The camera in this game, moving by itself, is is so annoying. But uh, then tomorrow I'm doing King of Fighters. Because it switches the shoulders all the time. It's left, then right. Playing this game, we've probably played it nonstop. Between now Most people that have been doing playthroughs who would have been doing it non-stop and they would have already published their playthroughs. I saw a bunch of people already platinum the game. And we'll be waiting. So yeah. So? No, it's it's not just this. Even if they watch somebody, the person who they're going to watch is going to be way ahead of Phil because they don't have a stupid ass schedule that they have to adhere to. They just play the game and record the footage and upload the footage and then you watch it. And it's 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 in the time span of of a, a day. We'll get some more people on Sunday, and maybe we'll get a little bit more support. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. But I've been playing for over two hours, and there's disheartening. What does that even mean? Makes you want to stop playing the game? I'm not gonna freak out about it. I thought you were enjoying yourself, and that's the most important thing. You know. You oh yeah, I forgot. It's a business. So. Okay. I'm just gonna go right to the town to start. Yeah, you should just uh, speed run through this game. You you shouldn't be allowed to play games like this. You should be allowed to play only extremely linear games. Yeah, and he he stalls in the menu also a lot and reads tips and shit. So if if you like to see day one gameplay of something, go I don't know watch somebody who is popular so they don't read chat all the time and they have their stream automatic and shit. And not this fucking guy. That has to now, he's, he's gonna pause the game to rant at chat or something. No, he doesn't pause the game here, but... But still, it's terrible. Oh yeah, fucking Swaggins. You should definitely be listening to what Swaggins says. And it's weird to me because... We just had an entire month of January. What do I do in January? I played Skyrim. I played Resident Evil 4. Not like I struggled Terrible. With games or whatever. They were fun to play. It was good to go back and play some retro games like that. And I'm still playing Skyrim as it is right now. Um, and I, quite frankly, both attendance and support for those games was better than, than today. The premiere of a hot new game that people have been waiting for for five years. 
Yeah, because they've been waiting for it for five years to watch somebody who plays it that both gives a fuck and is entertaining. They didn't wait five years to watch fucking Phil play it. You know, again, I said, I'm no, the same thing. I said, I, I'm, I'm past the point where I'm trying to predict or figure out how this stuff works. Because I don't think it really does have any consistent way that it works at this point. It just seems to me like... Well, or you're really just terrible at predicting stuff for your own business. It is what it is. And you Pretty bad. Flow, you know? and yeah, you just go with the flow and, and beg every day so you don't lose your house. You're going with the flow? That's how you do it, man. You just chill. Oh, I like the game. By the way, I'm going to bitch about tips for five and a half minutes. For six minutes, actually. You know, I'm sure the Very nice. Interesting and better. Yeah, I'm just going to relax. Let's go. All right, let's go. Hopefully things do pick up, and hopefully it's not a playthrough that I'm playing for two, three weeks, if longer, and every time I play, it's slow. I hope not. Well, that, that physically can't happen, because he begs way too much for that to, to actually be reality. He begs way too intensely no. to, to be having slow streams every day. DSP can't be having slow streams every day. And uh, recently, with his uh, new thousand-year plan, where he's never going to retire, basically... Uh, the, the road for me is clear. He's gonna stream games for the next probably 10 years because already he's having the excuse that he's getting too old. So for the next years, it's gonna be just him deteriorating, becoming worse at literally everything. And at some point, he's gonna have barely any pay pigs, I guess. And it's gonna be actually like two people sending him like a $100 a day just so he can pay bills. So he doesn't become homeless. And the whole begging is gonna be intensified to 11 so it's just, man, I'm going to lose my house this month if I don't pay those bills. And it's going to happen. It literally, he's going to stream until he dies. He's, he's that guy. Winks, I can see him carry on, do something else. He has somewhat of, of somebody who gives a fuck about him. Um, he has a wife, at least, that seems like a halfway uh, up, up human, which is more than I can say about Cat. And yeah, I think Wings could could go off the internet and, and work some shitty job and still be alive, while DSP has nothing going on. He's completely helpless, completely wasted, completely gone. Tonight we should see more of that. What I'm not gonna. Is nah. thank everyone for chilling with me. Thank you everyone who did support the stream, even though the support for some odd reason froze over two hours. Ago. For some reason, some odd reason. You're boring. That's the reason. Nobody cared. That's that's the reason. They didn't care enough to give me money. Why would they give you money? Those who did chill What's the point? And uh, had a good time with me. All right, that's awesome. That was the first begging. Now the second begging. This is in the in the pre-stream. Okay, let's get it started. All right, everyone. Can For some me? odd reason. <clears throat> let's try that again. All right, everyone. Good evening and welcome to the late stream. <laughs> that was not sounding very good when I first started talking. Uh, how you doing? Hope you're all ready for another... Now he's gonna beg for the YouTube audience. West. Now, of course, the first thing that everyone is gonna ask me here tonight is, what do I think about the game so far? I like it, but support's been slow. Well, That's what he I thinks. To describe the things that I've definitely noticed as standing out. Like what? The graphics. Oh my god, of course, of course, of course, the first fucking thing he's gonna say is the graphics. The most predictable man alive. The most predictable one. First thing we're gonna talk is the graphics. A smooth 60 frames per second on the PS5 with insane amounts of detail. Uh, people playing on the resolution mode are basically saying the graphics are photorealistic, but there's child All right. frame rate. Your life is photorealistic. You can almost believe that it's real. I'm going on full performance mode. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, I'm absolutely loving that. Yeah, uh, I agree with you, uh, Pyroclastic, who says, uh, I like how he's so absolutely sure the problem with his streams is not him. This is one of my favorite things watching this guy, who is like falling apart live. And his whole thing that he's worked 14 years towards is, is complete garbage. But he cannot for a second assume that it's his fault. Cannot. His mind is not allowing him. I feel like if he could, he would just collapse. His entire reality would just cease to exist if he realized it's all actually his fault. But he can't do that. The level design seems pretty good so far. Of course, I've only been in the introduction. The introduction lasted about two hours, and then it really to the end game of the last game, where you basically walk around and talk to the people uh, who were who you had been dealing with in the last game. A lot of your characters and everything returned 
Uh, and you learn a little bit about the fallout of the last game and where this game is going. Uh, yeah, I, I could give DSP a good uh, paternal talk, but uh, I'm 15 years younger than him and he's not going to take me seriously. So I'm going to let him beg instead. I literally, like, just in the last 20 minutes of the first stream, got into what's considered the real game, where you're going to be going around exploring, fighting enemies in an open world environment, getting optional items, doing optional side missions, and then heading forward in the main plot. So, I can't really comment yet on the core game mechanics, because guess what? We haven't really done much with them. Um, we're going to get to that tonight. That's literally what we're starting with tonight, is the real game, okay? So maybe the real the game. Stream, That's clickbait. A couple more hours, I'll be able. To hey, let's see how how much support the real game got. Uh, actually, I'm I'm gonna say about on demand support, not actual uh, tips. I don't see. I don't think we're gonna look at that. Uh, here, here we see it. What is this? Four hundred views, six hundred views, nine hundred views for the daily fucking rap. Six hundred. 500 man this is sad actual sadness and misery this is what I'm, I'm i'm looking at yeah let's go back to the video better <clears throat> understanding of how i'm feeling what i can tell you is thus you thus yeah. why 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 would you want to phrase it like that uh, just say what i can tell you is this or you can say anything else but thus. Because when he says thus, it's a fucking, it's the most obvious thing that he's trying to fake being smart. Or, or having like a elaborate vocabulary or, or expression. It's so fucking basic and it's so transparent that he's a dumbass when he starts using fucking phrases like that. Is literally exactly the same as what happened five years ago for Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay? Viewers are either bored. Or saying, gee, I hope it gets better. Let They're bored by who? Who bored them? This game has, uh, what, an 88 on Metacritic? Is it really boring? They're bored by the game? Basically, hmm, I wonder. Uh, saying, oh, this game... I wonder if, if people watching the Rad Brad, if, if they were bored, I very much wonder. Let's go check them out. Uh, the Rad Brad. And he, of course, is, is playing it because he is good. And he released a video, what was it, two hours ago, that got almost 20k. And it got 2k likes, which is super impressive. And only 21 dislikes, which is even more impressive. He's a generally very enjoyed individual. And here, what do we see? First of all, he has uh, nice quality options. Oh, he does 4k. And uh, do we see people enjoying it? Let's see what it says. I couldn't play this game as I'm far away from college. It's really exciting watching you play and enjoy Horizon. Thank you. 46 likes on this comment alone. This comment is more positive than every single one of those DSP videos. Super fucking positive. And here, of course, we have a lot of uh, new stuff. Keep up the amazing content. The series is getting good now. Definitely wish we could get more parts. Keep up the good work. People are loving it, so I, I wouldn't say they're bored. And he's on about the same place that DSP is, because this is a 21-minute video. He, he has like 20-minute videos. So he might even be behind DSP in terms of progression, but uh, in terms of success, he's way ahead. Okay, let's continue with Phil. Game isn't very good. You should switch it for another game. I'm not even kidding. This is exactly what happened with Horizon Zero Dawn years ago. Um, I was trying to play through it and enjoy it, and people were basically being very negative on the streams about it, saying that they found it not entertaining to watch, and they wished that I was playing something else. To give you some perspective on this, okay, earlier today, the first stream, the premiere stream of this game, all right, didn't even hit the Tier 2 tips call. We didn't get a single new member. Okay. Lol. Viewership. Because they're all fake. They're not even real. After about an hour to an hour and a half of playing the game, it dipped by hundreds of viewers. Um, yeah. And I can only do so much with the game. The game is doing giant exposition at the beginning of the game to get you set up to where it's going to be the real game. I can't help the game doing that. You know what I mean? And again, it's uh, this fact, excuse. The chat slowed down to a It's crawl. this excuse. Yeah. Why? Why? A chat is a reflection of your stream. If it's gonna be dead as fuck and you expect it to be hype, then you fucked something up. On a new release day. 
Compare that with yesterday. I was playing King of Fighters 15, right? The chat was going crazy all day long. Contributions were good yesterday. Contributions were good. Engagement was good. Sky high viewership. Really? It means nothing. That's the thing. It means nothing for your channel long term. Because DSP is completely incapable of making long term business decisions. And long term plans that he's going to stick by. Uh, despite being the guy who is obsessed with his schedule and talks about it more than he actually does anything else. So, but yeah. I can't really explain it except for some reason this series maybe is a series better to play than watch oh yeah okay I don't know. Again, yeah i'm sure it is i'm sure it is that's why the rad brad was getting 20 times the amount of views than phil actually more than 20 times how that if that'll change um as we get into the real meat of the game the real meat of the game it's the same thing it's the same excuse as with dying light the same excuse as with the days gone and i'm giving these as examples because i played those games he acts like 10 hours into the game, the game becomes something completely different. While it doesn't, it really doesn't. You just come out of the tutorial level and it's still the same game. Yeah, you, you got some progression, you got some items, you get some more skills, but that's in every game ever. After the first 10 hours, of course you're going to be stronger and you're going to be further in the fucking game. Couldn't even hold attendance and interest. Couldn't even hold attendance, unfortunately. It's a, it's a possibility where... A lot of people are playing this game on launch day. A lot. Yeah. A lot of people have been hyping this game and wanting to... to Talk about... No, no, not people playing it. Talk about the, the people that are above people. I mean streamers, because they're obviously superior. They've been playing the game. And they've actually been streaming the game, as far as I know, even before it came out. So those people that were hyped to watch gameplay, they already did. They already did. If If not the the dudes that got it before even day one they're watching the people that got it on the day of release and then played through at least most of the game within two days so yeah dsp is again he's he's behind and what i predicted would happen a long time ago uh kind of didn't happen which i thought actually i predicted the opposite i thought that he wouldn't ramble as much during these games and would just get into gameplay to capitalize on people actually caring and then he didn't do that because uh he's bad you know better to to play it themselves and then maybe they'll join us later because tonight i'm playing for another two hours which means i played five hours today right i'm not playing it tomorrow tomorrow i'm doing king of fighters 15 okay paired with pokemon legends arceus Arceus. I hate this so much. I don't know why it gets under my skin so much. It uh, it really irritates me when he says Arceus. It's so annoying. Uh, Arceus? When I come back on Sunday... Oh, bro. Most people who are playing this game likely will be past where I am in the game. Right? So, they should be Arceus? on Sunday and join us if they were purposely staying away. Like, I know for a fact there were a few regulars here this morning said, I'm here for the pre-stream, but as soon as your pre-stream's over, I'm out of here. Because I don't want to spoil myself on the game. I'm going to start playing it myself. Yeah. Or they're going to watch somebody who doesn't bitch. Who doesn't sit on the pause screen. Look at this. This is a, this four minutes. Four minutes sitting there being, I don't know why, man. But people didn't care about me. As, as you intensively try and make people care less. By stalling and not even playing the game. The game is not even started. If, in case you don't know how the PlayStation 5 menu looks, this is how. We've been looking at it for the last five minutes. And there's actually more. This is this shit is 11 minutes long. Before he's even actually starts playing the game. But now you, you look at the PlayStation menu because that is fun. And he expects this to engage people. Um, so that could definitely... Very nice. Here. But admittedly... I'm a little worried when I play the first stream of a game that was supposed to be a major release and the people who are here are telling me it's boring. It's not yeah. Me, it's the game. Oh, it's not me. How? How do you know? How do you know? And as I can see, Rad Brad, he's having a nice time and people like him. They say it's it's the best shit he's, he's done ever. You they know, say it's the best guy ever. Less than yesterday, right? And he's been around for probably less than DSP and he has his own business plan that works. And he does raw playthroughs and he uploads every day. So a lot of those things are very much the same except the level of success. Because Rad Brad knows what he's doing and he's a nice guy. Right. And and that you can't fake and you can't ask people to to do artificially. They can't artificially make you a nice person. That's pretty crazy. 
yesterday's King of Fighters stream. I mean, DSP can act like he's a nice person, but he's way too impulsive uh, to not reveal his true self, which is a toxic, bitter old man who is not even an old man yet. He's an old man ahead of time. Is not even... And he's salty and bitter because once he used to be a thing, and once the the spring of life, the spring of money, everything, the, the, the goodness, the cheddar, it used to come and now it doesn't. Now he needs to ask for it very intensely until he gets even something. To be a mainstream gamer. Even right something. Got way more attendance and, and support and viewership. He has to pull this bullshit scam like with Rob on wheels. You gotta tell him, Rob, please give me the $25 now and whenever I play Pokemon Arceus, you can name a Pokemon. What a fucking pathetic weasel scam. Just so he can get 25 bucks. That's what's harded. Uh, then Horizon. Your life is All nothing. Right. I don't know. We'll see tonight. Let's play for another two hours. So... What I would say is this, guys. You should play for 10 hours. Please, tonight, if you're having a good time with me, support the stream. Whether... But that's the thing. If they don't support it, then they're not having a good time. And you should think about why. You should really think about why. That means giving the stream a like to give it more engagement so we can get... Give it a like. That's not happening. My streams no. No. The noticing is not enough. They need to stay. That's the thing. Because you can... Uh, people noticed his home front review... Uh, the home from the revolution review. They fucking noticed it. They fucking loved it. But it didn't make his channel grow. Or it didn't result in any long-term success or any long-term positivity. I mean, Nothing. It was just like clickbait that made him some money instantly. Short-term game and that's it. Just like with now. Actually doing something like becoming a member of the channel. He can make a $200 on a stream. But that doesn't mean that the next stream is not going to be a $20 stream or a super chat or a super sticker or a tip all of that is appreciated considering the fact that it was actually slow earlier today if some of you were maybe here for the first time and you were thinking of supporting the horizon streams by all means yes please do so tonight i would definitely appreciate it to hopefully make up for the slower stream earlier today making up for streams this is one of my other favorite things about dsp is making up for streams it's surprising to be playing a new release of like course and having it that slow okay as opposed to yesterday, which was the complete opposite. I don't know. Well, you should take a sip. You should look at your fucking... The screen of your PlayStation right now. This is the reason why nobody gives a shit. Because you're not even playing the game. You're just sitting there. Okay. So let's okay. see what happens tonight. I hope you Can you even beg while you play? He can't even beg while he plays. This is how fucking lame he is. You guys will have some fun. Remember, we do have... Can't even beg. Tip levels. If we raise $50 in tips, it's Gunner Glass this time. If we raise $100 in tips, you can either choose between... What a uh, scam. Hats, ...which is the cowboy, the pilot, the Pikachu, or a Viking hat. <laughs> and... But he got this whole sales pitch exactly by heart. He knows everything. If we get the full funding goal tonight of $150... Yeah, that is true. If he gets $150, it's forgotten immediately. He's just gonna mention, Ah, oh, yeah, we hit the goal yesterday, so now tip me more. $50 sure would be nice because it was would so sure be nice today. yeah a thousand dollars would sure be nice if somebody sent me five thousand dollars even that would be even more than nice of course it would be fucking nice earn it do something come yeah. on you have a lot of competition especially people playing that game go do something different something interesting stop fucking just asking for shit feeling entitled you can choose either a vest try or something a football jersey for me to wear and then the tight because i have hey big ups uh shane okay <clears throat> I appreciate the sentiment. So, I hope you guys will enjoy tonight's stream. And give me your honest feedback, too, about the game. I'm very curious to hear everyone's... Oh, the honest feedback about, about the game. I don't know. Uh, did you just forget? They didn't fucking watch it. What feedback? They didn't watch it and there was nobody in chat. And nobody watched that shit on demand because it's stale as fuck and it's boring. Tonight, obviously, you know... So yeah, ask them. Keep asking. The dead chat for, for feedback. Oh, it's crappy. I'm playing it no matter what. I am. I'm going to play it through. And I'm sure it's going to be a lengthy playthrough. But if it so happens that after playing it today and maybe Sunday, if the consensus is, man, it ain't that good, then we could maybe switch it up and maybe I could for... for What's going to happen is probably one, two, or three pay pigs at most are going to write in his chat that they think the, the game is boring and then he's going to see one or two regulars that is saying that the, the game is boring and he's going to agree with it and, and put it away. Because a, a pay pig's opinion equals a hundred normal people's opinion.
a little bit maybe do a little bit more skyrim in place fucking of it. skyrim skyrim was doing very good as a daytime stream um so maybe we could do that you know i don't know we'll have to think about it oh he's not gonna have a poll for this because obviously the trolls can ruin the poll because nothing is troll proof at all okay i mean i'm in no rush to finish these games anyway this this game plus uh my coverage of king fighters 15 skyrim and then elden ring starting next week are all going to be incredibly coverage long. also when he calls it fucking coverage by the way this is included in the coverage sitting here looking at the playstation screen is included in the coverage playthroughs you're not going to be thinking thank like you i very much appreciate it relatively quickly so it's this okay. fucking content really uh, this is also unrecorded so uh yeah the, the youtube people that he loves so much and he wants them to to appreciate what he does he lies from them and he hides segments like this where he's a piece of shit entitled asshole it's okay we can mix them up very nice that's that's some good cover okay okay all right so let's do a couple quick shout outs oh yeah okay started any there tips no tips here yet today it oh no tips. To get some tips tonight. it would be great let me put it this way and this has almost never happens here's what happened on the first stream all the support that I had came in before the break. I went on break. I came back and I played two straight hours of Horizon and I didn't get a single tip. That never happens. Never. Uh, big ups John Rankin for, for the massive Super Chat bomb. Uh, wow, you're really letting this guy have it. Dude, he can have all of it. I'm very generous with my generous contributions. Uh, it, unfortunately, this is the way that I can uh, make my contribution. I'm not giving this asshole money. So he can just take this and uh, and have it. <laughs> it he can have all of it. Happens. It doesn't even even uh, Susan doesn't take a cut out of my roasting. He can have all of it. Just get at least a tip here. There, I got nothing. You're it gonna stay like on my dick until you there. die. Wow, no one was engaged at this. No one was engaged. Also, his stream looked blurry as fuck. <laughs> as the uh, yeah, we're gonna see in the later video. YouTube side. Uh, contributions. We actually have A A K H B A F or Akbaf, who became. All Akbaf. right. And with that. Fun. I'm curious if we did go up because we actually were at 374 members earlier today, and then it froze, and then we didn't get any new ones for the stream, and then during the break, sadly, uh, a couple fell off, which sucks. We're at 373 again. So thank you to Akbaf. <laughs> well, they're not real. Come on, give only iced coffee some time to go and uh, renew the memberships. I don't know if you pronounce it or you just have letters. I'm not sure. Um, but we did actually uh, hit 374, uh, 373 now. We're going back up. We're white, We're on the way back up. Okay. So that's uh, A big ups to your boy for the super chat. Cover him with the robust bust. <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm saving this up for uh, someone special, not Phil. I don't want to bust on Phil. Ew. Okay. Oh my God, Kai. He busted all over oh, my face. Geez a super chat thank you to king for the super chat i appreciate that i love my life okay <laughs> this by the way he's nerfing himself so much with this uh with typing shit manually this is chopping his stream up so bad imagine you're watching a basketball game and they foul every 30 seconds there's a free throw stoppage every 30 seconds. Imagine this. And it's not the same with him, but uh, uh, of course, basketball is at least entertaining. So uh, it's a very hypothetical scenario. But it's the same shit. It's like commercial breaks all the fucking time, stopping the game, pause screen to beg, to write stuff on the leaderboard. It's a nightmare. All right, well... Because this, especially a gaming stream, should, should flow. It should have a good pace to it. Because it's, it's just a guy playing a game, and it can get boring after some time. Matthew has to me $10 to get tonight started. I appreciate it. Awesome. That. Let's get the night started. And as we're about to start, I want to blow my nose because I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So I'm going to mute the mic and just quickly get up, blow my nose, and be right back, and then we'll start. Okay. Hey, he knows how to mute the mic. Because the game actually is paused. I would be so impressed if he even had a hotkey to mute his mic. But he doesn't because his... Uh, He's using the keyboard for his laptop. He doesn't even have a wireless keyboard or an external keyboard for, for any reason. He doesn't. I left it where but he could, uh, even in his position without buying anything, he could in improve a thousand million percent. First of all, you download uh, OBS, what was his name? XSplit VCAM for green screen. It's a software thing. You don't need anything for it. He, he would get chroma keyed 
by default that's good second of all put some hotkeys on that fucking keyboard put the clown mode hotkey on there put the muting your microphone hotkey people are gonna start appreciating this when he fucking does it because they're gonna be like because that's the thing and, and the position he put himself in where when you watch him he has you have zero fucking expectations the standard that he put himself to is so fucking low it, like there it's so bad that even the slightest upgrade would would improve his shit at least a little bit wow phil you learn how to mute holy shit you're a good fucking streamer now where we were earlier all right give me one second to just uh to blow my nose and then we'll resume i'll be right back yeah the the stream deck wouldn't unlock anything because he wouldn't know how to use it it's it's not about what shit you buy it's knowing how to use it because you can also buy a great gaming PC and just do Microsoft Excel. You know what I mean? But but what I'm saying is he, he put himself in such a low-ass fucking standard that anything he does right now, it's going to be an improvement. It's going to be better. Uh, big ups, uh, Stuart Gascoin for for the super chat. Uh, he can't afford it. He has two cats and a mobile game to support. Don't you know? But all the shit that I'm talking about is free. Where did he go, by the way? This is oh yeah, to to blow his fucking nose. And this is what you get before the the awesome gaming stream. Is he gonna come back and start begging? But uh, big ups for the super chat, uh, Stuart. All right. Now he's going to click All right, record. Guys. All right, welcome everyone. The silent majority. They're dead silent. It's almost like they're not real. All right, everyone. So welcome back. After my initial stream of Horizon Forbidden West earlier today, it is now a few hours later, and I'm back at night to play a couple more hours of the game. We have Fucking nice. At the major town. We're I am so excited. Talking to everyone in town and unlocking uh, quite a bit of side content. To go do out in the open world around the city, which we're like. All right. Well, this is for this video. Now let's go and check out his uh, his potato fucking stream from from Shinko. Let's go check this one out. And then we have about let's say a, a solid hour before he actually goes on air. Before we see a pig. And when we start seeing the pig, uh, you guys seem like you all voted for raw. Not all of you, but it's a uh, it's pretty sizable difference. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be taking a look at. His pre-stream tonight, I'm going to be playing Dying Light. We're going to talk about that when it's, uh, when it's boring or whatever. Um, now. What? Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the Potato Jesus stream. Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. This way. Okay, I'm not dropping to 720p, and if you're having a lot of pixelation, I apologize. <laughs> it could be your bitrate on your stream that you're watching. If you're oh, yeah. Games, yeah. It could well, be your bitrate. I'm seeing some pixelization, but it's not nearly as bad as people seem to be making it out to be in the chat. That shit good! It could be that people just want to bitch. 1080, 60. Yeah, they want to bitch, of course. That bad. From what you're saying, it doesn't look that bad at all. Oh, uh, this is the new meme. I guarantee you there will be issues. The new meme is DSP, your stream looks like trash. But that's a detractor meme. Only trolls say that it looks like ass. Pixelization this playthrough and there's nothing I can do about it. It's too detailed. Eventually, it's too detailed. Well, what exactly would you like me to do? No, I'm not dropping to 720p on a new gen Fucking game. nice. <laughs> this, this is the fucking sweet one. <laughs> this is really good. Big ups to Shinko. Go, go drop him a like. Get bad. You know you want to. Now let's uh, carry on to the next video. And if I'm, I've been doing the timestamping correctly, then this it should be a very robustly timestamped video. If it works. Uh, now we go on to begging for tips. This we watched already. All right. This was the eight minute video with blowing the nose. And uh, this is the one considering to drop Horizon after the disaster. But I, I, I don't know if we might have seen this already. It, if, if it's the same video. Oh, this one has the timestamps on it, so we can check it out. It's already wants to put Horizon on the back burner. Disaster for stream. Yeah, I think we, we already watched it. We we must have. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Tell me this right now. Putting up with a bunch of bullshit in the stream chat. What? People come in and just want to crap on the game because it's a Sony exclusive. I'm not. 
Already we have someone like uh, Yeah, with, by, by Raw, I mean not just watch him. I'm, I'm going to talk over him. Before I started talking on the stream, there was someone in the stream chat, and they were like, Ah, oh, this game's going to be boring. It's going to be fucking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time for another boring Sony exclusive. This is just like one guy. And and look at his stroke mouth, by the way. It's just like a, a wave. Really bizarre curves in this guy's mouth. Uh, time for another boring Sony exclusive. I haven't heard a single person call this game boring yet. Well, your viewers did. Remember? So if that's your agenda, I recommend you leave now. Very sweet. <laughs> oh my god, very nice. We approach games fairly. Hey, what's up, uh, Shao Dragonborn? And you guys know me. I yeah, when I when I watch this shit raw, it's gonna be you know as as usual. It's gonna be the the double layout with the game and and Phil. And whenever he he goes full on clown mode, I'm gonna switch to to his focus, uh, like like this, like thus. And uh, when it's it's game time, I'm just gonna switch by 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 this. So you know, that's uh that's what I mean. Many punches. If I'm bored, if I'm annoyed, I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna know right away on my stream but at the same time i'm not going to come in with a prerequisite knowledge of the game and saying i know it's already boring i know this is that that's ridiculous yeah because it's your fucking business why would you do that why would you play a, a game that you know is boring let's play and enjoy hey yeah i knew this game was boring i'm gonna play it anyways play it for what it is together and then judge it appropriately right not fucking be unfair about it and then try to hey yeah big ups uh Razio the lost I'm I'm quite in a mood for streaming today, so yeah, I'm glad I'm streaming too. Fair enough. I hope so. I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope you guys understand. But this is the day after. When is this from? I can't even see now. YouTube completely cucked me. I need to look at somebody's comment. Twelve hours ago, I guess. So yeah, this is it's not the daily wrap. This is... I have no clue, actually. I have no clue. I don't. I this don't is from yesterday, but he didn't play Horizon yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the music is playing, but I turned it down. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. Cool. So all day today, Horizon Forbidden West. I'm excited for this. Hope you guys are too. Forbidden Vest. Can you fully heal from a stroke? I wouldn't know. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about strokes. <laughs> Outside of uh, how to stroke it, I guess. Um, let's see this opening Begman. This should be from... I don't know. So the late stream. <laughs> that was not sounding very good when I first started talking. Uh, how you doing? Hope you're all ready. Yeah, it's the thing we saw, I think. Our session of Horizon Forbidden West. Now, of course, the first thing that everyone is going to ask me here tonight is what do i think about oh yeah they did uh the, his chat called um a fucking a lost judgment boring a thousand times and he played that game on stream even after it was finished so yeah you know he doesn't he doesn't give a shit unless they tell him exactly what he wants to hear that's that's the only condition where he cares about what his chat has to say only if they confirm what he what the narrative uh he, he already wants it to be well, the best thing I can do for you is to describe the things that I've definitely noticed as standing out. Uh, the graphics are absolutely outstanding. Very nice. Graphics are grace. All right. All right. Fuck this. You already know what this is about. You already know what this is going to be. Uh, now let's go on to something else. Um, DSP struggling to get engagement on King of Fighters. I already did this. Um... And the Theo video we did. So let's go back in the day. Let's do something that is called, uh, let me think, Kate Live or uh, or Ask the King. All right. We're going to do one of those. So one in chat for Kate Live, two in chat for Ask the King. All right. And I'll try and estimate who is, uh, who is more. Meanwhile, big ups to profit for the mature adult membership. All right. One or two. One is, what was it? Fucking, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. All right. Uh, I think it was uh, Ask the King was one. All right. Okay. So it looks like we're going to do Ask the King. I think I have it on a playlist here somewhere. I was looking through it yesterday because there was so little 
uh, recent DSP stuff to talk about. Uh, it was opposite? Was it opposite? Hate Live is one. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to scam you. I just, uh, you know, short-term memory from, from chilling too hard. Uh, let's go to... I don't even know what the fucking playlist was. Oh, Hate Live podcast. All right. We're going to do the Hate Live. I promise. I didn't scam you. Sounds good. Now, we started back in the day from doing it in, in 2013. I wanted to watch one from each year. Uh, I think we made it to maybe 2014, 2015. House Hunting Special. I'm interested in this. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this description. He has timestamps. He's the god. God of YouTube. And they would have uh, they would have uh, adapted to the present YouTube system if he said where when the video starts because you need to have a, a zero um, a zero minute zero seconds so it can actually pop up on the timeline. But he he tried back in the day he tried. Why I'm looking for a new home? Let's take a look at this. So let me explain. I have lived here in this condo in Connecticut since the summer of 2009 and it's documented if you actually go back and look at my original uh, vlogging channel the king of hate hd i documented the whole process of moving in uh having people over all the time playing uh video games whether it was a street fighter which it was a lot of the time or whether it was something else uh doing playthroughs doing content for youtube you know this is way before i ever was doing it as a way to uh to support myself it was just a hobby at that point and uh this is down to a six to seven hundred square feet, so very small square footage wise. Okay, sorry for getting muted there for a second. I plugged in a controller for later. The living room is this open concept the bathroom and the bedroom, and you know, closets and a back porch. All right, should be okay, right? Yeah, we're back. No office. It always spare happens. Bedroom, no spare bathroom. It's incredible. Why do you need a spare bathroom? Honestly, Why do you, wait, 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 wait. Why would you need number one, an office? Why would you need a spare bathroom? What? It was empty. This place had nothing in it. Now I'm surrounded by models, figurines, boxes, boxes, computers, figurines. Yeah, that's that's the garbage you bought. Why did you buy all this garbage? Phones. Why? Everywhere I look, there's a. <laughs> I'm surrounded by all this useless, meaningless bullshit that I bought. Well, too bad. You unleashed the monster. Wire or something here. And the bottom line is, for what I am doing with my business, for what I. Hey, it was business. Future, even even in 2014, it was a business. This place has unfortunately outgrown its usefulness, and it's good. I mean, that's a good thing. It's a good thing that I've been. Just like Liana did eventually. <laughs> the outgrew her usefulness. You know, uh, upping the quality of what I do to the point where now I've outgrown where I am, okay? And admittedly, admittedly, <clears throat> the, the bottom line is that I did buy too much shit. I bought too much crap. Hey, we have a confession. Look at Finally. All, look at all this crap. Look at all this crap. Show it to me. Look. I need to know. Oh, we're, we're doxing the, the place. Doxing the crib. I bought too much. Here's what happened. When I moved in. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Holy Jesus. Look at this. A countertop that is supposed to be a part of his kitchen, I guess. Or like a fun place that is supposed to have any purpose. No, it's garbage instead. Just garbage. Just junk. None of this has any use. And by themselves, individually, these figurines would look cool and would add to the vibe to a room. But this is just tacky. There's just uh, hundreds of them. Or at least uh, over a dozen. Holy fuck. The very first time that I own my own place. And I got excited. Look, look at all this crap. Look. Look at all this crap. Everywhere. Oh, let's go to the right. Look at all the paintings. Look at this. All the boxes. These are all empty boxes from those figurines to put them in. And joystick boxes. Crap. It's too much. All right, let me get Absolute back. nightmare. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Hope you enjoyed that. Okay? So, the bottom line is I, I bought too much. I got excited. This was the very first time where I had my place to myself. I had, I've lived outside of, say, my parents' house before. I had my own uh, apartment. I shared it with two other roommates. It was a three-bedroom apartment at one point. I lived there for a year. I've lived on campus at college. But this is the very first time in my life that I was going to live by myself. And when I first moved here, let's face it, I was a bachelor. You know what I mean? I didn't have a girlfriend. So I had money. I, I started making YouTube money, and all of a sudden the money was coming in. I was like, wow, this is more money than I've ever made before in my life. It was the gravy train, so he decided to, to steal all of them. <laughs> Not to steal it, but to spend it, I mean. And I'm able to pay off my bills, and you know, I have a little bit of extra money here and there, and I said, I'll throw it towards a cool statue. And I remember the very first one I bought. A cool statue, or a uh, hundred. I, I was panning around. The sure, sound good. It looked amazing, and I said, I just want to get it for myself and see if I get this statue, what it looks like. And the thing showed up, and I was like, oh my fucking God, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I gotta get into more. And that, it just, it, it went nuts. And I went nuts, and I bought too much shit, okay? I actively will admit I bought way too much. By the way, he still hasn't announced his stream. Not even that. So he's probably not even woken up yet. Because that stream doesn't exist. Uh, unless he's taking a break today or something, which I, I don't fucking know. Now, I was hoping that at some point when I lived here, I was gonna get storage because... We actually have a basement in this condo facility where it used to be storage area, but they don't let us use it anymore because there were all kinds of problems with uh, mold and leaking bathrooms, dripping into it, and people just leaving shit down there and never going back for it. And they don't let us down there anymore. So I was supposed to have storage space. I never got it. Basically, I got something. I never got something I was promised when I moved in here in 2009. Um, and uh, and so over the years, you know, you'll see if you go back and you watch my original content. Of me filming around here how different the place looked then back then it felt like it was big it was spacious now it's just like i gotta get out of here right the main reasons that i need to leave Cat, get out of there that place is toxic are, number one more space for my business right now unfortunately all my my work shit is behind the camera right now on the opposite side of my living room it's a horrendous mess there's no cable man this business shit is so annoying this business shit is so annoying because he's like, he can't even be honest to himself. He wants to go to a bigger house because he's balling. Because he got money coming in from recording videos of fucking burgers and sandwiches and anything that he does in his life. If he records it and uploads it, he's going to make money from it. And he doesn't want to be honest for himself, to himself, that he just wants a bigger house because he believes he's a baller. Because he believes he's a hotshot. Because he believes he's a celebrity and deserves a bigger house. No, it's for my fucking business. When he moved for his business, why is he his fucking office in such terrible condition? With the cable management from, from 2014 until this day. For his business. Tell me. It's just a horrible... The businessman. He can't even be honest to himself. I don't even expect him to tell me the truth. But not to himself. Delude himself into, into thinking he cares about his business. It's a miracle that it works and that I'm, I'm doing this with you guys and there's no problems. Seriously, it's a miracle. Because there's so much shit over there, right? <clears throat> what do you mean it's a miracle? Even in 2014, the shit that he did was bare bones as fuck. Look at this layout. This is like five minutes in OBS. Just put on the camera, just put in the background. Bang. How is it a miracle it works? It's a miracle he got anybody to care about this back in the day. I need a formal That's a miracle. Where I can take the a formal office. He wants to put a label on it so he can be fancy. The fancy guy with the office. That all he does there is sit there and play video games. All right. Space. Office. And his office now is great. The layout that is terrible of, of this entire room. The cable management that is terrible. The equipment that is bad and makes him look even worse than this. Do it the right way, to have the right kind of setup that I should have had from day one, but I didn't because I rushed into doing direct capture and streaming last year because I was afraid of my business kind of just being upended. And, uh, you know, I need it. I need it at this point. Number two, I need, I need, it. I need more space for other things. I have these series I've had in my head for months now that I've wanted to do, and I can't because I don't have filming locations to do anything. I have no filming locations to film jack shit. 
So I really <laughs> what do you want to film? I had a... What did you film afterwards? Filming locations. This is the same shit as nowadays. And the, the worst thing is he does it to himself. He dangles the carrot in front of himself. Because if you were a fan of his back in the day, why would you care where he lives? He's just put out shitty fucking Let's Plays. Why would you care? But he's dangling the carrot in front of himself that he wants to move into a bigger house for his business so he can have shooting locations. All he did is, is film in front of a green screen, some like demo footage, and then abandoned it. Filming fucking locations. Give me a break. A house with an office, with a back porch, with a, you know... Yeah. We've gone to the back porch exactly once. And why? Because he wanted to show off what, what work his parents did for him, that they cleaned his backyard. And he went there to show us. Hey, look, you guys, my parents cleaned this. It was really hard to clean, by the way, because it was really dirty, but they did such a good job. They are 60 and dying, by the way. Hey, uh, big ups to... Uh, hold on, to Paul J. Brazel for a super chat, who gives a shout out to Super Crazy, which is chill. Big ups to both of you guys family room a garage and i have all these different areas i could finally do new stuff that i want to do yeah you're not doing any of this you're literally just trying to convince yourself for a reason that is that is just not the the, the reason why you're actually doing it and it's okay just be honest with yourself say to yourself i deserve to get this fucking house because i i broke the mold on youtube i changed the fucking game of the let's play genre I am such a big shot and I'm making so much money. Not because of potential fucking business opportunities, which are, did not happen. None of this happened. Except having an office because everybody can have a room and just call it an office. As long as it's not a bathroom, you can call anything an office. The number two big reason. Connecticut is too effing expensive. I am paying out the ass. Yes, Connecticut is expensive. So let get myself in life ruining debt going somewhere else where it's cheaper but i'm gonna spend all this money for a for a house that i don't even fucking need to spend that much money for he could have went to seattle and rented a fucking apartment like a boss and saved up money for a big house that he would just buy one day and that's it or have a savings account just for for the sake of it but no he couldn't do that he needed to buy shit needed to buy it you gotta buy, buy, buy. Taxi. And he ended up scamming himself. He literally scammed himself from all these delusions of promises. Man, it's gonna be so good for the business when I move with my underage girlfriend. I mean, daughter. I mean, girlfriend. I mean, she's not underage. More than one third of what I make in a year goes to tax. He still hasn't even announced his stream. Thank God. And, and why do I need it? I need it because uh, I wanna steal his chat. Because I'm going to put his chat on the screen and I want to do it in a sophisticated way, so I need to steal it. Write so many things off of my taxes because last year... Let me give but no, he's not even message. announced it. Subscription. Subscription. If I remember correct, I don't want to I don't want to throw a number out there because I'm not... Big ups for the sub, Liquid Ferret. Enjoy your time, dude. A ton of money. A ton of money. Video games. Spend a ton of money on... Well, that's your job, yeah. It's called uh, it's called a business expense. You should fucking know because you write everything as a business expense. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on demand stream, and... including headphones and all that. Travel yeah, you would know. For all the travel a fucking burger is a business expense in in the world of DSP. This is how slimy he is. He's gonna go to to fucking I don't know Five Guys or something and eat a burger and film and film that burger for a minute. And all that he's gonna say is say, all right, you guys, what's up? I'm eating fucking Five Guys Burger. Bye. And it, he's gonna write it off. Last year, remember I went on... Because he's the slimy sleazeball. But you, if, if you're somebody else but Phil, and you dare, you dare even consider doing something like that. You're a shill, you're a sellout, you're abusing the, the system, you're doing all this shit. But for Phil, is okay, because he, he has a business to run. Several different trips that were all usually for gaming when it comes to like sgc and stuff like that um uh, things that that are a result of me being self-employed such as my health insurance which is tremendously expensive as in it's 500 dollars a month i shit you not it cost me 500 dollars a month to have my own health insurance it's absolutely out of control but it's necessary. take a delicious sip evil. so it can believe yeah. yourself even more um 
That's a delicious Kool-Aid. I put an immense amount of money every year into the business, and that is not taxable, thank God. But I'm still paying way too many taxes, okay? And it was funny because I just did my taxes. I just did them. And uh, as I completed them, I what happens is I send all the data to my accountant. He puts all the data together, and he sends me Still a has an announced the stream. He's starting in less than 10 minutes. One, it, it should actually you begin. The government anything for last year. Did you not pay them enough? Okay. Number two, it tells me if that's Or did he post something on Twitter? Maybe he posted something on Twitter. I'm going to take a look now. How much did you overpay? And how's that going to be applied to the next year's taxes? And then number three, it says, here's how much money you owe the government. And you're like, wait a minute. You just had sections one and two that said I did that I overpaid. How do I owe the government money? And the answer is because guess what? The government, if you're self-employed, expects you to pay your taxes right away. That's right. Your first tax <laughs> Okay, enough tax talk. Uh, big ups to Paul J. Brazel for Super Chat. Uh, Super Crazy is going to bust out like DSP owes rent. Damn. No busting is allowed on this stream, by the way. Put... Put away your cocks, everybody. Put put them away. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Wait, gonna th this was the wrong one. I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. Payment I'm kidding, you guys. You can bust it as much as you want. What the fuck? You know, you can't even give me a break? Nope. Pay us in April. So, I did my taxes. <laughs> Just take your napkin. I don't owe anything. Oh, by the way. So we can know where the load went. Well, there goes like six thousand dollars. I shit you not. Six thousand with an L. Now that's money that could be going directly to the move, and it goes to the. Tax that money could be going directly into other garbage, such as um, figurines. Taxes for the government. What does the government do with my money? Why is the government not accountable for what? Me what they do? Building infrastructure. What do you, do they need? To, what? What? Bill? What? He, he wants the government to, to give him, like, receipts for what did they do with his money. That's fucking nice. I want receipts on what DSP does with public money. With people giving him money. With a crowdfunded money. Because it all doesn't make sense. Because it's, uh, it's $5,000, by the way. A month of business expenses. And he's still begging for credits for games. So, for $5,000 a month, he spends on his business. He can't even buy games nowadays. But he wants receipts from the government on what they spend his tax money on. Very this fucking nice. Gone. Okay. So, I just did this all This guy's that. a next level of slime. I, I've literally found out that there are some states, there's no income tax. Wow. It's, it's like you're cheating. It's tremendously lower than what it is where I live here in this... <laughs> He didn't even do his fucking research, so he moved across the country and it fell apart and had to beg. Northeastern United States. Wow. Look, Fantastic is content. Then it is here, okay? And just a bunch of positive factors. The homes are much cheaper for big ass houses. And I'm like, why am I living here? Let me give you guys some perspective. When I moved into this condo, this condo, very condo right here where this I'm This very condo. I bought this in 2009 for about $130,000, all right? Keep in mind, that was on my old salary, on my old office. All right, this was... No, you got scammed. Any money on... Where, where'd you even get that money? Where did he get 120 k to buy a fucking condo? Like, what? 130 grand for this year. 130 grand. I thought he was always like a... Like, you know, the average guy. Who doesn't have any money. He had to grind for it. But I, I blew this money for a shitty condo. That 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 condo is garbage, by the way. That condo is garbage. Garbage. So, right now... Oh, and he got a bank loan. Of course he did. He loves fucking loans. When he's... Uh, when Before the bankruptcy, when he was always in trouble, the first thing he would think about is getting a loan or uh, some something else. So, it's somebody else's money. Florida, Texas, and uh, Washington... We're finding houses for $200,000. Oh, yeah. They were smart enough to go on an actual field trip across the United States to look for houses. Fucking nice. Two to three times the same. Yeah, you should just time. rent. You should just rent. You should just rent. That's, that's, fuck it. Especially if you're making YouTube money, just fucking rent. So you don't have to care about owning anything. You can just save up the money and fucking... You know, have have yourself savings while the rent is being taken care of. Place. Come on, it's just so we're talking it doesn't make fucking sense. Less than half the or less than double the price 
double to triple the amount of space. And the other thing is the taxes on those properties are the same tax. Big ups for the sub trail. I pay the same Big ups. tax here on this tiny condo that I would pay if I bought a, a giant house somewhere else. So it's absolutely out of control. It's out, out of, of control. control. The begging is out of control. But this was these were the days, man. Life was good. And he so, wasn't looking so like a ghoul. He had a girlfriend. I mean, daughter. I mean, she was underage. I mean, she wasn't. Um, then she was still around. She was pushing him to go across the country. He still had somewhat of friends. Something like friends. So, yeah. These past couple of years. Oh, he's playing and King of Fighters today. Really like to but at least we have some proof of life. Because 20 minutes ago, he tweeted. And currently, I can't find his stream. My back fixed. If you guys don't know, I have a major back injury in my it's lower It's not major. Luckily... It's not major. It's literally not major. Months, the back injury has been good. The back injury is then it's not major. Most of the time, I'm not even thinking about it because it's not. Then it's not major. That's the good news. You're not thinking about it. It's not major. No, that's not what you have. That's not what you have. If it was major, you would fucking complain about it all the time. Go away. No. Basically, you have to change your life to accommodate for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you have to change your life. How did Phil change his life? Number one gets people to do stuff for him, gets Rambo to drive him around. Number two, gets his dad, who is like, I don't know, 50, 60 at, at that time, to, to clean his house for him, to fix up shit, and to help him out with everything. So so accommodating your life basically means in, in DSP language is to just take advantage of everybody because you can't do anything. Surgery. I've contemplated getting the surgery for years. The problem... Yeah, he was going to get the surgery, like wings. I live alone, and I can't live alone and get the surgery because you are immobile for weeks after the surgery. I would need to live with someone to help me get through it. <laughs> What about Rambo? My girlfriend can't move in here. This place Why? is effing small. Really? Throw out the fucking statues. Sell the statues. This place is small. They clutter so much. Ridiculous. The fucking excuses he would go through. Just to, to not have to do anything. It's incredible. Because he would have fixed his back, but what would that help? Because at that time, he was perfectly okay with taking advantage of everybody. Bottom line is, I need... Perfectly to okay. ...before I can get this surgery done. Yeah. And I did some soul searching and I said... And he was in Connecticut, could have lived with his parents. Because he does online content for a fucking living. But no. Why am I really here? Realistically... Why are you here? Why do you even exist? He does co-op in person with me every, you know, couple weeks or week when he can make it. And I see my parents. What else is there here for me? There's no business tying me here, right? There's no, you know what I mean? It's not like there's some significant reason that I need to stay in Connecticut. I could literally go to anywhere in the world and do what I do as long as my internet is good. And Yeah, you, you actually, he actually should have just moved out of the, the U.S. I don't know, go to some tax haven and, and hide in a fucking cave and, and that would be it. A lot of money, but pay less. That would be it. Cheaper to live. So my focus has been to find somewhere where the cost of living is significantly less than where I am now. And people I don't know. Like, oh, but Phil, Syria? Your, your name, Afghanistan? Your name, the cost of living Iran? No, it's not. Not compared to what I'm paying now. And that's what people don't understand. No, he wouldn't go to Luxembourg. That is way too expensive. Luxembourg is expensive as fuck. I'm in one of the highest costs. Plus, he wouldn't, he wouldn't benefit. He needs to move somewhere where it's basically free. So you don't have to spend money on anything. Like some, like really, some country in like, I don't know, maybe Eastern Europe or something. He should move to, I don't know, uh... I don't know, Belarus or something. Cost of living places Ukraine, the yeah. Country. The state of Costa Rica, Philippines. We got some nice chat Philippines. suggestions. Absolutely. Okay, let me see if he's gone live because he no, should have at this point. Before. We don't have anything amazing in Connecticut. You know what it is? It's because here's why. It's because there's now here he is. Now it's scheduled because he is good there's at what he does. One of them is called Greenwich. Um, where all movie stars and celebrities and multi-billionaires came and lived Yeah, isn't that where Triple H is from? Drove the net income of the state up, which drove up the taxes, which drove up gas prices, which drove up this, which drove up that. So literally, the common person in Connecticut is paying incredibly high taxes and prices because a small group of elitist, really rich assholes decided to move to the state too and drove all the fucking prices up. What yeah, fuck those elitist pieces of shit. Human pieces of shit, by the way. the kind of person that needed to get into, in, into and out of New York City on a daily basis. This is a prime uh, commute location. You can just jump on a train. Within 90 minutes, I'm in the city. 
but I don't, and I've lived here my whole life, and I've gone, to the city, I've been there, done that. There's no. Reason to be what? And that's primarily. Bro, the you I get you just. Out of Connecticut, okay. Some people just can't can't help themselves from fucking themselves over. He can't help himself. Can't restrain himself. So. What I've tried to do, and this was the smart thing that I did. Oh, the smart me. thing. Let's see what is smart in the eyes of Phil. My goal, since I started working full time and making money on YouTube. Yeah, his I hair compared to back uh, to to right now, his hair it was super robust back in the day. Hey, we we have the heavy rain, so he is live, but his chat is completely tumbleweed. Nobody has said a thing, because he should announce those things in advance. So people can actually wait for him to start. Number one. But yeah, um, why would I be giving him advice? He knows everything. Bad debt. bad debt is debt, for example, a massive amount of money on a credit card. All right. How did you, you know, get rid of that? that? You had out for five billion years and just never paid off. You're just whittling away at it, whittling away at it. Um, basically, get rid of all that bad debt because that would start driving up my credit score. And I know the higher your credit score, the better chance you are that a bank will like you and grant you a loan so you can buy a house. <clears throat> Banks so love I Phil. They adore doing, him. You know, doing this on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna pay off all of my bad debt, and then I'm just gonna start putting money in the bank. And that's literally what I've done. You know, you don't see me, uh, you know, driving a yacht, wearing super expensive fancy clothes. I'm wearing a shirt. From <laughs> Baby. You don't see me driving a yacht. You bought a fucking BMW for no reason at that time. At that same time. Bought a bunch of statues. Did a field trip to pick a house across the country. Would would that be kind of ridiculous? Yeah, that kind of seems ridiculous to me. You're right. A little bit unnecessary, if you if you would even well, say. That's the kind of person I am. I'm this. I'm the kind of person that regardless. Uh, yeah, Paul, you can post a link, but that's because you're a mod. Nobody else can post links. Not change and become a lifestyles of the rich and famous kind of person. It's never gonna happen. By the way, I don't make anywhere near that kind of money anyway. But I'm just saying, even you make the kind of money that makes you buy bullshit impulsive statues and shit. So I guess you do in to some extent compared to people like the average human being, I guess. Sounds good. Bro, I wouldn't go buy a mansion and buy this and buy that. That's not the kind of person I am. I like to live a certain kind of lifestyle. And that's the kind of lifestyle I've lived while I was here. And so I was smart and I saved up a lot of money. Okay. So now, I'm in a position that these past few years, I've got money in the bank. I've got some money. Oh, wow. Money. We got money in the bank. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. He's like CM Punk. Or whoever, whoever it was. Who was it? Rob Van Dam? Somebody was Mr. Money in the Bank. Or everybody who wins the money in the bank is. But yeah, he was uh, obviously super successful. Retirement, even though there's, it's not a Retirement. lot. Retirement. Some money is set away from... Retirement. Me. And I've got... You gotta be fooling me. A great credit score. In fact, you guys can believe it. I've got one of the best credit scores I've ever heard of. Yo. I can't believe it when I when I got it. I, I, I can't believe that either. Mail today, if you can believe it. So. I cannot. Most people who you know the credit. It's score, very hard to believe. About a credit score. I'm not gonna get into the technical aspects. Of wow, this is madness. This uh, in 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 hindsight, this is actual madness. The way he was, he was stroking himself. Man, I'm, I saved up. I have money in the bank. My credit, amazing, beautiful, great. How things changed for five years. Destroyed. All right. He got ratioed by a bank. Officer, but I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to tell you my credit score. Let me just put it this way. My credit score is astronomical. Like, it's almost the best. It's like one the best of what? From the best credit score. It's almost the best. <laughs> it's almost the best. Hey, what's up, uh, Azonic? And, uh, I was incredibly pleased with that, right? Incredibly so, pleased with the after chill. Those years of saving up money, paying off my bad debt, which, by the way, I have paid it all off now, and getting my credit score up, I now felt I was finally in the position to go ahead and try to look for a house. And let me explain the process, because we do you hear the freaking process of doing this? You need to obviously contact a realtor, okay? And I did. I contacted realtors for two reasons. Number one, I said I want to look for a house. And number two, I want to try to sell this place. And it's hilarious because here's what happens. I send out the, e the emails <clears throat> and I say, now understand something. My place is incredibly cluttered. There's no way that I could sell this place until I move. Because I have nowhere to put all this shit. And you can't sell a house when it looks like this. It looks like shit. The people are going to come in and see 100 computers all around. 
You can't even see the walls of the fucking place. There's no way I could sell this unit as is. I couldn't even take a picture. So forget about that. Let's focus on looking for a house first, and then I'll look on selling the comp. I got fucking phone calls, emails, letters. Are you going to sell? Are you looking to sell? Yeah, that's, sell, a, sell, sell, that's sell. a good what thing. What you understand? My initial what? email said, yeah, eventually, but not now. What? This is it. They, they hear I'm so confused. Here, especially when a market is hot. Sell, sell, sell. You want to sell, sell. I had a guy who called me back like two weeks after I sent my first email. I really don't understand this, Phil. You contacted me. And you won't respond. It's like, oh, I just like this. Oh. What? What is your problem? Like, yeah, just get a storage you unit. Smell the blood. Of course. Yeah, everybody else sucks but Phil. And what's the problem? So. I don't fucking get it. What do you do in order to prepare to look for houses? Well, here's what you do. What do you do, First, Phil? Let's get a tutorial. How to look for houses. You have to have two separate lists, actually. One you have to have two lists. lists. What you absolutely 100% require. That's even better than one list. To to like team. double the list. The other list is nice things to have. So for me, one of the things I absolutely need, I need at least a two bedroom house because that way I can have a bedroom to sleep in and an office, an office to do my work. If I can't have that, the deal's off the table. I cannot live in a one bedroom place. I can't. I need the space to do my work. Okay. That's kind of a deal breaker. Um... One, another one would be a uh, washer and dryer have to be able to be in the house. There's a lot of these places where... Oh, well, <laughs> this laundry, guy is super specific for some reason. Go, or there's a laundromat nearby. No, I can't do that because my back... I can't do... Oh my god, my back. Can't do anything. It needs to be in my, my back. House. I can do my laundry. My neck, my back, my crack. Deal breaker. Everything laundry. hurts. It's a deal breaker. I can't live there. Okay. What is an example of some optional things that would be nice, but I don't necessarily need to have them? A three-bedroom house. Now, if it's a three-bedroom house, I don't think of the possibility. Yo. I could have an office. Yo. Three-bedroom house. What? Why? You don't have anybody to visit. You have no friends. A three-bedroom house. Yeah, why not four? How about five? She could have her own kind of office room where if she wanted to try to do her soap making as a business at some point, she has somewhere. The business of soap making, of course. Up the kitchen or something like that. Or... If it's not a three-bedroom house, maybe a two-bedroom house with a spare room. Now you can use that spare room for storage, for filming, for whatever you need. You know what I mean? The possibilities are endless when you have that extra space. But that's not a deal breaker. If I find a great house with only two bedrooms, the price is right, and everything else is perfect, I might go for it versus waiting out for the three-bedroom or the two-bedroom with an extra room style of house. Wow, so this guy is mad. Need to consider, right? The madness. One thing obviously, but it's like, it's like I give him, I, I, I give him this, I give him this. The guy was ambitious in, in some deluded, weird way. He was ambitious. He thought YouTube would go up and he would just keep making those views and that money. And he would live a baller lifestyle with his uh, borderline underage girlfriend. I mean, daughter, I mean, girlfriend, and it would be hilarious and fun and interactive. Um, unfortunately, none of that happened as, as he thought it would instead. Uh, it didn't and you you guys know the rest or at least most of it Internet what is the internet that's available? What is the internet? Places? And what I actually found out is that for this first location We're going to be going house hunting at which I'm going to re reveal soon I know I'm building up suspense here the place that we're going to be house hunting at actually is supported by Verizon Fios Verizon Fios is actively available in these areas and I'll be able to get it and Verizon Fios not the crap internet the fast yeah one, this uh internet. That's well, apparently it's not all that good. His fiber optic is not that good because mine is also fiber optic. I don't really have issues with uh, lag and such, and he has issues with lag all the time. Fast as shit. And it's it very fast. To support the speeds that I need to do to live stream and do my work. It's like a stream that gets a hundred and fifty dollar tip. That's that's how fast it was. So, that's a good thing. Um, what else? Bro, why does this? Um, his chat gets me, wiped all the time. I'm so one confused. Of the major things that's kind of a deal breaker is what kind of an area is the house in? Because think about it this way: it's a great house, has all the space in the world, right? Uh, everything's perfect, but it's across the street from the airport. So as I'm trying to do my work every day. All right, yeah, this this is not great. It's one of those memes playing. where you would get a house. Wow, this house is so fucking cheap. You go there and it's right next to the airport, of course. Soundproof the whole fucking building. So, 
that would be a deal breaker. So that's going to be another thing. We're going to these areas that we've pointed out and singled out, looking around the areas to see what are the neighborhoods like, what's the local businesses in the area, what is going on in these areas. It could be the best house in the world. It could be in a bad area, and then it's not worth it to go there, okay? Um, what else? What else? More so reasons. You, you got to convince yourself. That you want. Okay. Then you can start to look and see what is available in certain areas, right, that is of, uh, of for what you want, and you get to see an estimated price range for what you're looking for. Oh, by the and way, in today's pre-stream, he's going to be giving you... Uh, I'm closing the poll now. Whoever voted, voted. Thanks for the the millions of votes. But we're going to be watching him live. And he will talk about Horizon, which, of course, is going to be a fun time. So prepare for begging and uh, hope. Begging and hoping is, is today's topic. Price theme of the day. You may be looking for because then the next big step, and this is the step that could be a tremendous hassle. Was going, going there. The yeah. Oh, no, going to the bank. Going to the bank. Ugh. Depending on who's wow. calling you, can be either the nicest, easiest experience you've ever had in your life, or the most fucking nail-biting nightmare you've ever experienced in your life. Because some banks just don't get it, and I'm gonna get, tell you. Something. They don't get it, man. I just, I just want a lot of money, man. Why don't you just get it? I currently am a customer of Bank of America. I have several accounts there including, you know, checking savings, even a credit card, uh, not a mortgage, but I actually have some retirement funds and things with them. I got a ton of accounts with them, tons. They made tons of money off of me, trust me, of my money being in their banks all the time. So all that's there, right? No, and, him, uh, him, they made a ton of money uh, from, from me. So of course they did, of, of course, a million pay. bucks. So here's the thing, you don't go for a loan, you go what's called a pre-approval letter. What a pre-approval they is. they made even more nowadays. Basically, a bank saying we vouch for Phil, uh, we will uh, we will give him up to this. Money we vouch for Phil. <laughs> they made a public statement. That's what they said. Bank of America said, uh, "My dear citizens, we vouch for Phil." Nice house that he wants to buy. We're willing to lend him the money for. It, okay, <clears throat> so I go to Bank of America and I call them. Where do you hear this? I call them and I say to them, uh, you know, I like to look to possibly do uh, a mortgage. And uh, they say, okay, well, you know, do we need permission to pull your credit? Yes, I give you permission to pull my credit. We need two years bank statements, okay? We need, uh, not bank statements, I'm sorry. We need two years tax returns. We need a bank statement. We need a few things. They ask for certain amounts of information. And so I give them all the information that they need. Oh, all right. you're self-employed. Yes, I am self-employed. Absolutely. Okay. I think I got the, right. the chat well, in check. So we got everything right now. Down. Literally everything. I, I, talk, I give all the information. It's the to the most office. robust stream in life. The information. I'm going to refer you to an agent. Refers me to a woman who barely speaks English. The woman is either... She's Oops, either Romanian, time for some uh, xenophobia. Russian, How do you know? Countries, How do you know? Accent is so goddamn heavy. What, what was it? I understand a word she says to me, okay? So I'm on the phone with her, I, and she says, you're self-employed? Yes, I'm self-employed. Uh, what, what, what do you do? So I'm trying to explain her what I do. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I don't even know if she can understand me, right? And the thing is, I'm barely, I can barely fucking understand her. So... Oh. I mean, he's probably not gonna not gonna start anytime soon because he has like 60 views right now so this not doing okay he needs to stall some more because he didn't announce this stream until 10 minutes ago so we didn't even know what was happening we got proof of life because he was hyping it on twitter obviously okay and she, she says all all this okay and then she pulls my credit right and she says okay she's gonna review all the information and get back to me i wait a day uh, she finally does get back to me. Oh, Mr. Burnell, bad news. I said, okay, bad news. What's the bad news? Let's hear this. This will be a, a laugh riot. Well, you're self-employed, and your tax returns for 2012 show that your business made more money than it did in 2013. And because of that, per our calculations, per our formula, that means that your business is in a decline. Therefore... We don't, you know, we, we're not confident. In wow, your business is ass. Fucking <laughs> nice. Down wow. 
what? A 20% required down payment. Now keep in mind. Look at your stream. Uh, look at the screen right now. You see him? You see DSP Gaming say, Hello, everyone. Say something, LOL. Say something, LOL. Very fucking slick. This guy's great. I, I gotta go sub right now. Okay, let's go back to the bank story because that is fucking hilarious. And did, did somebody say anything? They didn't. They literally did not. Gonna be probably nobody said anything since then except nightbot wow i don't have that much money <laughs> lying around or it's 400 like subs he talks to nightbot 400 subs uh not subs but members you know what i mean my bank account right i completely clean out my bank account. oh phil how am i gonna afford to move how am i gonna afford to sell this place which is and and expensive. he's getting a spoiler so if uh, don't read the the chat that's on the screen if you don't want a spoiler for something uh, I think it's Horizon, but I wouldn't know. And then somebody said, "I'm I'm pumped for more King of Fighters," and the message deleted. Can't afford to do all this. Of stuff, course, right? That's not possible. So, I'm like, "You're out of your mind." Twenty percent down payment is incredibly unreasonable. So let me get this straight: just because I made less money one year than another in a business that will fluctuate, because it has fluctuated since day one, you're telling me that my business is in decline. And she says, "Well, unless you can prove otherwise." I said, absolutely, I can prove otherwise. Here's what happened. Because I've, I've actually publicly told you guys about this. You know. I publicly explained to the I internet. Really well for myself. My views were high. Um, but that's really not the reason why. So he. Decline in income he gave him a free stream, basically. You guys remember. He gave him a free stream. Hey, this is, I made this much money because of this and this in contributions. Uh, oh, no, that was ad revenue from back then, well, but still. Machinima contacted me and renegotiated my contract for less money. They basically said, listen, we've been paying everyone way too much money. Ad revenue isn't what it used to be, and we need to cut everyone's pay. And they cut my pay. And so 2013, I cut my money. pay Wasn't into pieces. Huge less this is my last work. resort. But to the bank, all they see is there's a decline. They don't want to hear, oh, well... You know, you took a pay cut because they were paying too much money and they couldn't afford it anymore. And really, it wasn't that there was a massive decline in your business. It was because of that, that you made less money. They don't want to hear any of that. All they know, here's what they've got. Let me see. Hold on. They've got a piece of paper. Where are you going, Burnell? Oh, he's going for the piece of paper. It's the classic piece of paper treatment. We got to go get the piece of paper, Phil. This is like a nice professional mailing. Hey, big ups, uh, yeah, boy, for the super chat. There it is. Was told he'd be in in define. Didn't believe it. Thinks the bank was unreasonable. Was warned, and now has a foreclosure and a bankruptcy. And but didn't you hear? This was the the smart thing he was doing. This is smart, according to him. And then he bitched that the bank was stupid. The bank. Right. They told him your business is is not solid enough. Don't take this loan. You're gonna get fucked up. He did it anyways, got fucked up, didn't learn anything. They've got a piece of paper, and on this piece of paper, there's a formula. Swag. The formula says you take this income versus this income versus this income. You take this versus this versus this. You do this, it's black and white. And you, if it doesn't come to this number, the person's a bad person. You can't trust them, right? So let me get this straight. I've got a successful business. He's a bad so person. What are you talking the about? Business is successful. The business, even though it might be in a slight decline, because of in a slight it's decline, still, it's still doing well. <laughs> he needs uh, he needs to explain them how his business is dependent on video games. That's what he needed to explain them. You you see, next month is is Dark Souls, so this is gonna be a, a great month for my business. So I can pay my loan, but after that, I can't pay actually. In reality, and sounds good. Ninety percent sounds pignosis. In this business, we're doing stuff on YouTube and making money doing it. I'm tremendously happy and so, and happy for my success, and I'm so happy that you guys watch my content. That you're here tonight watching my content. You know, it means a lot to me. And I'm making great. I'm making more money now than I ever was at the old office job. But let me give you a perspective here. If I still give me a perspective, Phil. Tell job, me how successful you are. That's the perspective you can give me. They would have taken their big green stamp and said, oh, done. And here's why. Because they think that someone who works in an office with a salary job has a more steady job and a more steady income and that there's no, there's no risk. There's little to no risk giving them a loan. But me, because I'm self-employed, 
oh, his business could tank at any moment, so fuck that. You know, high, high risk. It's ridiculous. I made so much, you know, less money doing that stupid office job, yet they approved me for a loan for this place for $130,000. I'm looking for a loan that's not even double that, but I'm making way more money, and they won't fucking approve it. So it makes no sense, right? It makes absolutely no sense. So I basically told that woman as much. I said, what you're telling me makes no sense. He gave him a pre-stream. Oh yeah, that's what he told him. You to go, you know, this, go what you told me makes no sense with everyone with a brain. It's like, I don't, I don't even know why he does shit like this when it's like, you're obviously misrepresenting what you said and what somebody else said to make yourself look tough. But nobody's fucking buying it. And tell me what you'll approve me for. Even if it's a 20% down payment. That, uh, that reminds me of when the, I don't know, when the bankruptcy was happening. And he was talking about like, I, I called the mortgage company and I was like, dude, you guys are fucking idiots. Approved. It's like, Phil, you, you obviously did not. Okay. Obviously. So obviously I'm upset. Obviously you are upset. Of course you should be. And uh, I'm upset like fucking Drake. I say enough of this. I'm not, I'm not going to try another major bank. I get the feeling they're all major bank alert. So I go to the uh the realtor and i say listen you're a realtor you deal they're with keeping it real you know anyone that's their I job understand some, someone, someone <laughs> come on work, phil and uh come alive already so i can go to the bathroom shake instead of just writing me off as some kind of a risky person and she says risky okay, person on. you are they weren't a thousand percent correct a million percent correct information from this other bank now this other bank is an independent bank it's a very it's an other bank. bank i'm pretty sure what they do is they'll do the major bank alert, alert. minor bank so alert. To another bank. Anyway, this is what happens with these mortgages all the time. I'm sorry that I'm tweaking up with the uh, with the layout live, but it's it's much easier than than uh, if I don't. There's no personal attention given. To if I do the studio mode. So I work with this independent company. I send them the same exact information, literally the same information that I sent Bank of America. I explained to them the situation of what hey, happened. Big ups, uh, Lunar Guardian. The business that one particular year. And they look at all the information and they say, Phil, here you go. You're approved up to a certain amount. Now, ideally, I'll be honest with everyone. It wasn't the highest amount that I was highballing for. It was kind of a middle range amount that they said that I could be approved for. And it's fine. Uh, big ups for a super chat. I'm going to read that in a second. Let me just... Most fix up some some of this chill finding are actually almost on the lower end of what i was getting approved for so realistically it's it works out realistic talk literally night and day for bank of america it's like wings any shit. didn't you know oh phil yeah because no, they phil, this is bad. they decided to take advantage of him and just take his money eventually they didn't, anything like they didn't even mention it yeah you got fucking scammed by the bank congratulations oh he's live all right He's live. Let me also give a shout out to this super chat. Uh, big ups to King of Prominence for the super chat. How strong are your member perks? Can get too high. Uh, you can click on join. You'll see. Recently, I added the, the Discord perks, which is you get a special name and a private members room in Discord where you can chat with other members. And yeah, and the other shit that it says on the, on the thing. Okay. On YouTube... You have to set up individual streams, and each stream is its own individual stream. Is he gonna complain about this? This fucking bum. He's too lazy to, to an announce a fucking stream. Doesn't even make his own uh, thumbnails, doesn't write compelling titles, but bitch about it. You should. You should. Alright, I'm gonna hit the bathroom for less than a minute. I'll be right back. With all of its settings, title, and everything, so that people can actually file in and get ready for the next stream that I'm going to do. I forgot to do that last night. Uh, in my haste to get out of here after a long day of streaming of Horizon. He was literally trying to clock out so fast that he forgot to announce the stream for the next fucking day. This is Phil. This is the guy. No one here because there was no stream to sit in. Um, right now I just turned on the podcast. We got over a hundred viewers, which is you know. Pretty typical for the start, I would say, and I'm sure we're going to gain more and more viewers over the course of this, this pre-stream. Um, but I apologize. I know it's a cool place to hang out, and sometimes people have conversation beforehand, uh, before the stream is actually live, and it sucks when I forget to do that. <clears throat> um, so, oops, sorry. Um, some people have asked me, why don't you just set up all your streams ahead of time? Like, if you know all the streams you're doing in a week, which sometimes I do, 
why don't I set them all up ahead of time? Well, there's good reason for that. First of all, my streams change all the time. And if I were to set up, let's say tonight, oh, I know that for the next seven days, I know what my streams are. And I set them all up ahead of time. Um, What if something changes, right? Now, it looks like I have a stream that's going to happen. And if something changes during the week, now I got to change all of those streams around just because I changed the schedule a little bit. And it could confuse people. That's the other thing too. Like, it's very confusing if you go to my channel and it says, oh, there's seven streams and are all listed here coming up. Like, what is this? And you click on each one and uh, they're all separate rooms. I know. On Twitch, it's definitely a lot more straightforward. I really wish that it was done the way that it was done on Twitch here, but it's not. Okay? Um, if you guys see value in me setting up these streams way ahead of time, let me know. Okay? You know, let me know in the stream chat. Leave a comment on this video. Contact me in some way and say, yeah, there actually is a benefit. You know, maybe maybe you know of another person who streams on YouTube. And sometimes there is a benefit for doing that. I'm not aware. What? Of benefit of what? Be educated because he would love to be educated. I would love him to be educated. But I got to be honest with you. Big ups to Lime for the $5 super chat with no comment. But thank you. I appreciate that. Be more beneficial for my viewers versus what won't be beneficial. So please, by all means, share your thoughts, okay? Share your thoughts. So because the stream was not set up ahead of time, all right, I can tell you right now, it's super dead in the chat. Like, we have a, over 100 people here on the stream, and no one is talking. I'm not even kidding. I've been talking for two straight minutes, and there isn't a comment in the chat. <laughs> Why? Why? You, Why? you didn't announce your stream, dummy. People couldn't gather around before it even started. Because you're incompetent. You forgot to do it. And that's why they're not fucking talking. And you're also boring. So, yeah. Keep, keep crying. Keep crying. By all means, keep crying. As you know, I play a montage of my remixes of... uh, Basically, it's commentary for my old-ass playthroughs on YouTube that over the years people took and remixed and made songs out of. And I play that as the music before I start streaming. Okay? Um... It won't even load right. I don't understand that. It's just audio. It's not even like there's a giant video attached to it with, you know, yeah, it won't even play it. It's buffering. You're buffering the fucking song. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like YouTube is kind of messed up. Um, for some odd reason, it's not playing stuff right. I wouldn't be shocked to hear that a lot of people don't even know the stream is live. That maybe because it wasn't set up. Hey, big ups, uh, laggard for liking the layout. Thank you. I try and do my best. Kind of weird. Um, Cause I want to balance having everything on the screen. Are kind of just here. I don't know. Could it be that YouTube has decided? That oh, it's YouTube's fault. A certain amount of attention. Yeah. Prioritize. <laughs> of course it is. Yes. A thousand percent. It's just really weird. That I can't even just play music. How can it be anybody else's fault but mine? I need to justify this to myself. Odd to me. I never even seen anything like that happen before. Right. <laughs> you're irrelevant, DSP. That is how it happens. Happens when you're a nobody on YouTube. No one really mentioned anything. It's an issue. With <laughs> it's it's YouTube's fault that he's trash. YouTube's fault. I guess we'll see. I hope not. I hope it's not an, uh, an ongoing issue or anything. Okay. Um. All right, guys. So let's talk. Okay. So first, of let's talk. Real talk. Yeah, not real fake talk. talk. My front page won't even load. I have to click the YouTube button in the top left corner twice to get it. Yeah, done. no, no. Oh, you just trash. They broke it again. Like, these guys at YouTube, I swear to God, every time that they change something, they think they're improving it, they break 10 other things. Oh, yeah, my side chain is pretty aggressive. Every Let me see what I can do. Anyway, um, let's talk. First of all, let's briefly go through the schedule so you know what to expect. Uh, I want to talk a lot about Horizon Forbidden West. Now that and we're getting schedule segment, of course, super interesting. God damn it, I guess I'm stuck in my two. Hold on one second. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Where are you going, Burnell? You're supposed to be the guy. What the fuck? What was the super chat? He got a, a, a super chat that said something. I don't know what it said. L. So, sometimes people ask yeah, I'm going to leave the side chain like this for now. I'm going to experiment with it off the stream so I don't fuck up everything right now. Who asked this? Who? 
What do you eat in the morning? This is bait. And usually I have to fill Jasper's food. Uh, I'll give him a treat in the morning. And then I, I make a coffee for myself and I usually have something for breakfast. Now there's many different things I could have for breakfast. I could have uh, a toasted bagel, sometimes with butter, sometimes with cream. Oh, a snort reference, of course it would. Even though I don't really eat those that often that more because they're, anymore because they're pretty bad these days. They ruin them basically, but sometimes just something quick you toss it in the toaster. Um, usually I'll have a breakfast burrito. There's these burritos you can buy, microwave burritos of different kinds. There's three different kinds that they have at my local grocery store. There's one that's like egg, sausage, and cheese. Then there's one that's bacon, peppers, potato. The, the most boring person in life. The most boring. Um, fucking menu segment. Menu. They all do. Eggs, peppers, tomatoes. What the fuck is this? Are you Anthony Bourdain? It gives you a little bit of a boost in the morning, some protein, some energy. No, because you're alive. And I usually have that with a cup of coffee. Black coffee. Um, so I'm yeah, lurking. I had the, the bacon, potato, and peppers burrito and egg with uh, a black coffee. I had a little bit of stuck in my tooth there. It was bothering me. He's talking about his breakfast, right. by the way. That's the segment you get. Let's talk. Um, I'm switching on, on to game right out. now. Woo. What a week we got. Today, Saturday, the 19th of February, 2022, we got the King of Fighters 15's second session ever. Okay? I don't know how this works, honestly. In regards to the second session ever, what are we doing today? Well, when I played this as the big premiere a couple days ago, all right, I tried out a team. It was the Fatal Fury team. Oh, now we get a recap of the previous stream. Why? Isn't the daily wrap for this? The daily wrap is for gaming recaps. And this is just, just garbage. It's worthless content. It's especially for a podcast. Especially for a podcast. This is garbage. So there is a character in the game, he's not really a dinosaur, he's a pro wrestler. In Fatal Fury Mark of the Wolves, which was a game from the early 2000s, he was called Tzok. And he has a hawk mask on, but for this game series, they changed him up to be the king of dinosaurs, and he has a dinosaur mask, dinosaur claw arms, and a dinosaur tail. As ridiculous as that sounds. Hey, Major Bag is still playing, holy oh, fuck. So, I picked the dinosaur team, which is a combination of him, as well as the character who was the mini boss from the last game, Antonov, who's also a pro wrestler, and then Ramon, who's from the early 2000s King of Fighters series, who's like a luchador who bounces all over the walls. Okay, unique team for sure. Not a single all right projectile, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I played. All right, I think all my layouts are done right now. The launch coverage that I did a whole hour messing around with them in their missions mode to try to learn their 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 basics. And then taking them online and then doing three hours of online play on Thursday night. Okay. I had a lot of fun with it. But man, that team is, I would almost consider them the oddball team of the game. What are they glitched? Are they the best? Overpowered? Underpowered? You know, I don't know, man. All these these this game talk is just exhausting. The Shodo, who has a fireball. Alright, now you get an explanation of shit that you can Google. He's a rushdown character who just tries to stay in your face and mix you up and do combos. They're like none of those. They're a very weird hybrid character. Some of them have super armor throws. Some of them have high combo ability. Some of them blow through moves. Some of them are just very slow but high damage hits. All right, I think I fixed the... Weird. Okay? They're oddball characters. The side chain being way too aggressive. Now it should be at least somewhat chill. What I mean by that is literally any other team that I pick is going to play more like a typical fighting game and more like typical King of Fighters than that team that I picked on Thursday. Okay? So today... We are going to select a new team. Um, uh, I don't know who it's going to be yet. I'm going to take your feedback, but I, I have an idea who I want to pick. I'm going to take your feedback. If I could choose out of everyone in the game, I know exactly what team I want to pick today. I don't Bro, know just do whatever you want or do whatever the fans want. I don't know. This is fucking terrible. Once we start playing. Oh. But um, what we're going to do is take that team into their own missions mode to try out some of their combos and capabilities. Then we're going to do a quick run through the arcade slash story mode, which only takes about 20 minutes. It's only, I think, like six or seven matches and then the boss, um, which is not a long time, but they'll give me an opportunity to test out some of the techniques I learned in the missions mode. And then I'm going to go right online. So we're going to have probably roughly two hours of online play here on today's stream. I've awesome. New team for two hours. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, he does spoil his content. Big up, Steven. Content. He does spo spoil his fucking content. Stuff. Now, later tonight on the late stream. Oh, uh, and then I don't know why, man. People didn't show up. They should have. Legends Arceus. Arceus. 
think it's Arceus, right? No, it's Arceus, but it doesn't matter. It's all right. Just say something. Okay, out of five. Just keep five talking. Map regions. We're in the third map region. We did a lot already in this map region. In fact, I think we're probably about halfway through it. So if we have a, a, a focus tonight on maybe advancing the plot in this region, we might even beat the region tonight. It is the, the beachfront region. You're basically on a, like a seaside. Um, Maybe even fight... Uh, Maybe even fight the boss and all of that, okay? All right, Burnell. Oh, he needed to take a sip in the middle of the fucking sentence. That's great. Awesome, Phil. Arceus stream. Arceus? So obnoxious. So obnoxious. It annoys me irrationally. I don't know why. We already had someone yesterday. It was yeah, name a fucking Pokemon. Was like, man, Phil, Didn't you I ask him? You know, he came himself. Europe, I can't attend your late streams. They're too late for me. But I would love to name a Pokemon for this. Fuck Rob. Pokemon. He's an embarrassment to Europeans. And I said, sure. So he actually did that. And we're going to have a new Pokemon named tonight. And we'll see if anyone else wants to take advantage of that tonight as well. But the Pokemon streams mostly are very chill. <clears throat> a lot more interactive than other action-based streams. Like today, when I'm playing this game online, King of Fighters, there's no way... I'm going to be able to interact with you guys when I'm actively playing these fighting game matches, okay? Just so you know. Um, but tonight with Pokemon, it's the complete polar opposite. That's the, the big interactive stream uh, for the day. So I hope you guys will join me for that later tonight, okay? Now, tomorrow... The big interactive uh, stream. This is not an interactive stream, probably. We're swinging back. Oh, I wonder what kind of a stream it is. Game Tracker just took five dollars and gave me all my stats from my first day of King. What? Cool. I'm gonna read that in a little bit. Thank you, Game Tracker. Okay, get, oh my God, this is next level of getting cucked. Uh, yeah, I'm playing on the PS4. Uh, so that's why it's blurry. And furthermore, I am uh, streaming it through remote play. Okay. So yeah, but it's it, it's something that uh, you could look at when you know you don't care about what DSP is is doing on the screen. If the animation didn't come through, I apologize. It must be some kind of a weird thing. Uh, it looks like stream elements is enabled. It should have popped up. If it didn't, it's fucked up. <laughs> Stupid fucking thing. God damn it. <clears throat> the, the rest assured it came through, and I will read your message. It's interesting data. Okay. So it's interesting tomorrow, data. <laughs> Sunday the 20th. My last oh, this guy's funny. Straight days of streaming. It'll be more it's, his, it's just his stats from a, from a fighting game. He wasn't. He didn't like people sending him the stats from uh, from Halo though, because he was bad. When he was claiming he was beasting. Okay. Then you get to the first town and you get a bunch of quests. Last night's late stream of two hours was very fun, and here's why. We went why? The open world and explored it for the first time. We fought enemies, gathered uh, resources from the enemies that we defeated. We completed several uh, side missions including gathering ingredients to make a meal in town. We also went to a cave and saved a bunch of miners who had been trapped in a cave-in. <laughs> he saved miners. Did, did you groom them? Did you ship them across the country? We also uh, explored. We climbed up a giant... All right. This... Man, this recap is useless. That's why you do the daily wrap. Stop doing this. Talk about something new, not about something that already happened and people can fucking watch it. So, basically, it was very interesting to finally see the game open... He saved some miners. And... It was pretty entertaining in that second stream. The first stream, admittedly, wasn't so good. It was kind of a slow start, and yes, I understand they needed to reintroduce the characters, they needed to jump you back into the the world since the first game, but I was kind of bored. After those, those first three hours, I ended, failed massively at this. Stream started. I actually had a lot of fun last night, okay? So I'll talk about that in a moment, because I'm going to give you my full thoughts on the game, especially, you know, what people thought and what I thought and everything uh, in, a, in a, you know, later on in this podcast, okay? So tomorrow will be... My second day, effectively, of streaming Horizon Forbidden West. I'm excited because I think the game is going to be more entertaining, opened up. There's going to be more opportunity for discussion, interaction, as I'm exploring this big open world. Okay? Cool. Now, tomorrow night will be Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And you may be saying to yourself, wow, this is actually the longest we've gone since Phil started playing Skyrim in December. Phil. <laughs> I hate him when he talks, right. talks about himself in third person and says his name. I fucking hate it. There's there's few things that I hate more Almost too much. about DSP, not just generally. I've actually gone um, without playing it because there's been, you know, so many new releases this week that I've stayed away from it for a while. Okay? So. Ow. So. 
Stop uh, cracking, bro. For more Skyrim tomorrow night. We're currently doing quests. Less cracking, more talking. If you remember, we just were assigned all of the Thieves Guild quests. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head out and focus on the Thieves Guild plotline on Sunday night. Okay? Now, I will not be here on Monday. Thieves Guild. DSP works for them. On Tuesday, what we're going to do is alternate. For three straight days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be alternation between the new releases. Oh, so fuck. Pokemon on, on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday. Oh, terrible. Terrible fucking gameplay. And Skyrim. Thursday, I don't have stamina for this shit. I will let you guys decide. Would you rather see more King of Fighters? Or oh, no. People are deciding. It's going to be bad. Gameplay stream. I'll, I'll just open it to and a game glitch. And let you guys oh, no, it's all right. overnight determine what we play on the main stream. As for the night stream, I'm also not sure. I might actually do a poll for that, too. Because I'm not sure what I want to do. Basically, like, like Thursday will be the what-if day. You guys pick. Okay. What if they? Then on Friday, of course. The <laughs> These segments are the worst. There's nothing even to talk about, like from my perspective. I have nothing to say about what he's doing. It's just bad. It's just dates when games are coming out. What am I supposed to say and like about this? On Friday, okay. How's Elden Ring? Phil, what do you think about Elden Ring? Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. That's what you want, right? You hope for that. Why aren't you playing Elden Ring? Phil, hey, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Hey, Phil, did you know about Elden Ring? Hey, Elden Ring. Elden I hate it. And Elden he does this joke Ring. all the time. For anything that has th uh, that has hype behind it, it's it's the same joke. Why am I not centered? In a clown mode. That's for zero reasons. Let's go on the balance, because I would prefer him to be a little bit be bigger. Better. What happened? I don't know. I guess I must have hit the camera or something. Yeah, I don't know. Why can't you no, time your own fucking great. jokes, loser? Can't even time his own. The jokes that he sets himself up and he hits the the punchline for it can't set himself up for properly. This is how unfunny this guy is. If you guys actually want it that badly, I wouldn't. Fails at setting up his own jokes. Two straight days nonstop. Yes, that would mean four straight streams of Elden Ring, Friday and Saturday. I'd be okay with that. But I'll be honest, after that, if I... Don't be honest. I don't like you when you're honest. I like you when you lie. I'm going to want to fucking break from Elden Ring, which would be good, because then Sunday I'll do different stuff. And I don't know, actually, right now, if Monday's going to be my day off or not. I can't confirm that. But once I can, which I should be able to in the next few days, I'll let you guys know. Um, But, you know, I would assume, let's say that Monday was also my day off. That would be good. I have different games for Sunday, and then Monday would be off. And I have a few days away... From Elden Ring, okay? But then we come right back, probably, to Elden Ring. I know everyone's just gonna want to see this fucking game. I know it. <clears throat> so, we'll see how it goes, all right? You might have noticed, I didn't mention any Dying Light 2 in there. Yeah, because you don't like it. Hmm. It seems like in the last two days, since the release... All right, we're going back to games. And now Horizon Forbidden West, absolutely no one's talking about Dying Light 2. Cool. What do you mean, no one? Gonna happen no one cares. Now. What is this straw man? I'm playing it right now. I care. There we go with the no one. Most people. Who is most people? Dudes in your chat, they're barely human. It took me 15 hours to get to the good part of the game where you're in the open city and you get to use the hang glider and the air vents to actually glide around and be mobile. Yeah, well, you're too slow. You fucked around too much. 15 hours, five major fucking streams. Stop fucking around. Got to the good part of the game. They fucked up. That game should have been good after four hours, if even less. They really boneheadedly made that game. They made that game. Dude, people play games for hundreds of fucking hours. Especially I'm nowadays. I'm never going back to Dying Light 2. Alright? I'm leaving it as open as a possibility. If, when the dust settles from all these releases I'm playing right now, if you guys want to see Dying Light 2, I would consider going back to it. I mean, I bought it. And I played it for 15 hours to get to the good parts. How long did it take me? Uh, I can't really check right now. It took me like 10 hours to get to the city. But I grinded a lot of uh, side stuff. I didn't. I, I wouldn't say I grinded it because I enjoyed it. You guys to determine. And what we'll probably do is sometime in March, like I said, once the, everything calms down and the dust is settling from all these releases. The dust is settling. Do you want to see Dying Light 2? Do you want to see me do something else? And we'll determine from there. Okay. Now, also you may have noticed there was no Street Fighter this week. I'd already announced last week there would be no Street Fighter this week. There's too much new release madness going on. You new release madness. Street Fighter, okay? <laughs> he Take gets so tangled up in this stupid-ass schedule. All you have to do is just fucking now, play games. Again, 
Let's Nobody see. asks you for anything else. Just play fucking games. If you guys want to see the return of Classic Street Fighter, we can do that. But let's focus in on everything we're doing right now before we kind of jump the gun. Oh, this okay? windmill is going to take me like 20 years to pass. Cool. And by the way, I do want to say thanks to those who are supporting the King of Fighters stuff. Just to give you guys some perspective, okay? The King of Fighters 15 streams on Thursday did very well. Attendance was high. Attendance. I hate it. Nobody else says attendance about their own fucking streams. I was pleased with how good the support went. In conjunction with that, yesterday, which we're going to kind of transition into in a moment here. Transition. We're transitioning now. Reduced over the course of me playing the game. Yeah, this gameplay is about to suck, by the way. At all for a new release, which we'll talk about in a few moments here. Okay, but so we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see how things go on. Uh, I have a theory as to maybe why this was yesterday. What theory do you have? Talk about that. I have a theory. Anyway, uh, more delusion. He's like MatPat. He has game theories now. How did I not grab this? Terrible. What housekeeping? Announce a stream so people aren't confused. Housekeeping. If you direct your attention yet again to the bottom of your screen, you'll see for like the third day in a row. Oh, begging. The record high number. Let's go to, to focus for the pig. I mean, the good news is it hasn't gone down. That's obviously a positive that it didn't like plummet down. At the same time... This is fucking terrible, bro. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Even though there's been two new release games. If you direct your attention, he's like a fucking tour guide. And people coming to the direct your attention. We get at least a few new members. <laughs> what a fucking pathetic in human. Okay, you ready? In the last two days, since the premiere of the King of Fighters 15 and Horizon Forbidden West, this channel got over... Okay, this fucking sucks. ...in two days. And that's a lot. That's no, it's not. They don't engage. They don't watch your shit. So what happened is, just like I told you guys... Might as well not exist. Who were searching for these games probably saw my streams because you guys have been liking the stream so much. Oh yeah, that it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fantasy fucking narrative yet again. And we got over a hundred. Bro, this fucking great. sucks. Two days over a hundred is superb. And what I'm hoping is over the course of this week that pattern will continue. Yeah, these people they don't fucking exist, DSP. What are these fantasy scenarios? Okay, we'll have to see. But like hundreds yeah, of people don't think like that. Working. It's. And I hope that you it's sad to think that they do. Continue to like the streams if you're watching the videos on demand. And this is actually huge. Right now, I'm getting tons of likes on my stream. Bro, I don't I fucking get how this works. Less than 100 likes since the middle of June. That's not tons of likes. Over a month, you guys have been I've been doing this for four months and I got twice the fucking likes. And I really appreciate that, okay? What really I need help with is the on-demand videos. Ah, uh, no! Beg some more. Really some more. A lot of attention when it comes to likes. Bro, I fucking hate this. Now, I will say this. I went to sleep last night. I woke up this morning and I was pleasantly surprised. There was a ton of comments that had been added to the videos overnight. And some of them were for King of Fighters and some of them were for Horizon. And I was pleased with that. I liked that. I was like, wow, big influx of comments came in. Wow, big influx of comments. <laughs> it really does. I'm not even kidding. Man, how can you be this fucking delusional? You get 500 likes, uh, 500 views. It's called uh, engagement. And that gives it more visibility on YouTube. Seriously. So thank you for that, okay? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Nobody no. gets recommended and watches it. Because they're real people, DSP. They're not animals. They see this and they're not impressed. Okay, the on demand videos, if they got more more likes and more comments, it would help a ton. To give you some perspective, okay, yesterday, part one of Horizon Forbidden West, which hasn't even been out for 24 hours, not even close, because the video published at like... You put it as a highlighted video. Yesterday. You put it as a highlighted video. And it's uh, part one. 2,000 views. Pretty good. This guy's full of shit, man. For the first day. But only has like, I'm serious, it has like 20 likes or something like that. Full of shit to a level unseen before. Thousands of views. Thousands of views. The video, only 20 people clicked like. Yeah. Actually bad. Yeah. Bad. It's sad. It's not bad. You know what it's I mean? tragic. Everyone watches, but no one's 14 years of your life. It's my fault. Put I everything in that bag. Take responsibility. How many years did I tell you guys, DSP Gaming is just an archive. Treat it as such. I don't care about it. Let's focus on Twitch. <laughs> what a I fucking dent. Did happen last year happening? No, I didn't. I didn't expect Twitch to kick me off literally for no actual legitimate... Legit and we're back on hating on Twitch. Of course or of course we are. That's uh, that's what that's what we get. So, 
that being said, um, we got to get back in the mentality of, oh, if you're going to watch a video we? Game here on the no. channel, you like it if you like it. And that's another thing I want to emphasize. We. You like it if you like it. <laughs> Who is we? You Are you trying to speak French? I do not like it. I only want we. to deserve. The point is, we have consistent people, thousands of people coming back to watch the content who like it or else they wouldn't be coming back. They're not. You get 500 views per video, clown. We. Oui. On-demand videos. You guys on the streams are doing an outstanding job of engagement, right? A hundred likes on a stream that only has a few hundred viewers is a giant amount. That's huge. Thank you so much. To but you ask for those likes. They're not actually real. You ask for them. Now we need some help in the on-demand videos department, and I'm going to keep emphasizing this every day. I hope you guys understand why I'm doing it. First thing I'm going to do... When I start with King of Fighters today, you say, hey, if you're watching this on demand, please give it a like. And I hope you understand why. I need that is so it. pathetic. Thank you. Okay. That is so sad. Um, so. I would feel bad for him if he wasn't a toxic piece of shit. Then I would actually feel bad for him. But I can't. Anyone who becomes a member I physically today, can't. If you're a new member, you're going to push us to a new record on the channel. How cool will that be to say I'm the new record-breaking member, right? And how no. Cool say, oh, how cool would it be to say? Not YouTube very cool. It's just a sales pitch. YouTube never enabled them. Here we are, three weeks into February. We were hoping that February would be the month YouTube would implement all the changes, the positive changes. They've implemented nothing. Absolutely nothing. They're sitting on their fucking thumbs doing nothing, probably working on bullshit, fucking up the site. <laughs> what they promised they would improve this year what a That's fucking what joke honest, someone who makes a living here you're gonna stay on my really dick until you die to be you know to be what a fucking so clown the tools and opportunity to in do february do what they promised they would do this year pretty pissed it does it pisses me off they promised but hopefully eventually <laughs> keep crying keep crying i love those tears and keep them coming but delicious all right we're trying to hit 400 members by the end of the month and if we hit 400 members by the end of this month a fun viewer's choice playthrough will take place. Where you fun, by the way. Vote on games for me to do a full play Fun is a thing. Stream. So many different genres of games and IPs that I never really even knew existed have been played as a result of these kinds of events. And I would absolutely love to do it again. But we need to get these memberships up. So if you're not a member, please consider joining. Please consider. I've considered it. No. My answer is no. A chat crown. Show how long you've been a supporter, both on the streams and in video comments. Access to all of my emotes on the streams and in video comments. The ability to talk as much as you want on the streams with no limitations at all. No slow-mo, right? Whoa, no slow-mo. It's priority like, action. uh, I don't know, something that's very fast. Not DSP streams, though. Priority to nominate and vote on a game that will make it to the final poll. No slow mode. His chat is dead. He was just complaining about it. You get priority. He was just complaining about it. And yes, I am strong. <laughs> Chad is dead, but if you become a, if you give me money, you bypass the slow mode. Seems like Thanks. Working now. That's great. I'll make a little silly comment here and appreciate in a moment about social media. Uh, big ups, Black Mage Triple Six for a super chat. Gas, gas, gas. Gotta turn the gas to all those pay pigs. Okay. Turn on the ovens, dude. Turn on the ovens. Thank you in advance. <laughs> big ups. Becoming a member here, and uh, please. Consider it today, we'll hit a new record. Now keep in mind I'm a crowdfunded individual. I make my crowdfunded individual, nice prestige. All the support that I get via the live streams and of course also on demand videos, but primarily it's during the live streams. So that means memberships, super chats, super stickers, and tips. Tips are how I make my living. What was I pointing at there? Tips. Yeah, point at those fucking tips, you sly beggar. The first king of You beggar you. I really appreciate that. I'd like to keep that going. Naughty pig. Rewards in effect. Tip rewards. Those are very exciting. Those he should try something new. That 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 shit with the glass in the hat is not not popping that much. Oh yeah, super chats apparently don't count because they're delayed support, as I said earlier. Football jerseys that I actually purchased 20 years ago. Whoa! God forbid you buy something new. Wore these jerseys playing games like Capcom versus SNK2 that had characters from King of Fighters in it. How cool is that? <clears throat> so, please consider uh, supporting if you can. Now, let's talk about the King of Fighters 15, okay? This is actually kind of funny because we were all wondering... What is funny? What is funny, Phil, again? Right. I'm not laughing. I don't know why. In general, people seem to like it, 
Okay, it's only been out for two People, days. by the way. He read Twitter again. Just say fucking Twitter. Just be honest for once. People. There are barely people on Twitter. I know, because I'm barely a person and I'm on Twitter. Uh, by the fighting game community collectively, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Big Ups Day Glow for Super Chat says, uh, here's some delayed support. Thank you for your delayed support. I will eventually appreciate it, dude. <laughs> but now it's nothing. When I get it, I'm going to be appreciative. I'm going to send you a message. Play against you right away. And basically, all the functions you would expect from a modern fighting game that actually work at launch. Okay? He's going to call it glitched as fuck when... When a couple of days pass and people start learning how to play the game. They've been so bad since then that most people who buy them don't even expect them to work on release. And Street Fighter V was the beginning of that like slippery slope of every game basically sucking at launch. And then people basically saying stuff like, oh, guess what? It's not as bad. It's the busting song. I like that song a lot. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm trying to not, not fuck over Phil. Online gameplay. Kating on Street Fighter V because he is Dark Side Phil. This is the most predictable man alive. And it took them months. I'm not exaggerating. Months to get it to even work at a basic functional level. So now every fighting game comes out and you're like, well, maybe this feature doesn't work and this feature doesn't work, but it ain't as bad as Street Fighter V. But Who says this? Just just Phil says this. Everyone's kind of like, oh. I'm not sure everybody else says this. And it feels like like we got our money's worth at launch. You believe that buying a game and getting all the features and functions right from the get go? Yeah, welcome to to current year. That doesn't happen in current year. It's all live service extravaganza. In regards to that, I'm happy to hear that the people are liking the game. I'm excited to jump back into it today. But the major meat of what I want to talk about on today's pre-stream podcast is not all that. It's Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. Yesterday I played it for five hours. Initially, the first thing you notice when you boot the game on PS5 is the graphics are outstanding. Oh, the graphics. There we go. The first thing ever. Yeah, you keep saying that. You should stop. Half the time you're playing... Takes away from your credibility when all you fucking talk about is graphics. The first thing he mentions is graphics. Half the time the game looked like shit. You really had to hope, hopefully focus on a good story and good gameplay elements. Now you boot the game like, oh my god. Like, near photorealism. The game's character models are so crazy realistic... The way they move and talk looks like a human, right? It looks like human mannerism. Yeah, it looks more human than you do, if I gotta be honest. After balls. You know, you can tell. It's, it's not. You can't tell in this game. Everything looks natural. Everything looks flowing, okay? um, That's a great thing. Um, Gameplay elements. Five hours in, I can tell you that the game already is opening up. Not only is are the melee combos getting better because I'm unlocking better ones, but now I'm getting the slow-mo ability with the bow and... It's becoming hey, we have a sex bot in chat. Shout out to the sex bot. I'm unlocking new abilities. Oh, right uh, that's getting leaned. Slingshot, but I, I just got acid arrow. And big of sex bot. But I know there's gonna be other things. Almost made me horny, dude. Try harder next time. I'm gonna pull out my dick live. So basically, the game is slowly opening up the more I play it. So the combat feels kind of like the first game right now. I'm not gonna be me, you know, sugarcoating it here. It does feel very similar to the first game. I don't. Yeah. Think Refinement and changes as I move forward, but right nice. now, nice, probably the same thing. Is basically present. Um, <clears throat> although I am hoping that the game will open up and become better, uh, in time with more features and functions. Uh, I obviously I want new stuff. It's the same. Uh, big ups, okay, Doomer for his super chat. Put uh, on those gunner glasses. Tip skull is in effect, dude. That's just for the instant support, not the delayed support. Akakak scam. No, but Prio, though, we don't have any any tip skulls. And also, I'm not lying. I'm wearing 16 hats right now. We were having fun conversations and interactions on that late stream. I was exploring. We were in Yeah. Are you going to say, I don't know why it was slow? How the lighting, oh my God, the lighting in this game is so cool. You're riding a beast. You see headlights that actually looks like you're driving a car as you're running around. Okay. Um. And the fact that the open world is, it feels alive. There's, there's people out there. There's enemies out there. There's different optional areas you can go. I, I checked out a couple like optional caves, I, an underwater area I swam in. I grabbed a bunch of loot. Then there was another underwater I sw under underwater area I swam to. And as I was running out of air, it says, "Oh, you can't do this yet. You need to find a piece of equipment that lets you breathe longer underwater." I was like, "Oh shit!" And then I drowned. Really? You couldn't get. At the end of the game, because you only you... get one life, and Aloy was dead, so I had to start the whole game over. Oh, okay, that's a hilarious joke. How people would react? No. Obviously. Yeah, can you imagine this fantasy scenario that is bad? Can you imagine if the world ended right now? That would be terrible for the economy. 
Horizon Forbidden West feel a lot like Horizon Zero Dawn? Yes. The trolls would win, dude. Right now, it's very similar, okay? Yeah, um, it's a sequel. Some improvements. The graphics are way better. Okay, graphics are good. Thank you, Phil. I needed this to hear from you. And the entire wall will show you all the hand holds and you know when you climb that wall. Big ups Dominic for the mature adult membership, dude. Enjoy your chill. To climb it, and you can. Which is really cool. That is like, wow, this looks like you can't traverse it. Well, yes, you can. Okay. Um, and I like that about it. But yeah, the traversal is much better. To really make big judgments about the game yet, that once I get further in and I actually see how the plot unfolds and what new elements they'll add to the game. This is gonna help. Yeah, he talks. Uh, yeah, he right talks now, about the graphics for Super Blind Man to piss him off. Five hours. I saw. Man, this game is so beautiful. If you could see, you would love it. But unfortunately, you need accessibility settings, dude. It's a big flabby booty. What is booty? Tips. Basically, here's the deal. What do you not like about it? Okay. It's a slow. Yeah. What happened? Started off with hype. Everyone was all excited. Oh wow, Phil's playing Horizon Forbidden West. Immediately when I booted up the game and I finished the pre-stream and I said, I'm starting, okay? I picked up my controller and a good chunk of people basically said, hey, guess what? We don't want to stick around, okay? Because <laughs> a big chunk of people said this. He said a couple of people said it in the video I watched earlier. So we're not going to stick around for your stream. What a fucking you know what? guy. Honesty, and I appreciate that the people still came out and kind of chilled with me on the pre-stream. That was really nice of them. What a fucking asshole. One guy said it. One or two people said it. And then he was like, a bunch of people said it. And I, I knew that was going to happen. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. He managed to delude himself overnight. I was making insane amounts of money. Like, dirty, rotten. This is way too much fucking money for just playing video games. I'll go back to it tomorrow. Big ups, Mr. Dr. Inspector Larry for the $5. We'll actually play it. Uh, Big Up's gonna watch the VOD later. A lot of you will like Please feel bad for Piggy for the bad premiere of Horizon. And feel bad for Winx. DSP should ban brain hemorrhage if his trolls were as bad as, as Winx trolls. Well, from what I've heard, Winx trolls want to come over to DSP after they're done with Winx. I don't know what done with Winx would mean. I guess when he dies? Uh, but yeah. Can't be here for the, the first day, but then they come back. Now, but big ups, um, man, and I already talked about how bad I feel for Piggy. I covered the fan. He wants to be here, but you want to the slow stream. Totally understand. Why do you want to watch someone play a game? You're about to play yourself. That's stupid, right? I'm with you on that. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, that being said, that I understand. Okay, but well, here's what happened yesterday. Yeah, hey, we got bust me to play. That's a that's a fun fucking song. Okay, and. Basically, when we started, it was like over 400 viewers, good attendance. People seemed to be engaged. We got to the intro segment of the game, which took us about two hours to get through the intro. Some people thought the game looked gorgeous. Others were just basically criticizing it, saying, wow, it looks just like the first game. Okay. After we got through the intro segment and we got to the desert, and now you're exploring the area from the end of the first game, I thought it was neat. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You're getting to see all the characters from the first game. It's kind of like an epilogue to that one. You say goodbye to them as you move on to the Forbidden West, which obviously is going to be whole new cast of characters and all that going on the forbidden vest how they tied it in it was yesterday not yesterday the the day he played it i guess yesterday so then the first stream ended a bunch of people it, it almost sounds like the people that are there to enjoy him playing games are massive fucking whiners and that's all they do all they do is complain about shit and he can't please them almost actually was less than 300 by the end of the stream he tries so hard but he can't a lot of the people on the stream had basically been yeah who, who fucking watches you, DSP? Some whiners. And Thought they were there to enjoy. Or very interesting, this game. Now, here's the thing. In the intro segment, there's not a lot of opportunity for engagement, right? I have to pay attention to the plot. I have to learn the game mechanics. It wasn't until the late stream that the game opened up, and that became a lot more of an interactive, fun stream with the viewers. Like, I had fun having conversation. We were talking about the game, but other topics as well. Really, were you? Were you having fun begging for, like, 10 minutes straight? So fun. I don't know why, man. It's very slow today. Way more than the first stream. Of course, being a night stream, attendance was lower, but it was still solid for a night stream. Attendance. I fucking hate this, man. Who do you think you are? You having a lecture? More than the Do I pay you to attend? Again, here's the big butt that I wanted to talk about. The big butt. He's gonna what talk about cat. Pattern here 
it's very similar to what happened with the original Horizon game, okay? Um, for some odd reason, and I don't know what it could be. I don't know. You're boring. It doesn't seem to be clicking. You're oh. boring. And there were people that are much better than you like, wow, this is playing so this game. Interesting. We can interact or whatever. And others are just like, wow, this game is boring. Okay? The, this happened yeah, well, they can fuck Horizon off. Zero Dawn. I remember originally when I Streams are for fun. If you're not having fun, you can go away. Up, Unless you're a detractor, then you're just hate watch. I really liked the game, and I was telling you guys. Shout out all trolls. But I remember five years ago, that was the first year that I'd become a full time streamer. And this is glitched. Awesome. As I played the game, people complained, oh, this game is boring and repetitive, and it's not original, and it's not fun. Maybe it's fun to play, but it's not fun to watch. That really gets me when people say that. Because I can understand. Yeah, because that means you're terrible. That means you're a oh, shitty entertainer. If people tell you this is not fun to watch, then you're shit. And you shouldn't get offended, you should get better. Is what you should get. Enjoy a stream for the overall presentation, not just the game being presented. Even if you don't like the particular game... You should get better, Phil. If you approach it with an open mind. But that's the thing, you have to approach it with an open mind. Maybe you hate, absolutely hate, a game with open world exploration resource gap then they can fuck off in that structure Maybe why do they have to be watching the stream every day why don't you have some conversation why don't you talk to the streamer have fun you know what i mean why don't you talk to the chat you could do that and i do that all the time like last night that's exactly what i did on the late stream oh I yeah not every week. <laughs> he's literally blaming you for not having fun on his stream it's your fucking fault while i was doing that open world content. your fucking fault and you should talk in chat more if you're getting bored you fucking asshole um, <clears throat> I can't believe this guy is real sometimes. For people that, like, He's like, very awesome. unbelievable. Which it seems like some people are doing. It's kind of silly. Um, oh, the game's more fun to play and watch. Well, then why don't we, instead of focusing solely on the game, have we. interaction and have a good time. With <laughs> it's your job. You have to initiate that. Talk about something, but you have nothing to talk about. It's you're empty. Oh, you are empty. Behind those eyes is nothing. It's the void. That seems to be the mentality of some people, right? Some people. I don't understand that. Like, it's almost like they just want to shit, sit there and have fun. Games, and not right? be responsible for, for some dipshit's fucking business. I actually come to a stream for a game like Horizon just to complain it's boring. You know? But then you complain nobody's talking in chat when they don't show up, when they're being bored. You're a massive hypocrite, DSP, and there's no winning with you. There is no winning. A game that took 15 fucking hours. To get to the good part. And at least I can now say, hey, I got to the good part. I understand. You're watching the good part on your screen, by the way, right now. This is the good part. I've ever seen. You see? I'm not going to just write off a game. He's cucking I'm some zombies. Segment. I mean, I think it was actually Dark Maggot said it best last night. He's like, what is it with people and their short attention spans these days? Oh, yeah. People's short attention spans. No From this story, same fucking no story, asshole no story, no asking you to watch a two-hour podcast that half of it is a recap of what he ate or what he played. Dead, 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 dead. Fucking thanks. I don't know what, I'm supposed to do. what am I doing? Ah, oh, I fell into an abyss. I'm dead. Right? All right. Fucking sounds good, man. For development and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, it's very weird to me that people have this mentality. Wow. I started watching Short attention span. The dudes that he expect to watch six hours of his content a day. Hold out a day. And start giving me a blowjob. So because I didn't get a blowjob from the game within the first three hours. What? Boring and it sucked. Yeah, you never got a blowjob. Nobody about? would put that in, in their mouth. It's called narrative. It's called development. Right, have you ever watched a movie or a But you complain about it. You, you complain. You have to wait a few, a little while. Then maybe the game... <laughs> Then maybe yeah. the game can get you excited. But you have to get to that point. You understand? <laughs> this guy is fucking sad. People just want to jump Sadness right personified. Like, come on. Relax. All right? How can it never be his fault? It's his viewers' right. slow That's attention really span. That's very sad. That he expects right. them to watch a fucking two-hour podcast every day. Have they have a small attention span. But I think you're trying to understand. What to a pathetic that. sack of shit. Just, they want immediate, ultimate, high-level graphics. Yeah, people want that, not Phil. Not Phil. builds to something good and then... Short-term Phil. That's, that's his new name. Game, right? It's everything short-term with him. You're supposed to get instant gratification the moment you start playing it, okay? At the same time, a game that takes 15 hours to give you any gratification is the other problem. 
okay? That's the other problem. He's implying that literally nothing happens for 15 hours while the game is just building up. You can still play the game, do whatever you want. Yeah, we got the, the sex bot yes, come back. Welcome, sex yes, bot. Get the lean. At the end of last night's stream, I really enjoyed Horizon Forbidden West. I think it's going to get better the more we play it, all right? But I had a feeling... Yeah, Derek sent that bot. Feeling what's going to end up happening is it's going to be exactly the same as when I played Horizon Zero Dawn. Like what? Here's what happened. Oh, yeah, okay. I stuck with it. I played... Because you're playing it the same way, and you're just as boring, if not worse. Okay. But attendance was low, support was low, and every time I played it, you had a group of people coming and complaining that they wished that I would do anything else. Why won't you play another game? And in this, in this case, I'm not even kidding. Yesterday when I was playing the game, why, why don't you just play Skyrim again? Why don't you bring Skyrim back to the daytime streams and make this a late night chill stream? Because this game's boring. And I'm like, oh, we just started. We literally just fucking started. Yeah, you shouldn't listen to singular people in your chat, dummy. To fucking somebody that shows up and says it's boring. Really, I don't get it. Um, I don't fucking get it. Now he's giving you a five-minute segment on your low attention span. I'll be very transparent. I'm about to complain. First of all, on the first stream, I received a tip from Rob on Wheels because he wanted me to name a Pokemon. Oh, he wanted... Didn't you ask him to do that? He wanted me to do that. What a sack of shit. Like, I can't look this up. If you factor that out, basically, like, I made... Like, Basically, not even the tier one tip skull on the premiere stream. And then last night, it was kind of the same deal. By the end of the stream... Yeah, you didn't do anything interesting compared to everybody that was streaming it. That were actually fun. Giant release. The support was kind of slow. Now, I am very grateful someone did a whopping 100 euro super chat on the late stream. And that was great. Hey, nice. It's euros. That means it's more valuable, dude. That's more in, in dollars. It's even more than 100. Wow. They were really having fun. Was like incredibly hey, what's up with the fucking sex bot, dude? For other games. What I Gets heard. leaned all the time and it keeps coming back. Was getting more support than Horizon did. Okay. Now again, it could be a symptom of the fact that some of the regulars who come here and support my streams weren't here yesterday because they were playing the game themselves. So I'm not giving up. This is not. Oh my God! This is the end of the world. This is me just kind of making factual observations. Factual okay. observations. You are boring. That's a factual observation. Matter of fact, Will it pick if up? everybody's telling you you're boring to the extent where they don't even give you money anymore, then you are actually boring for real. Pattern of for some reason people want to crap on the game. For some reason, because you are boring. Okay. That is the reason. I guess we're gonna find out tomorrow. Okay. Is it ultimately hugely concerning? No, I'm playing a ton of games. I'm playing King of Fighters. I'm well, it should be concerning because this is your livelihood, DSP. It should be actually pretty concerning that one of the two games that were supposed to save your business did nothing on, on the first day. It is concerning. There's a hot new release. Everyone's excited for it. And I got people crapping on it and saying it's bad. And then I noticed that it's actually the slowest stream I've had all week. Like, wow, that's really weird to me. Okay. So what I say is, let's play it by ear. Let's see what happens. Okay. And let's go from there. Now, you may say, well, wait a minute. If this is the case with Horizon, won't the same thing happen with Elden Ring? No. <laughs> oh, no? Why not? Be honest with me, Phil. Give me some delusion. Reassure yourself. He's not saying this for, for the fans, by the way. He's saying this to him to himself. Yeah, they're going to go watch Fraga or, or DDM. I'm going to watch somebody else, not you. The people that want you to fail, they're not going to watch you. You're squirting my brains out of my ear holes. My guy getting because they're gonna watch you fail in some channel where they can actually say and chat how stupid you are and how how bad you are at the game. Personally, I like it too. Not on your fucking channel. The channel is ass. Actually, taking on the awesome challenges that From Software designs for these games, and uh, and and overcoming them. I don't like the failing. I like the overcoming them. Okay, overcoming that failure, overcoming the challenge that they lay out for me. She likes coming over. I do too. You know, you know what I mean? The FromSoft games have been some of my favorite of all time, honestly, to stream for you guys. And I know that people will be there for those streams. Seriously. It's going to it's gonna have good support, good amount of viewers, everything. I know every time I stream Elden Ring, there's going to be demand for it and people are going to want to see it. I'm really not concerned. I, the FromSoft games are like an exception to any rule. Seriously. I don't think anyone's ever going to say, wow, that FromSoft game is boring to watch Phil play. Oopsie. That's a good thing. That means consistency. It's almost like a guy who built his career based on failure attracts people when there is a higher chance of him failing. Wow. 
The streams are entertaining. Wow, surprise, surprise. And yeah, he, he is coping like shit. Okay. Yeah, big ups, uh, Rokas Amsterdam for enjoying this. Big ups. No, he's gonna look at chat. He's gonna look at chat. Absolutely not. The only thing I'm gonna look up, I need to know. He's gonna look at chat. Elden Ring, because I have the choice. Do I want to play it on PS5 or do I want to play on Xbox? The best version. There should this should be equivalent. If I play it on PS5, I'll have haptic feedback, I'll have adaptive triggers. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's about it. If I play it on the Xbox Series X, I do actually like the feel of the Xbox Series X controller better, but my right trigger is actually sticking on this controller, and I wonder if that would affect my gameplay at all, okay? In addition... Fantastic. I, I fucking died. Sound. If I play it on the Xbox Series X, I will not get surrounded... Oh, rip. Play it on the PS5, I'll be Bro, what is this fucking discussion? Why are we even having this discussion to begin with? Right which which version is the best? It, it's not going to change your experience at all. So basically or your gameplay. On each console, right? At least if I play on the PS5, I know the controller is going to work fully, and I'll get haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Haptic feedback. Uh, as if, as if he, he gives a fuck or really appreciates or anything. Which console will actually run better? That's what I need to know. I am not. I absolutely. They should both run the same. Refuse to play the inferior version of Elden Ring. What is the I inferior version? With fucking Dark Souls Three to play. Bruh, for real. This is nobody fucking ask. I can almost guarantee you statistically. Dialogue fucking English. who asked phil are you gonna play this version of of this game or the other version of this game phil i'm i'm very interested in knowing it makes a very big difference to me unlike today because somehow it does just trust me man i'm a i'm a big fan that was the majority of my income was man i need to make views on youtube and get ad revenue so if everyone else was putting out their playthrough first i had to be there with them i had to get the japanese version early today i don't have to do that anymore today Today, you just have to ask for money. That's all you have to do. All I have to do today is just ask for money. And I can buy any version of any game on any platform. And if I don't have the platform, somebody's going to buy it to me. Fantastic. This is the business model everybody should as aspire to. version will be the best? Will there be more input delay on one version than the other? Will there be better graphics? What version of DSP is the best? I would say... I need to 2012. Know. I don't have that information yet because the review embargo has not lifted yet. I think it lifts. Doesn't it lift on Monday? I could be wrong there, but I think the review embargo lifts on Monday. In which case, we'll get all that data and I'll be able to make my my choice. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to see. Uh, we go from there. Cause my God, the Xbox One version is terrible. Of oh, what? Oh, of, of Dark Souls. Okay. Input delay. This is uh cringe convo. Cringe convo. Oh my god. Nobody asked. Completely irrelevant. But he wants to talk about this shit because he has a podcast. So it's a checklist thing. I need to talk about nonsense that is easy to talk about because I'm lazy. Welcome to fucking DSP's life. Seriously. I need to talk about something, man. I just need to ramble. It was so fucking delayed and slow down in the frame drops. It was like impossible to beat the fucker. And then I played it a couple years later on PS4. Zero issues to steamroll through them. Because there was no issues at all with the game. I was like, fucking shit. Anyway. So, I can't wait to see what version's better. I can't wait to play that with you guys on Friday. And no, I don't have any inklings that playing that will have the same issues as like Horizon. That's going to be fucking crazy balls to the wall action. People are going to be here for the streams. I know. I know for a fact. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, I can't. I can't dispute that. It's it's a fucking DSP playing a FromSoft game. Of course, it's common sense. It's like fucking uh, peanut butter jelly. It's just some things that make sense. So, we start off today with Dusk Fang. Okay. Now we're to the super chat segment, which is fantastically fun and entertaining. By moderator anyway. So, oh well. Uh, guitar player 1939 re upped his membership for nine oh, what months. What the fuck? Guitar player, thank you for the ongoing support, as always, and thank you for nine months as a member. I really appreciate that. Actually, if I'm, if you do the math, we're not supposed to do the math. 
first members here. It's not allowed to do the math. Remember? May. Around mid-May. Last year when I started doing full-time streaming here. Full-time streaming. Another another prestigious fucking phrase. Full-time streaming. Wow. You're so special, Philly boy. Crown. Got velvet coming out of it. Wow, phenomenal. Makes me want to no become problem. a member so I can Apologize. use all the zero perks and pay an overpriced fee. Okay. Um, to be a member of some dipshits YouTube so channel. Who doesn't even give a fuck enough yeah. about his viewers to not burp all the time. No. I don't regret moving uh, Skyrim to night streams at all. Uh, I don't know why you think I would. Um, you know, um, I'm enjoying the game even as a night stream. Admittedly, the one thing that's changed, viewership's less and support is less. But I think that comes... Yeah, here. all these games were gonna save his streams. It was Dying Light, it was Sifu, it was... Man, this was one of the hypest months in gaming history, according to him. In gaming history! And f for the uh, fucking Forbidden West already failing. Already. It's funny, because I think right now the Skyrim playthrough... Yeah, and GTA also was supposed to be massively influential. I mean, he's not homeless, so I guess I'm not wrong, but... And Come I on. Say I'm close to halfway through the game. 14 years for these expectations? Any of the DLCs, I'm just starting my first guild, for God's sakes. Right? So I get the feeling there's going to end up being so much gameplay in that game that has to be played long term. Now, I'm not going to do that as a major stream every day. That's got to have some nice streams for that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it is what it is. It will eventually come back as a daytime stream. I promise you, it will. You don't have to freak out about that. It will. I am freaking out, Phil. Okay. All right. Good thing you promised me something. Now I trust you a lot. Because DSP has never went back on a promise. Never. Oh, you used to be cocky. He's blaming it on Street Fighter. Being a fucking asshole is blamed on Street Fighter. Dumbass motherfucker. I knew people in the competitive community. That whenever they stepped up to play the biggest players, like Justin Wong, right? Or uh, Alex Valle, you know, I'm talking like the big wigs back in the day. They would go to play them and immediately, be, oh man, I got to play Justin next round. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of my tournament run. And he turned to them like, what are you talking about? You get out there, you kick his fucking ass. But dude, it's Justin Wong. Like you so did? Fucking what? I don't care if it's Jesus. This guy, Christ by the way, playing. this guy's claim to fame is, is winning at a, a broken port of a game that nobody reputable wanted to play. Before they ever start. Yeah, that's by the way, that would guy. Feel like, oh, I can't win, and they would just lose. Okay, <clears throat> so for me, I always had that mindset. I brought that mindset <clears throat> into content creation. Yeah, but you're failing. A you're player. a you're a bad I'm example. Like, you're failing. My content is good. People like it, and therefore, that's why I'm popular. Oh, so literally, just be be delusional. All right. It's the same mentality right now, by the way. I should change the way I, I upload videos. I the link should be different. I should I should put thumbnails on my videos. I should title my videos. Yeah, you still don't do I thumbnails that are meaningful, by the way. You have generic shit. Disgusting and YouTube knows it. Racial jokes every video. Damn, he, he framed himself like he's an actual like a clan member or something. I'm an idiot. Because yeah, I should have changed. Oh, and we get a nice uh, sweet clown mode. It, did. it took a lot of humble pie. Me taking a look at how things went. Humble. And a lot of people basically crapping all over me. And it took a lot of that for me to realize that, yeah, maybe I <laughs> uh, Big Ups Black made for Super Chat. Can you play the money montage over this? It's it's a great fucking montage. I love this. Um, not to say that I... Masterful montage. He lost so much money. Here. Acting like he his shit doesn't stink. My way every day. Oh, what a fucking loser. Insane amount of defamation about me on the internet. Oh, defamation. We're doing this right now, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Level of maybe assholedness that I projected onto you. Assholedness. Hopefully, I, I would hope that people feel that I have changed for the better uh, over the years and that I am a better person and a better content creator in 2022 than I was way back in 2008 when I started making videos. Okay. And that's all I can say. People tell me so much. The say, defamation yeah, stream. You're a better person. You're not a complete asshole. You're not doing disgusting. I agree with you. Moment, except for the blowjob. Yeah, you're not. Who fucking? Who says this, man? You know, hey, Phil, you're a really nice person nowadays. Nicer. Your you're shit nice. literally got worse. 
right? You are worse at what you do than 10 years ago. Nice. It's a nice atmosphere. No. You never say that. Now you yeah, you never you say that. You have a good time, a nice time. And his head will increasingly become more and more pink as he streams his pre-stream. What? His fucking camera's white balance is... Pink? Pink. No, you still look gray. Dude, it won't... Let's focus on him for a second. I'm super pink and it won't unpink me. Actually, I'm just going to stop playing games for now. And uh, we're going to go full-time DSP watchers. There he is. Your boy. Giant pink ball. Okay. Well, you are a pussy. Anyway, let's continue. Genesis Gaming. Genesis Gaming. Super supporter level. Thank you, Genesis Gaming. What is super supporter? That like 20 bucks? Okay. Stuart did a one... Power 20 cucks chat. thank you to Stuart. i really appreciate it okay i i forgot he's still giving shout outs oh fucking lame ass you know i'll be honest again the first three hours be honest yes, come on they had to basically get into the meat of the game but once it did i wasn't yawning last night's stream i had a great time and i'm hoping that that will continue as i continue to play it and i hope that people will give it a chance so Thank you for the ongoing support there, Six. They will give it a chance. Today, there's going to be fucking... Oh, no. Today, he's not even playing it. Next time, he's going to make 100, and he's going to think everything is great. Because that's how he does. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, shout out to all the sock accounts. How we get a new record? No. Or, sadly, did we have a few expired memberships, and therefore, we did not increase... Oh, yeah. Let's find out. Why have it automatic when you can literally just fuck around and waste time? This is a podcast, by the way. You're supposed to listen to this while you're driving to work or doing something else. And he dropped because he's giving you a stink face. We're he's giving you an actual swine face. Lose a few members this morning, and these new ones kind of made up for it, but we did not hit. He's constantly record. making up. He's been making up for shit in the last like ten years. The new record the past couple of days, we don't. All right. It's a great song about lean. Okay. Makes me want to sip some. Elski has been a member for 10 months. Some of that purple Thank chill. So Elski, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank Big you. ups to that guy who's never been seen in his chat, apparently. Okay. Now we get to the YouTube side of things. Excuse me. I'm stupid. We get to the tip side of things. Oh, now we fucking tips. All right. Congratulations. So. All right. Why are we getting? He says, "All right, DSP. Assuming that I counted correctly, here's your in-laws record." Bro, this guy sucks ass. Why am I whispering? Why? Cause you you want to do some gimmicks and try and be funny, but you're not funny. He says, "All right, DSP. Assuming I counted." You try it, but you fail. For what was your first day of King of Fighters 15 gameplay? Game wins 26, so overall 26 wins. Now, when you say game, you mean individual rounds. All right, vibe check. Game losses eight. Okay, this should be okay. One more than I lost. I think the side chaining is better now. I lost a bunch. Um, set wins twelve, so I won twelve entire matches. Okay, set losses six. Oh, so I actually won twice as many. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I can do the oh, fucking crunching myself. Five. If you guys don't know what an OC Holy is, fuck. A character victory, and in team-based fighting games, what that means is basically whatever character you started with, you beat their entire team with the first character and never got defeated, so you just steamrolled right. <laughs> Big ups, uh, Klaus Mystery for a super chat. Trolls always win. We're even winning right now, and there's not even any combat happening. We just win passively. All we have to do is just not do anything. And he's gonna fuck himself over because he's a dumbass. Okay. So that's kind of cool. All I gotta do is chill, man. And all he wants to do is chill, which is super ironic. Looking forward to more today. Sounds good. That's actually some pretty good start. Sounds fucking good. DSP are so good day one. A former pro fighting game player is good at a game that literally came out that day. Color me surprised. That was literally yeah. Right. Don't Give him a week so people can get used to the game, and it's gonna be crying, rivers of tears. Rivers will be swimming. It's gonna be. It's terrible for the economy. It's gonna ruin everything. Next tipper is guitar player 1939. Yeah, shout out. Four twenty. Honestly, I'm having more fun replaying Fallout 4 
than I even am playing Dying Light 2. Wow. Nobody fucking asked you, guitar player. You're a fucking idiot. You're literally a DSP really pay pig. And you know what? Why would I ask you anything? I'm, I was having more, way more fun alternating Dying Light 2 and Skyrim. There were some days when I played Dying Light 2 on the first stream. Yeah, bro, you don't play games for enjoyment. You play games to get through them and, and hope for tips. You don't play games to have fun. That's why I don't trust a single one of his gaming opinions. Because every opinion is related directly to the tips goal. Now I turned pale. My, I have a magic finger. Always been pale. I point to yeah, you have a garbage camera. It literally fucks up everything. Okay. I turned it's a disaster, DSP. I have the power to control color. That's my Something action. severely wrong with yeah. you, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's, that's interesting. Let's continue. Is it interesting, though? The anonymous tipper says the following. Or is just rambling. Phil, you complain. And you moan. About dying light twos immediately getting mocked out. immediately now you're judging viewers for doing the very same thing yes yes congratulations why did you tip him to tell him this you know you're gonna get mocked you fucking idiot of course people will crap about it you deserve to get mocked that's what you get for being a shit bro literally or gizmos or toys Look at how the fucking misshaped his head is. What's it? And all kinds Borderline of human. You sound like the Grinch in your tip. You seriously do. <laughs> oh, you sound like the Grinch. What? Like, what is going on? Why do you sound like that? Why do you sound like anyway, a fucking well, retard, DSP? I, 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 you have nothing to say about this. Is, oh, I kind of understand. Okay, but I mocked you. I mocked you for giving me money. Okay. And, and calling me out for being a hypocrite. Yes, it had about a two and a half... You sack of shit, DSP. And I criticized it heavily for that, okay? Why didn't I do the same for Horizon? Well, here's the Do thing. pay pigs deserve Horizon sympathy? No. Horizons They're fucking idiots. You should know at this point. Intro. After fucking Horizon. 10 years of DSP, you should know who you're giving money to. A guy that respects no one, appreciates no one, and expects the world from you while delivering nothing. This is who you're giving money to. Two and a half hour. It gives you kind of a primer of what to expect for the rest of the game, okay? Then, it immediately throws you into connections with the first game, so if you were a fan of the first game, you understand where the plot went, okay? Dying Light 2... If you're a fan of the first... Uh, what? Game you're going to do. You're Why? Climbing, you're climbing a fucking cliff, you're running on, on fucking trees and shit. That literally did not happen. Mansion, then you end up ba barely getting to the city, you're in the sewer. What? Okay. What? Doing a little bit of basic. Contact. What is he talking about? <clears throat> By the time you're trees. Trying, the introduction of Dying what? Light two, you literally haven't played the game yet. You just you haven't played the game yet. To get to the introduction premise of the game, but the parkour you haven't really done yet. The combat you haven't really done yet. Bro, this guy's retarded. You know what's coming, and then this guy is the severely game, retarded. Also. Aren't He's misrepresenting the entire game just to prove his shitty fucking point. That's what's hard. The game is as it's going to be for what a fucking loser. Now I can use the hang if there was somebody on this podcast to call him out, he would fucking ruin DSP. Traversal things in the city like zip lines and bounce paths and things. Now the game is what it's going to be for the rest of the game. It took 15 fucking hours to get there. No, it takes less than 10 hours to get there. If you actually try. Play the game for what it's going to be. Now, yes, you're going to have improvements and things over the course of the game. I even said that. I said, right now it seems very basic and similar to the original game. Maybe it'll open up. But the point I make... This guy is literally insane. Fucking hours. This is, is not reality because I just played this game. If you didn't and I've played it way more than he has. And I know way more than, than him about it. And he's completely fucking wrong. And now when you got to that first... No, game, it's not. Now you get missions and things to upgrade, to take on the hordes, to do better combat. No. Do interesting no. Plot. No. They didn't learn from no. them. I don't no. know what other example you no. need. They, they, that's literally what the game is. You can stay in the main city, in, in uh, Old Villador, or you can go to the city. This is around 10 hours, even less, if you try. That level 5, level, th level 2 enemy, 15 hours in. What the fuck were they thinking? Level, there's like, what, 10 levels in total? You don't have 50 levels. This guy fucking sucks, man, because he takes shit like this. That I literally know about because I played it. And he misrepresents it and twists it in such a way that is blatantly wrong. Blatantly wrong. Fucking 
insane just to prove a point that nobody cares about and matters doesn't matter at all because the people that bought dying light are probably gonna enjoy it and if you didn't then uh, i don't know why why did you buy a game that you know you're not gonna enjoy and somebody's fucking hyped awesome and right now for the coming week it will be king of fighters alternating on the main streams um Oh, Jack's Raxer. How much did he drop? 25? 35. Very nice. Because uh, there was a major bag alert yesterday, and that's why. It's like a bat symbol for wheelchairs. And now this stream is already amazing. Because he made, what, like 60 bucks? Oh, 35. 35 in total? That's weak as fuck. All right. And then the Grinch just sent me $2 and said... Sorry about my cousin. His heart is still 10 sizes too small. Uh, nobody asked. Uh, big ups Black Mage for the super chat. I spent 10 hours doing side quests and stuff in Old Villador, doing tons of parkour and taking territory. All the glider does is enhance the travel. Dude, I did the same thing. I played at least 10 hours just uh, doing side stuff and enjoying my time and having fun. And then when, when the point came when I could go to the city, I was on, on the level that was expected, so I did well. And it's like, that's how the game is supposed to be made, man. It's not, you can't just, just walk through it. He could have. He could have put it on easy and just went and farmed up a bunch of zombies and, and just passed the, the fucking game. But he doesn't want to. He wants it to both be challenging enough and to be really fast so he can get it over with. The way I see it is thus. What do you see I like thus, asshole? My setup is very consistent. It works. Like, what? Okay, I'm here. Right? It's garbage. Not, oh, guys, sorry. Technical difficulties. Can't be here today. Or, you know, garbage. Tackling my PC, which is giving me issues today. Never happens. I, at the most, we'll get, oh, the mic died and I have to restart. Or, oh, OBS error. Just click, you know, record again and it works. It's a very consistent and solid setup. All it's right? not solid at all. I told you guys what. It's not solid. Your shit is pixelated, Phil. What I wanted to do. Your job is to broadcast gameplay. And it fucking sucks. And then I was going to consider doing the upgrades. In fact, I already have a couple people behind the scenes who said they're... Oh, wow. Secret pay pigs. Somehow. I don't know how they would... Somehow. Access to the parts. You sleazy son of a bitch. Right? They're like impossible to buy one-on-one. -on -one. And build your own. You, you sleazy sack of shit. I have people lined behind the scenes. And basically pay for it. So that way it's... A, it's a to pay for a PC. Amount of money and now I'm, I'm hurting because of Pathetic. It. Pathetic. I'm happy, ladies and gentlemen. Pathetic. For the fact that people are so supportive of me and the content that I put out that they would do that. This really. sack of shit is going to get a, a free PC just to not utilize it at all. He's going to utilize it to 10% of what that shit can do. Already, you know, talk to me behind the scenes about it. Okay. Now. I, I sure hope it's bait. I hope I it's bait. Because. But it's, it's not. Stories, Since he's being open now, about it, it's not bait. It's the biggest gaming month in like history. Right? Look oh, yeah? Why are you begging? Why did Horizon fail? Dying Light 2. Now, King of Fighters and Horizon. Later this week, Elden Ring. And then, by the way, if you didn't know, March is more of the fucking same. I know that sounds crazy, but... Really? This. What about March? We've got Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, he's gonna hate it. He's gonna hate it. Origin, Nobody cares. And Ghostwire Tokyo. And that's only the five that I have on my list, because there's more than that that I didn't put down yet. Holy shit. And you might say, well, what does this have to do with changing your setup? Well, you have to understand something. You, your streams looks like ass. Looks like booty. Hardware. But I'd have to actually reset up everything from the ground up. That means downloading and installing a new version of OBS. Setting it up to yeah, you can't... on the new PC. Which really? Work. Okay. Really? Um, you sack of shit. In addition to that. You right? sack of shit. Figuring out how They're going to buy him a free fucking gaming PC. And it takes too much work to set up OBS. And to export his fucking layouts and import them in OBS. This professional fucking guy. Quality. May I may or Holy not fuck. Capable of streaming at a higher quality. There's a lot of work that's going to go into it. You deserve nothing. You, you deserve work. nothing. You're going to stay on now my beer line until you die. so many crazy releases that if I take a single day off, it puts me behind on everything monstrously. And that's just the situation that I'm in right now. And probably wow. for a while. In addition, Fuck. this is me being honest with all of you. Okay? Yeah, please be <laughs> honest. How you can't do I'm anything. Done, I work on my taxes. I haven't done it yet. Tax begging. Tax alert. Tax, tax alert. And... 
basically, I know I'm going to have to, this year, do a lot of work on the taxes to get all the information and everything together. A lot of fucked up stuff. I'm going to timestamp this. It's going to make it a lot harder to get my financial information together. <laughs> Okay, so coming up, holy fuck! To, I know, likely, I'm gonna have to take time away from streaming. There may be some days when I tell you guys, guys, I can only stream once today. I have to spend. I gotta do taxes. I gotta write off literally every single one of my expenses as a business expense. I can't stream tonight, you guys. That's happening, and then working on it. Every so single then, dollar I spend is for the business. Somehow. Streaming in March just to work on other stuff that's necessary to do. The tax oh my god, this guy is just sad. By then, um, holy so fuck, there's no time right now. Even if, <laughs> even if someone just sent me a new PC and capture system right now, oh my I'm god, for it. real, it would, sit down it, would and... it would spend multiple thousands of dollars to send him a PC that he can't even hook up right now because it he can't, he's too busy. They can't install OBS, you know, maybe early spring, right. Early spring, After, you know, but YouTube should do everything now. They should implement every change now. But this sack of shit that does nothing in his life, nothing, can't even unbox a fucking PC and install OBS for his business, for his number one income source that it depends on him whether or not he is homeless. He can't fucking do it. I get a whole new setup and then every day it's crashing. Every day. Oh man, Phil's playing. Why would you think this? Today, guys, everything's kaput. What a fucking for, retard. For hours on end, so I get God, it. this is insane. Insane. You want that when there's not a big deal. And now he's framing it as if if he rushes it, it's gonna crash every day. Around with that, see. <clears throat> as you can see by by him, pigs can use OBS, so it's made for actual fucking idiots. Color says, do you feel Gorilla Games has struck gold with the Horizon franchise? Yes. Gorilla Games. Yes, shout out to Dutch people. Which was a Sony exclusive first person shooter. So it sold, but it literally only sold because it was Sony exclusive. You compared Killzone with other franchises. Wow, I actually can't believe this PC shit. I legit cannot. Groundbreaking. And it's wild. When they actually tried to expand and extrapolate upon the universe and make something different with Shadowfall, it Shadow fell right on its own fucking face. That game was terrible. Yeah, you Shadow fell into obscurity. Killzone and did something different. This is definitely the way. I do hope they make other games too, but my God, when the games are looking this gorgeous, please just keep making this franchise as well. Um, an anonymous dollar fifty tipper says I missed the night stream of Horizon, but I watched it on demand. I saw a ton of bugs and bad climbing mechanics. There were some bugs. Yeah, nobody fucking cares. I still cannot believe that this guy not only has people lining up behind the scenes to to send him a gaming PC, but he's saying that he has so much taxes to do. Even if you send him a gaming PC with everything installed because he's an actual retard, he can't even unbox it. He can't even hook it up because of how busy he is. The fucking air standing on nothing. And now he's complaining about glitches. As he admits, he cannot do anything in his life. Can't do anything. Not let alone assemble this PC. Even if it's assembled, he's not even going to put the effort to set it up, to try it out. Xbox games at and it's a fair point. wow Xbox had a good slew of games last year and, and for some reason they're, they're, they're the people that deserve that he that, that believe that he deserves the money that they give him that he deserves it take this Phil I'm you made me happy today Phil what kind of people are these where do they come from holy fuck Black Mage, uh, big ups okay. for the super chat, Black Mage triple six. I'm so livid at this lazy garbage. Okay. Oh my god. I, I, I he's unbelievable, man. And now we're gonna do a vibe check for the members again. Let's see if they gone up, gone up by a thousand. Is it a record number again? You lazy sack of shit. Only thing he he's willing to look up is the amount of tips. That's what. That's the only thing he wants to put in some fucking effort. Yeah, I need a heart rate monitor to the layout. I'm actually not not like mad or anything. Like actually mad. Will you lost members again? Up by one. Wow. Fantastic. We went up by It's uh the thing is just fucking irritates me shit like this, man. Fucking irritates me. That that deserves a huzzah. Very nice. Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. I'm about to start with King of Fighters. We gotta figure out who I'm gonna pick. Oh yeah, and the stream deck, that shit's not even working anymore. Oh, and we're we're doing a live uh, picking the character 
type stream. I thing. want to play today. What do you want to play? Saturday. All right, Boozer, say it already. A lot of A. So Win. fucking bad. Because he's like, uh, because when you look at chat while you're talking, you get confused. I'll tell you this from experience. And now he doesn't even know what to fucking do. This is supposed to be a podcast, by the way. A podcast where the guy constantly has like brain farts and completely forgot what it was fucking happening. That team, but all right, see you later. Yeah, see you later. Go fuck yourself. Top op smoke puffa says Angel Luona and Dino. Oh my god. And Derek is in chat. Can you check out the Derek team of Derek Athena, Athena, May, Maya, Yuri, and whatever? Izaki. Yeah, stop reading fucking Derek. You know he's a fucking idiot. Why are you reading his comments? You know he's disgusting and he's a massive fucking pervert. All right. Why do you want to associate yourself with him? All right. Do you want to know who I want to use? And you can revolt against me. And you can say absolutely not. You'll what? Yeah, okay. Who fucking cares, man? Just say it already. Massive stalling. The Ikari Warriors. You want to fuck is to this? That's what's hard. Because that actually. What was that? That I used ever in King of Fighters. In Bro, shut the fuck up. This is a grown ass fucking man. Grown ass man. And it's not even like this should be, I don't know, funny or something because his timing is so bad. I today. I'm going to get a screenshot of this because it doesn't matter at this point whether or not we're going to watch it live or anything. Pre stream is done. He's just having his stalling session because he doesn't like starting with uh with forty bucks with the tips. Ikari warriors. What a fucking dent! Like I I can't believe this guy's real. You want to know why I want to use the Ikari warriors? Because that act. Nobody cares. Okay. Okay. Still haven't started. Fucking idiot. You oh, ban this fucking idiot! What did he say? Message deleted. Never mind. Has high combo ability. But thanks for drawing okay. attention to it. But does this game have all the legacy characters? Not all of them, Eternal Napalm. A lot of them. They did bring back a lot of them, but not all of them. Like they're the classic Team Korea, Team China. A lot of the characters are missing. Team China. All they have only one voice line, and it just goes Chicky Chang Wang. By the way, the other day I was I was watching that uh, racism compilation, and whenever he says Chicky Chang Wang, it always comes out naturally. It's like a organic racism. It's so it comes from within the way he's racist. He would just see somebody that is Asian and he would just like the first thing that comes in his mind is is Chicky Chang Wang. Thank you for a great pre-stream, by the way. 82 likes. Whoa! Pre-stream. Let's get that up to a hundred. Let's, <laughs> Let's kick some ass. Look at the likes. Sound good? Thank you guys for Splash. the podcast. I hope you had a good one. You enjoyed it. Yeah. End the show. Let's get started. Let's get yeah, let's end the show. Let's go do something else. Let's go uh, watch some more hate live. That shit was fucking fire. Uh, you want me to blast this song? Let me turn it up because now we're not doing any anything anyways. Let me start from the beginning. It's like 50 seconds long. All right. This was the pre-stream podcast, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm lurking, I'm lurking, I'm lurking. That's just the detox. I'm lurking, I'm lurking. That's retarded. Dark side feel. Dark side film. Everyone hates me. 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 All right, we're back in the show. That was the transition into this segment called uh, "Cringing with the King," I guess. And uh, let's watch some more Kate live, and then I'm gonna be out of here, I guess. I don't know. For approving the risk and saying yes, I will write. Thanks everybody for still being here. Loan if it comes Attendance is great because I don't look at the numbers because there's no point in uh, worrying about people that are not here. So thanks everybody that's still chilling. If you made it past this pre-stream, you're officially a legend because nobody else could fucking make it through something terrible like this. What we learned 
um today was that dsp blames everything on games not performing well on, on his streams not performing well he blames everything but himself and uh he he's having people uh, hit him up behind the scenes to donate an actual pc that even if you donated to him the entire pc you you get it and you fucking send it to phil he's not even gonna unpack it because he has uh too many taxes to do that's the fucking guy all right now let's watch like five more minutes of this and then i'm gonna call it a day to it and within you know two three days i had my approval so what kind of a different freaking experience is it to go with a bank that all they do is mortgages and they understand about this stuff versus bank of america who does savings checking other small loans car loans re uh, retirement funds iras credit card so because they're so <laughs> oh uh just 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 quickly for people joining now uh first of all welcome um second of all this is what we're watching the hate live podcast episode five for some reason from 2014 when DSP is explaining how he wanted to move across the country and he was talking about banks and how they warned him that his business is not consistent enough to actually get the loan that he wants to get and they kind of told him don't do this because you're gonna get fucked and he did it and then it, he got fucked but he didn't know it so let's continue and, and see what he's gonna tell us or a jack of all trades but a master of none they know how to do uh this is of course the the chill part of this stream so you can request any song at any time with the uh, exclamation sr in chat and uh yeah that's uh that's it let's let's chill for a little bit more uh big ups to ludwig the legend himself in the flesh uh in the digital flesh for the super chat thanks for the filter big ups everyone and always remember there's no such thing as a successful beggar there is i would argue i would argue phil is successful because uh you know him for quality gameplay big ups uh for a super chat General ludwig stuff of anything but if you get any kind of a special situation like mine where i'm self-employed oh we can't handle that that's too much risk 20 percent down payment so fucking ludicrous right? big ups to my girlfriend for doing the plug walk you guys back. love the plug walk and she went instead of me so shout out to my girlfriend i want a, a hand a prayer hands chain in in chat it basically says all right you're good to go, you go she's laughing right now uh, i wish you could see you so you look for stuff within this range <laughs> All right, let's uh, go back to this. Now, it's not over. Even though this bank's better, it's still not over. For example, I I narrowed it down. I think it's about nine houses that we're going to be looking at. And nine, nine houses. houses. Most of nine houses. He wanted to go across the country, look at nine houses, which means he needs to have a dedicated trip, you know, finance and everything, across the country. Hey, uh, thank you guys for for all the the prayer hands. The soulmate really appreciates it. Of them are in the lower end price range of what we were approved for so we're probably going to be good but then all of a sudden i just i literally as i was about to start the podcast i shit you not got an email from the woman from the bank well phil just so you know uh, our calculations were based off of a place with very very low due so if you move into a condo where the condo association has has charges that are high this may be a recalculation of it and it may affect it and i emailed her back i said don't worry about it <laughs> I don't worry about it major bag alert don't worry about it i got it covered just put all the money in the bag give me this house i'll pay it later sound good <laughs> and then they bought in the mortgage business when they bought in houses, what i did is i figured out based off of the mortgage i figured out what the monthly payments would be i added in the taxes per month and i added in the the condo fees per month and I still <laughs> don't worry about it i got it an amount that i got this amount that i discussed with this woman previously <laughs> so it worked out it's looking like we're green you know green light green light and to he's go like steph curry and now the moment you've all been waiting for i know i've bored you with the tech the technical aspect but i hope that the technical you, aspect especially if you're young adults you're coming into that age where one day you know you're gonna be looking no for that's terrible advice that's terrible advice because it obviously fucked you up within three years it ruined you within three years do not follow this advice alert alert do not follow this advice because you know why you're still on mission one because this that gonna stay on mission one gave you a little bit of information on what you have to go through so you know what to have before you try to step up to the plate and do anything with this kind of stuff okay so this week we're going and 
basically, there's, I think there's nine houses we want to see. We don't know yet if we can see them all. I have to call the realtor tomorrow and have a conversation with her. She's only available this weekend. So she's only available on Saturday and Sunday for us to so do. So one, the one time event. So that's what we're going to try to figure out. But this now come to find out because we're only going to be looking at houses for two days. This means that we're going to have three whole days in the area, whether we, we drive around the areas where we're looking for houses or we actually go into the main city, which now I'm going to reveal, ladies and gentlemen, the first place we're looking. This may not be the what place is it? To move tell to. me, tell me. We're come on. Hunting right now. <laughs> the first place that we've decided to look. We're just hunting. We're lurking and stalking. When you least fucking expect it. Just outside of beautiful Seattle Bangladesh no I'm kidding uh he, he used to do these these jokes from yeah. even back in the Outside. day these terrible fucking jokes predictable jokes oh where are we gonna go where are we gonna go uh somewhere where it's not fucking nice of Seattle Washington that yeah right. so that's the Washington, not in Seattle outside of yeah it's not in seattle prices are a little lower things are a little calmer traffic <laughs> prices are a little lower dude you're living in a, in a gated community prices are a little lower better uh that's what we're looking at right now there's a, a few major reasons why i considered seattle he and moved into like a pay pig mansion and and he claims the prices are lower than what than a, a castle Washington State is one of my prime areas. Maybe a bunker? Number one. I don't know. Number one. Probably the Wi-Fi is not great in a bunker. Prices are, are much lower than they are here in Connecticut. Overall, if you look at prices in stores, price of gas, you know, general things. <laughs> the prices. Lower. Mr. Statues is talking about prices of anything. Much lower overall. So immediately I'll be saving money. Number two. There's no state income tax at all. None. Zero. So right there, the thousands of dollars that I'm paying to Connecticut and on a yearly basis here, don't I, they'll be in my pocket. They'll be in my pocket, which is great. I'm going to take Number care of your three. song, Pope Piss Bot. I saw you message. The fact that, like I said, in the, at least in this place that I'm looking, uh, is great internet. Great Seattle internet, of course. Hip happening kind of modern place. <laughs> the people. hip modern place. Microsoft. Hey, once you learn it's it's a place for hipsters, you're gonna hate it. You're gonna despise Seattle. Oh my God, they're cute with their purple fucking hair and their typical uh, hipster fucking glasses. Ugh. Soft is there, or like right outside. That makes of me cringe. So it's known for that, and so the internet there is pretty good, especially with some this, weird like, like porno. Uh. The uh, not the Yahoo. What am I talking about? The Verios, uh, Verizon. The Yahoo. I can't speak English. Verizon. <laughs> Verizon FiOS is really good in that area. I've seen ratings for it. Everyone says it's incredible, and you can get it in that area. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and there's a major city that, from all accounts, is a great city. I've actually have family who lived there all their life. My aunt lived there. Just outside, she actually lived to the west of Seattle. Hey, rest in peace, aunt. Bremerton. Bremerton, Washington is where she lived for a long, long time. She absolutely loved it. She says, you know, the only thing about it is the rain. Yes, they get a lot of rain in Seattle. They absolutely do. But here's the thing. This is what people don't understand. This is what I love. People, the grass, you got to remember something. The grass is always greener on the other side, okay? Really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> so... Oh uh, yeah, it's the same one that that gave him gout, oh, basically. It that it's that one. Take it, it's so dreary and depressing. Listen, the reason it rains all the time in Seattle is because they have a moderate climate, which means oh it's yeah, not very very much. <laughs> the reason for the climate is the climate. Thank you, Mister uh, Climate Fucking Weatherman, Phil Burnell. During the course, master of the year, forecaster. Maybe, you know, at most. A 30 to 40 degree fluctuation where it maybe goes from like, you know, 20 degrees up to say 60, 70 degrees when it's warm. It's not that big of a change, okay? The reason they get so much rain. Hey, big ups, uh, Kenishi. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for everybody that's still here almost four hours after we started. It was an odyssey today. We saw begging about Horizon. We saw begging about fucking PC. Some weird pre-stream absolute disaster. I even played games today. I was terrible at Dying Light, which is uh, always fun. Else the country is getting so yeah, big ups, everybody. It's a fucking snow. It's warm in Seattle, so they just get rain. Compare that with Connecticut. Climate side, Phil. That's your guy. It's over 100 degrees. And we go below zero. So more than... Yeah, that PC moment. The, the PC thing pissed me off. Because he went... First, he mentioned... Uh, my, my stream looks like ass. 
And of course, he was setting himself up to say uh, something about a PC. And then he brought up that people behind the scenes want to buy him a PC. Several people want to buy this man a PC. And then he continued with what to a normal person would seem like convincing you not to buy him a PC by telling you how lazy he is, how he can't even set up OBS because it's going to crash all the time and all this fantasy nonsense. Terrible. Uh, Elden Ring, probably not day one. I'm probably going to be playing it way down the line. The I don't know. I'm just not really all that uh, big of a fan. Temperature range of Seattle. I don't have a much of a yeah. backstory with From Software stuff. Humid fucking weather in the summer. Unbearable. You need to have your air conditioner blasting. We get incredibly bone incredibly. cold snow. Yeah, this is massive over exaggerations. Come on. In the winter, tell me where the benefit is to live in Connecticut. Seriously, someone. Show me fucking something. Yeah, for real. In, in in fucking Holland, people ride a bike in like minus 20 fucking degrees, minus 10 degrees. We're riding bikes in the wind, bro. It's not that fucking hard. Come on. You're a grown ass man. You're literally a grown ass man. You're not a child. You don't have an actual family. Find it. You know what I mean? No. Sure. Okay. So I'm moving to a place where it rains all the time. But I'll be able to walk outside in the summer. And yeah, and you guys from Europe, especially the North and Scandinavia and stuff like that, you live in like minus 20 degrees and it's casual for you, right? You just put on a jacket, you go outside, you go to work. You go to public transport, you ride a bike or you drive a car. It's fucking hard. Fucking breathe. I'll be able to walk outside in the winter and fucking move. Not be frozen. And he's gonna snow. die. He's gonna die, freeze in snow. His back is gonna explode. <laughs> a madman. Actual so, madman. Uh, am I playing Gran Turismo 7? Not really. Okay. Um, not really. We are... And, and not really looking forward to playing anything else not, new. Okay, we're moving there definitively. That's it. Except Dying Light that I'm playing right now. On. We're going to look at these houses. We're going to see if there's any any house that looks like this could be it. it has this could be it. It's. I think it was the first one. But no, they, they saw a couple of houses. But maybe it was the first one. Because it was the Ranton house that they got in the end, obviously. Features that we like, things that we like about the house, okay? Oh yeah, Southern Europe is also, you, you can hit 40 casually. Basically, that's a that's a day in Europe when you get like 35 to 40 degrees uh, Celsius, I mean. And uh, still, it's, it's the same thing here in the north. It's, it's also, we get like 35, 37 degrees is like casual stuff. If we find that, then the next step would be to tell the realtor. The realtor will then talk to the bank. The bank then has to actually draw the loan, approve the loan for me. And then once the loan is approved, then we go and make an offer on the house, which means that we're actually putting Okay, now, now he's just giving you the just the, the same explanation. Let's see what else is in this. Uh, preparing for new home, pre-approval letter. It's the same shit, right? 105. Oh yeah, we're way past that. And then there's Skype calls. Oh, there we go. Oh, and then I exactly where the timestamp is, he burps. I, I wonder if that's supposed to be an intentional joke or just something. <laughs> what is this guy going to say? Oh, no, somebody was watching him since a child. Okay, we don't care about this. A dick stroking segment. Um, The next one is going to be, what was this? First of April. Then we get November 2013. We get uh, here moving vlogs. April 24th, moving updates. Let's see how it how it went. And a T. Carter tribute show for his passed away friend, which is very bizarre. Very bizarre. Recap of April. We don't care. Okay, let's see this. All right. And then from an hour and three minutes, T. Carter gets almost, what, 45 minutes. It's wild. What I want to do now is give you a cumulative idea of what's been going on with me and my life. And this monetizes 100%. Yeah. For those wanting to know more about my friend, his full name was T Talrens Carter. So yeah, this uh, dude that passed away, DSP is making a video about him. Being ventures. Fucking you know, nice. Wonder, what is he talking about? Uh, you know, I haven't been following along for a few weeks or whatever. I don't know what, what's going on. I know he was gone for two weeks, but I didn't really pay attention. All right, here's the deal. I've come to my wits end. My last episode of Hate Live, I talked about this. I can't be in Connecticut anymore. My internet is... Bro. We're getting the same thing, the, the same, <laughs> the same story. I would have paid last month and overall I'll be paying less for to get this loan, which is grow oh, this guy for real. It's the same thing. How long does he talk about it? 20 something minutes and it's the same discussion. 
conflict of interest slaps them in the face. Oh, no, we're not talking about this interest in uh, buying houses. Okay, so next we have gaming news. We don't care about this. Net neutrality. We don't care about this. It's not happening anyways. Moving update again in May 29th. And he moved. When did he move? Actually, the summer of, of May. Here he has the beanie on. Slick. Um, we have the special thank you segment to the viewers for being good pay picks. Wow, very nice. Let me know clicking on those ads. What I've been up to recently and let you know what I'm They've going been to lurking and stalking when you least, you least expect it. Exactly what I'm reading your comments and they're making me smile. What you want to see <laughs> when it's going to be available, etc. Not that you're blindsided or you miss a really cool event. Yeah, I want him like to that. talk about haters. Um, so, in the coming weeks, we've got... Oh, okay. <laughs> there's one... There's one hate live that literally just says life story slash inspirational words, which I'm very fucking confused what that's going to be. Huge game release is coming Let's out. Let's see, here we're talking about game releases, DS. Let's skip this shit. So don't Stop listen. rambling to bullshit. Not this Saturday, but a week from this Saturday, John Rambo and I will be doing our final, this is official, our final in-person wwe 2k14 simulation matches and when i say that is there is potential that using some technology and things that possibly in the future we could continue to do them over the internet but for now this will be the final one we do like this in person it's going to be all fantasy matches we are going to go all out the final brawl in wwe we're gonna all right this is not supposed to be this bro review of what i've been working on oh yeah that's that's some trash uh, so yeah, he was all he was planning about is uh, milking Rambo as much as possible. Milk that Rambo. That being said, I want to especially thank everyone of you. Whether Special you're thanks to everyone. Whether you're a longtime viewer, whether you've watched every single stream, every single video I've ever put out, or whether you've only watched one and you just came here tonight to see what the hell I'm all about, I want to say thank you to you. Because sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I mean this. You guys are the ones that made this possible. Yes, <laughs> I worked hard. Yes, I was... Yes, I worked hard. hard. When? When? The most credit I can give them is, is actually staying on that grind. And playing games day one and going to the store and picking them up and playing them as soon as he gets them for as long as he can. I give him respect for this. Because this takes something. It, it takes some effort. Nowadays, zero. None of that. None of that. Horizon Forbidden West, one of the top games of this year, came out yesterday. And he just played it to the normal capacity he does. Nothing special. Still did the pre-stream, still rambled for two hours on. Ridiculous. Was when a, a Absolutely time ridiculous. With YouTube and YouTube videos and people wanted to play games on YouTube and see people play games on YouTube. And I was just part of that wave of popularity that hit. And yes, things are starting to die out and it, the market is oversaturated and things have changed. But because of you... You guys changed my life. Things are starting to die out is what the guy says. The same guy that intends on moving across the country and hopes that his income stays the same so he can pay all his shit. That same guy is telling you shit is dropping off. Madness. Life. And I hope Personified. that you understand that because you know, I was at a point in my life where I really was in a rut. I had a job that I worked at where I wasn't being appreciated. Because you didn't do a good job. Um, my back was killing me. My back injury was a lot worse back you then. didn't do a good job uh, day in life? Day, I didn't have positive reinforcement. <laughs> I didn't really even feel that many people even gave a shit about me or my opinions or anything that I did at my job or anything in my life. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have, uh, you know, a healthy relationship really with many Do you people. now? Do you yeah. now? Do you now? The friends that you use to take advantage of to to make uh, co-op gameplays with you and Rambo to drive you places and the girlfriend that you used to uh, to just cook you dinner that you woke up from being sick to make you dinner and those people that you appreciate that you love in your life and uh when this whole thing happened where all of a sudden just a guy who's dicking around and started playing games for fun on YouTube took off the way it did and the fact that all of a sudden people wanted to see me every day. People cared about what I was doing. People were telling me overwhelmingly I was entertaining and I was giving them free fun every day. I was changing their mood. I was giving them a positive look and a positive perspective and a big positivity boost and laughter at a time in their lives. Now that's a thing. They were really that is suffering. a thing. It made me feel... That's a thing when you get uh, comments like this, but you can't really 
get lost in the sauce in these comments because they're going to keep coming no matter what you do if you're like a youtuber with hundreds of of in thousands of like subs and and people that allegedly care you're going to see them but you can't be completely lost in the sauce when you see something like this and and say to yourself man i just need to keep doing this can't get better feel so good about myself to say wow i am capable of doing good i am you know people do care that i i can do positive stuff and i do mean something right and it is good for it's, uh crazy. it's great for motivation but not for comfort you shouldn't get too comfortable from these comments keep doing the grind but don't get too comfortable wild ride whether it was you know on youtube itself then going around the the, the uh the country vlog going around the world like almost said going on blip coming back to youtube being partnered with machinima going has he ever left the the us i don't think so where would he go who would take him anywhere e3 going to gaming conventions and meeting a lot of you doing panels being guests uh doing amazing cool projects like project seven something i wanted to do my whole life and i actually got to do four episodes of a, a series that i never ever thought i would ever be able to do in my life having fun playing so many games i never fathomed in my wildest dreams that i would be doing something for a living that i love to do and i have fun doing i'm so incredibly grateful for it i want to say especially thanks to all of you you guys made it possible as much as i could kiss my own ass and say oh it's because i put in hard work and it's because of this and that the bottom line is if you didn't watch i wouldn't be if you didn't click on the ads i know that you guys are the reason that <laughs> i am able to leave connecticut finally for the first time in my life take control of my life leave this state that by the way now he's having these uh, monologues when when he's literally not gonna go homeless when you save the house when you paid the bills Back then, he was thankful for moving across the country. Look at how the mighty have fallen. Mighty is in, is in massive quotation marks, by the way. That I massive. don't like, that I don't want to And be fallen is in capital letters. Go somewhere where I think I'm going to be more well accepted, more welcome, feel more into me that I'm in the right... Place. Where are you going to be more accepted? In a gated community where basically nobody knows you? That you don't get go out of? Where are you going to be more accepted, more like What? I feel so out of place here in Connecticut. No one here around here is into the stuff I'm into. Like what? Like eating burgers and staying inside and playing games? That's what Rambo is into. Come on. He was in all the DSP Trizons. Oh my god, the way he shits on his friends. On everybody that he knows in Connecticut. Nobody here is, is into what I do. I just feel like the oddball out. To finally go to a place where there's a younger, uh, you know, a younger base of people. And there's going to be people who are into the kind of stuff that I'm into. I'm going to live like... Yeah, that's a uh, that's a good this. comment, Pope Bispot. The moment he took control of his life, he decided to wail out on mobile games. <laughs> that's what he did. He steered completely off a cliff. Seattle, where I could drive into the city and attend tons of conventions and things that are people of like mind for me. This is like the dream come true, and you guys made it possible. So thank you so oh, much for, for all the attending bullshit, conventions, all the, high highs, the low lows, the trials, the tribulations. Oh, buddy, the success. lows haven't even started yet. We're yet about to jump off the cliff. And I got to tell you, your parachute isn't working. You got to hold on to people whose parachutes are working as uh, they drop you off and then you hold on to the next one and then you get too heavy and then they drop you again. And eventually it's going to be a landing. This is the failures. The fact that, yes, I know that I am a fallible person. I am at sometimes a weak person and a lot of people say phil you should just ignore all negativity and continue on and i would love to do that but i'm a fallible person and you know i make mistakes and i do unfortunately mention haters more than i should and i i, I the weakness of mine is that i have anger issues and i get angry about stuff or emotional about stuff and i have to talk about it because it makes me feel better to vent okay you guys stuck in there the whole goddamn time and with this whole ridiculous mentality on youtube from people not people who know me not people who've watched my content over the years but this new group of people who know nothing about me and bought into this stupid <laughs> almost they bought in horrible, almost a cultish mentality at this point that i am the worst gamer on the internet oh wait the trolls bought in the trolls bought in even way back and now he's asking his own people to buy in so we are brainwashed because we bought in but when you buy into his scam you're you're great I mean, you guys who stuck in there, you made all this possible. You were making a major positive change in my life. Thank you. Okay? I hope you understand that I am so <laughs> grateful. There's nothing that I would do. You guys don't believe all the evidence that I'm a shitty person. I love you. That way, I would, I would change anything, right? 
to make it that I don't have this relationship with you guys anymore because it's such a great thing. It's a positive thing. I hope that you, on your end, feel that you're getting enough out of this, this relationship that we have because... I do as much as I can to entertain you and really, you know, that's as much as I can as I can do for you. Scumbags and mental cases on the internet still support me. Your views have shown me that I am worth something and that I'm entertaining and that I can help people. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for letting me move into this next stage of my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't be any more grateful. And uh, you can be more again, grateful. Positive stuff you can actually here. express your gratitude in uh various other ways especially for your viewers you can give him more benefits like the patreon that he was gonna get later but of course he could have been making better videos higher quality stuff but no i'm just gonna say thank you once we get to this new place new office new layouts new filming locations new series new everything coming very shortly thank you all right so now we've got one news story in particular I want to talk about, and then we're going to go on our first break for Hate Live tonight. Okay. Wait, he's taking multiple breaks for an hour and a half podcast. Now he's doing it freestyle off the dome. Doesn't even put timestamps back in the day he used to, but it's okay. <clears throat> so, the one big news story that came out this week, and there were a few. Oh, Vince McMahon lost seven hundred fifty million dollars. I'll talk about With that. Vince on McMahon. It's actually, not even big news. The biggest news for me. Oh wait, is we're talking about uh, news, gaming news. All right, let's skip, skip, skip through June, and we're going to twelfth of June, two thousand fourteen. Uh, best worst of E3 live story slash inspirational words. I'm very interested by how inspirational those words are gonna be, because I'm really feel feeling. Like, I really want to be inspired, especially after that pre-stream. Uh, the best advice I can ever give anyone in my life. This is a timestamp, so I'm, I'm sure that's going to be awesome. An abridged summary of my life. Wow. I'm very curious about this. Let's take a look. It starts from 48 minutes and it goes until an hour 13. Wow. This was a great theme song. And he's right, back. Everyone, welcome All back. right, everyone. Welcome back. I can't even remember the name of the show. Hate Live. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Welcome back to Joe's Adventures. What? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, segment two, back in the day. What I'm going to do is give you guys an abridged, and I mean really abridged version, of my life here in Connecticut. Uh, the things that I've, I've done for work, for school, uh, for enjoyment, and uh, kind of just run through a history of my life from start to finish because now I really do feel that this move to Washington is the beginning of the next major chapter in my life. Um, so I was born in uh, April of 1982 and I was right. born in the middle of a blizzard. Born yeah, on 4th of April. July, almost. It was an effing blizzard. Actually, though, no, it's my fucking dad April. I didn't even get to the <laughs> hospital in time to see my birth in person. He was there, got there a little bit late because there was so much snow, there was no physical way he could get there. Uh, for, for Shout either. out to Paul. He failed. Um, I guess my mom had been at the hospital for several days. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. An abridged version of my life. He starts with his actual birth. Actual birth. Actually, the birth of DSP. It's when a summary of his life starts. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't blame you if you want to close the tab and, and go watch something better. I don't blame you. But I'm, I'm curious. What is going to be this? Etc, etc. Um... But yeah, I was born. born so I begged. I knew that that was gonna be something. <laughs> I was born. I became the guy. I begged. I died. Right. And I grew up in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, at that point, I hate to say, it, at that point it was a great neighborhood. Lots of friendly people of all kinds of cultures. All right. All I know what this is gonna uh, lead into. And and ethnic backgrounds. Although there were a lot of people that were Italian and Polish, but there were also. You know, African American, Italian and Hispanic. Polish, there was a lot and of he is both in, of the people who lived around my neighborhood. And I remember growing up when I was a small, small child. I was a huge fan of action figures. If you could get me GI Joe, Wolverine, He Man, Transformers, any of that stuff, I was in love with it. 
And then I remember the first major fad in my life was when I saw the, the Ghostbusters movie. Of I course. It was new. Who is in it? Tell me about Harold Ramis. And I freaking love Tell me about it. Bill Murray. I, I would sit there and watch the damn movie on loop sometimes two, three times in a day during like the summer. And it was pretty crazy that I would go on this like these crazy. She would watch Ghostbusters cool. twice a day. That was some dedication. He really liked that movie. Well, Ghostbusters, and of course, Ghostbuster <laughs> cartoon came on TV. Ghostbusters action figures, and I was all over the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I even remember saying, I hope one day they make a Ghostbusters 2. And then finally they did, and it was like the best thing ever when I started seeing the previews for Ghostbusters 2. Uh, I had local friends in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, my next door neighbor's name was Ned. He was a little bit younger than me, a few years younger than me. Um, one or two houses over... Uh, there was a kid named Raymond, and he was like, well, real close. Harold Raymond. All the time. We would play video games. We would play action figures. We would do all kinds of stuff together. Um, there were other neighborhood kids as well that would come by every once in a while to play stuff, but it wasn't, all, it was usually, that was the core group, the three of us. And, uh, you know, as you grow up, you go start going to school. I'm going to turn this up to, uh, 125. Let's see if it's going to be way too weird. It doesn't exist anymore. It closed down. I started there in kindergarten, which when I was five years old, and I actually I don't know if this is better. So you're is this better? Five years old, all the way up to what is that? Uh, fourteen or fifteen? I think it's fifteen, right? Fifteen years old, fourteen or fifteen. Okay. That's a good chunk of my life. That was a good, you know, eight years, if not more. Yeah, that's almost that as big as your school. legacy. It's a big run, right? Yeah, this song is lit. That you actually did for your life for eight years, pretty crazy. And uh, and so yeah, I went to St. Ambrose School. It's a, it's a Catholic school. Which was weird. I mean, my, my parents were trying to raise me Catholic, but I only knew the basics about, you know, Jesus or whoever. It was really when I started going to this school and they started teaching you the religious portions. You started getting into the dogmas. And the <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This can't be on 125. This is way too, uh, way too crazy. He, know, he knew only the basics about religious, uh, about uh, Christianity, such as Jesus and you know who. The doctrines. No <laughs> I just know that Jesus, Jesus was a thing. And the old God and the new God. Because on, on, on Christmas, we celebrate Jesus. Forgiveful, forgiving, forgiving, and the Son of God, and the Holy Trinity, and the sacraments. Oh, God, the sacraments. I had to do all that stuff, and it was like... Yeah, it was like... Uh, Holy Communion was like the most important... Like thing. learning the lore for, for a video game. And, uh, and he wasn't even a gamer for the time. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Um, Doing all that stuff. It was pretty crazy, yeah. When I graduated from, from St. Ambrose School, started to become a little bit more independent. Yeah, they didn't teach him the Ten Commandments. About. When I go to church, what is it that I'm really <laughs> They should have phrased it differently so it's catchier. The Top Ten Commandments of, of 2015. <laughs> right. Um, the Top Ten know, Commandments. I'm the Top Ten Worst Sunday. Sins. I, I, just, I just remember. I remember this one particular Sunday. I'm sitting there at church. And everyone's, oh, they're singing and they're saying their prayers and blah, blah. Half the people, I swear, you know, are falling asleep. Half the people are falling asleep in church, literally. They just don't give a shit. They're only there to go through the motions. The other half are, like, so into it or whatever. And I'm like... Hey, later, John Rankin. If you really cared about... Big people, ups for you be, like, doing sticking around. Right now, like, instead of sitting in a church, all kind of, like, reciting at the same time like a cult... Why don't you go work in a soup kitchen on Sunday and help people? Yeah, don't forget to clock you know, out on the way out. Exclamation clock me. out. I was like... Otherwise, I will think you're still in attendance. And then I, I will realize you're not. And I'll think attendance is really low. That's that's what it means. No, it actually doesn't do anything. You know? Like, I could be doing it's so just a many gag. better things with my life than sitting in a church and chanting this thing in unison, you know. And that was kind of like the dawn of like independent thought for me, you know. Where my whole life I had been raised by my parents and their dogmas and doctrines and then the Catholic Church and all that. And it was just this epiphany that happened to me that there may be better things in my life that I could figure out for my own rather than just listening to what everyone told me, right? Um, <laughs> That's why I, I decided to have a call. Youth. I'll be honest, I started becoming a rebellious youth. And so I'd say probably about midway through... Midway it was through rebellious. Uh, I started to... Uh, <laughs> How can I explain? I started to just kind of like almost rebel, meaning why am I, you know, why am I doing everything that I've been told my whole life? In high school, by the way, I went to another another Catholic school. Course. This is all my parents' idea. Another Catholic school, Notre Dame Catholic school in Fairfield, Connecticut. Completely, you know, them doing shit and telling me what to do with my life. <laughs> 
and <laughs> they were I just basically were like going to this school, what in the first two years I remember this guy is great it, it all makes sense now he was just rebellious then he became the guy and made his own cult and now you need to buy in everything is clear I busted my ass okay I've been over backwards I worked my ass to the bone to have straight A's because my parents have convinced me that's why his back hurts that, now you're gonna you're gonna go to a he bend over too far scholarships you're gonna go go places and you can be an important rich person one day two years of getting straight A's okay I said why am I doing all this fucking work I really get the feeling that this is not gonna pay off I, I, I should be enjoying my high school years not literally working every fucking moment so I did that junior year my whole mentality changed and even though I continued to still get good grades, and maybe it wasn't straight, straight A's, right? Yeah, it's okay to let your kid have a B every once in a while. I mean, you stickler fucking parents. And uh, and I started hanging out with my friends more. I started Toxic more fucking parents. You know, things that you youthful teenagers do versus just study all fucking day. And uh, <laughs> well, you played Street I Fighter. Remember, and it was funny because it all, it all became true, of course. When I finally graduated from high school in the year 2000, I was the valedictorian. A lot of people won't believe me. I was the valedictorian of my high school. Uh, regardless of the fact that I wasn't like a super nerdy type or anything, I had ended up being the highest ranked in my school. And I didn't get accepted to any of the high top, high decorated colleges, which if you're supposed to be the smartest person, you should get into, right? Yale rejected me. Harvard rejected me. There were three of them. I can't even remember what the third. <laughs> he wanted to get into Harvard and Yale. Get a real fucking job. You're still on mission one. You're still on mission one. You're still on mission one. He wanted to get it to Harvard. One was, but every Ivy League school that I applied to said, no, when you want to know why they rejected me, it's this simple. Because I'm a white male, because I don't belong to any of the families that are. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. It's uh, the lore about being a valedictorian. Legacy. There you go. Rich families that have already sent their kids to those schools. Okay. Um. I didn't, I, you know, didn't have any kind of wasn't rich. special quality for me to get in, right? I didn't know anyone. I wasn't in the in crowd of people who, oh, you got to get him in. And uh, I, I wasn't a minority to hit their minority quotas. And I wasn't a sports star to hit their sports quotas. I was just a smart, normal kid. And that's not what Ivy League looks for. Ivy League does not want the smartest kids. They want to keep <laughs> this conformist group of fucking people, right? These, these high echelon people. Uh, You're the, begging you know, the for ten dollars and twenty dollars. You know, just look at the people who go there and realize their family is gone there forever, because they're trying to keep this one percent in power, and they know that if you go to those schools. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on-demand and also live video streaming services by eBay. Right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. Schools, regardless if you're smart or dumb as fucking dirt. <laughs> this guy is godlike. President of the United States. Just look at George W. Bush, the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met in my life, is a fucking idiot, and he was the president of the United States simply because he's in that family and he went to an Ivy League school. It's a joke. Okay. It's a joke. Phil should be president, and and he should have a King of Hate mug, the president of hate, uh, like the one he had just now. And back then he didn't even have a bald spot. Look at how good he was. Phil for president. So after. If Kanye West can run for president, why not Phil? And this is a nice typo, so you can uh, you can screenshot this. Years of me busting my ass. When I hit college, I said, fuck this shit. I yeah, said Harvard is punching the air right now. They really wish they had Phil. Man, if we scooped him up, god damn it. Not busting my ass anymore. It's not worth it. And I realize it's all about who you know, and if you're privileged. Or it's like having the number one draft pick and then draft some scrub. Oh no, we fucked up. We should have picked Phil. I knew I knew no one and I wasn't privileged. He's the so LeBron James of uh, bad playthroughs. As a triple, triple double. That didn't work out. I went to Fairfield University, by the way. By the way, he was going to go into programming. Which I, f I quickly found out was not the kind of people that I am. What I mean by that is almost 95% of the people who went to Fairfield University. <laughs> I love this hate live. I love it. had tons of money. Their parents would pay for their cars, pay for everything, pay their whole fucking way. I was not. I was only there because I had a scholarship. It was the only way I could afford to go there. I still had to take out student loans because it wasn't a full scholarship. They didn't offer <clears throat> full scholarships. And uh, not to say that it was a bad school for business. It was actually quite a good school. But 
really at that point. <laughs> yeah, he's the LeBron James of begging. He gets a trip. He's the Russell Westbrook of begging. He gets a triple double every every stream. Uh, a double digit number of begging, of uh, of stalling, and of making excuses. After finding out that their computer triple double was every day, the teacher was awful, and me changing majors and going into business. I was like, I will get as good grades as I can. And I don't care about getting straight A's anymore. This is a waste of my time. Primarily what I did while I went to college is I worked on the side. And so now let's start talking about my work life. Also, oh, let's start school, talking about the jabs. I had a job that I had at a local mall. And I like to joke about it. I used to say I pumped salad. Get a salad. real fucking job. I'm sorry. I, I pumped salad. What the fuck? I tossed salad and pumped yogurt for a living. You know, because I know how to laugh about myself. I worked at a health food store and it was frozen yogurt and custom made salads. That's what we did. There. Okay, I get it. You're explaining your joke. Five years, making minimum wage the whole time. And uh, I used that to pay my way through different events. So my hobby was video games and Street Fighter. I used that to pay to go to tournaments, to pay to fly across the country, to be five, to pay to go to ECC and other events. So that was really the way that I financed my whole hobbies was through working, and also I used that to pay my student loans off. And then when I was in college, I remember I wanted to do a slight upgrade during late college, so I quit that job. I eventually got a job at Circuit City, which doesn't exist anymore, but there used to be a electronic- Circus City, because he was a clown. Where, you know, they had cameras, <laughs> they had laptops, they had TVs, they had DVDs, music CDs, stereo systems, they had a car department, all that stuff. And I actually worked at Circuit City for about, I believe it was about two years through college, until finally at the end of college when I graduated college and I said, well, I have a degree in finance now. I, I fuck it all if I know what to do with it. Because when I went to start applying for jobs, it was, well, do you want to work an unpaid internship for a year? Like, well, how do I do that? I can't pay my bills. I can't pay off my student loans. I can't pay for anything if I have an unpaid internship. How do they expect me to be able to do it? So I couldn't. I couldn't do any of the internships. And the banks and the investment firms don't want to just hire someone with no experience. So I had no way to get any experience because I couldn't afford to have an unpaid internship. And no one would hire you otherwise. So I was out of luck. I had a degree that I could do nothing with. So eventually I ended up working for a company that... <laughs> yeah, you should have got paid in tips. Finance, and really it had nothing to do with it at all. It was Wells Fargo Financial, which is just a mortgage company where you would give mortgages to people, small loans, unsecured credit cards. Oh, he was scamming people. For about a year, only to find <laughs> out that really the purpose of that business was to be a predatory lender. Yeah, he was scamming people. Only to people with low credit. So really what we would do is we would find people with low credit scores who were desperate. We would give them loans on their houses that were- Wait, it took you that long to figure out that it was a scam? <laughs> Basically, this is how it was a scam, but it took me a long time to figure out what my job was. Put in all their debt, and then next thing you know, the market fell out, and everyone's houses got foreclosed on because they couldn't afford to pay the payments, and they had no equity in their house anymore. That's literally what the business was. So after a year of being there and me having major disagreements with the manager... We had a sex bot invasion again, uh, but I it got handled quickly. Job. I that got this. The year that ties into last year's story about uh, EVO 2005. You're going to stay on my dick until you die. That was the year that I did in 2005 after leaving that job, but before I went on to my next one. My next job was working as a business associate or business team specialist at Best Buy. And what my job was supposed she to was be- was a specialist. I would learn nice. About networking and I would learn about PCs, which I already knew about. As I told you guys, I used to build PCs. I used to do networking. I used to do all that stuff. But I was supposed to have- Networking to like what? Came in Plug in. <laughs> Plugging in the ethernet cable and the PC. And said, I'm setting up my own small business and I need computers in there and I need point of sale systems and all that. I was supposed to be able to sell them all that stuff. It never came to fruition because about six months into the program, they dumped all the resources. Uh, big ups, your boy, for the super chat. Uh, wait, he got a degree, but admits knowing nothing and doesn't get why he didn't get a job. His mind is a maze of madness. Please tip for the bills. <laughs> You're still on mission one. He was always on mission one. Somehow he, I don't know, valedictorian and everything. He got a job at, at Circus City. Company said they didn't want to do it anymore, and they realized they. Had I, I love this hate live. It's so good. It's so good. An abridged summer summary of my life, and it's uh yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then we have the best advice I can ever give anyone in life. Stay tuned for this. It's coming soon. They're paying us in like a twenty lot minutes. Oh no, in ten minutes. They didn't have anything to fucking do. They literally had us covering the floor, being normal sales associates, because they can't. Oh, we're gonna see the helicopter job a thousand percent. Our manager got fired. 
the district guy who was supposed to be in charge of the program almost never even came by the store anymore. And eventually he was transitioned out. And then after a year working at Best Buy, they wanted to get rid of everyone in the business team because we were getting paid too much money. And they eventually framed me. Yes, they framed me saying that I abused the store discount policy by saving a dollar. <laughs> he got framed. Three PlayStation 2s, which I used in a video. He's the fugitive. And they fired uh, a guy with one arm framed him. Right. Oh, my God. You, you guys are not going to believe this. The guy that said that I stole all the PlayStation 1s, he had one arm. I appeal a thousand percent on the appeal. I got a massive amount of unemployment money out of them and made them look like a bunch of jackasses <laughs> and he won. And now now he gets to take a sip out of the, the dark side fill mug. I love this mug. It's one of the, the things I would literally buy it off of him. I would buy it off of him. This is like vintage memorabilia. This is like that CM Punk flag that he has that it's like a limited edition, very limited. It, it's crazy expensive. Some crazy stuff I've been through in my life, right? So then, to give you some perspective on how this has worked, I lived with my parents my whole life, up until I got the, that, that job at Wells Fargo Financial. During that period of time, I moved out of my parents' house, and I actually got a three-bedroom apartment, which I shared with two roommates who were other employees of Wells Fargo Financial at the time, and that was up in New Haven, Connecticut, Okay. I had that. No, he actually won here. that case. He did. He did win the. Reliable, and he wanted to move The out. case for the PlayStations or whatever it was. Apartment, and at that some point, nonsense. I did. I stopped working at that at that job, lost that job, and started working at Best Buy. But what I found out working at Best Buy is that even with the amount of money they were paying me, I wasn't making a hell of a lot of money, and I really couldn't afford to have this apartment. In addition, because I had been. I had to leave that other job, and as I told you, to go to Evo 2005, I had racked up my credit card bills, like, sky high. I owed a ton of credit card debt, and I really couldn't afford the apartment anymore. So I ended up, when I got the Best Buy job, moving back out from New Haven, back in with my parents. So how many people in life can say that they moved out of their parents' house, they felt like they were going to be successful on their own, things didn't work out, and they had to move back into their parents' house. That's literally what happened to me. Then I ended up finally getting a job, after the Best Buy debacle, all right, all right. Helicopter Support Incorporated. This, this is it. Also in this Austin. is the big one. Actually, I take that back. I think Helicopter Support was just over the Trumbull line, so they were considered Trumbull, not Bridgeport. Okay, and uh, this job was so different than anything I had done. Customer service, so you're the face of the company to the customer. Customers would come to to me and say, "Phil, I have a helicopter." And I operate it myself, but this particular part broke. My mechanic told me this part broke. What can you do for me? And I would go out there and look. Do any companies have the part available? Do we maybe have the part available? Because we had a huge inventory of, of helicopter parts in our inventory. If it was a really expensive part, like a helicopter blade, that costs so much money to make that no, no one wants to buy a new one. We had an actual shop where people worked on helicopter parts and blades and stuff like that. We would talk to them. Gee, do you have a refurb? Do you have something available that we could get this customer right away as, as, a, as a, a more inexpensive way to get them flying again? And that was my job. I was basically the go-between between customers and our company finding parts for people and getting those parts out to the operators. What ended up happening was that three years into me being at this job, which I got nothing but great ratings, promotions, all kinds of great stuff, the economy turned. And when the economy turned, um, unfortunately, what ended up happening was that the company had year record increase. Oh, I, I'm doing it the wrong direction. Or am no, I was doing it the right direction. Record increase, record increase, record increase. <laughs> he still wasn't good at making hand charts. He got them wrong. But nowadays, he's a professional because he got used to uh, doing the downward one. Sales, record increase, sales, and then mission one, mode, and then it went. <laughs> Because no one could afford to operate a helicopter anymore because the economy had turned in the United States. So this uh, during that period of time that I started Oops. doing YouTube as a hobby. All right. Also hurt my back. I need to go back a uh, uh, a slight bit. I opened Kenny versus Penny somehow. Shout out to Kenny versus Penny. All right, we're back. So finally, after moving back in with my parents for like three years, I moved back out again. And moved into this condo into the summer of 2009. And as you guys know, it was that during that period of time that I started doing YouTube as a hobby. I also hurt my back, or didn't really hurt it, but I found out about the severely herniated disc in my lower back. And found he out found out he was dying. Company, more like play football or anything. 
he found out he had to start taking advantage of people and he was like dude fuck yeah i can't do anything now anything like that so i ended up doing a lot more less physical activities like gaming a hell of a lot more so i buy this place in 2009 and you know start doing my thing with youtube and everything in it in fact i still remember when i had the office job when batman arkham uh, asylum came out i actually took the day off of work i took two days actually off of work just to play batman arkham asylum because I knew it was going to be great. And you know what? I don't regret it at all. Even though they were my vacation days and I used them to play games, it was worth it. That game was great. The playthrough did well. You know what I mean? It was that kind of stuff that got me notoriety on YouTube back then. Isn't notoriety when when you're, like, infamous? So. I don't know. You know, my hobby... He was the king of hate, though. Everything at work is going well. People are saying, I'm getting all these great evaluations. Everything's saying, you're doing great above and beyond. In fact... At this point, they started grooming me at this job around 2009. They started lead, grooming him. Lead in continuous improvement. And what that means is that they I'm have sure. a program where they were teaching people to become not these, these employees of customer support anymore, but to be advanced in, in the, the business. <clears throat> what you would do, you would look at a process. So let's say the repair process to repair a part at the company. And you would say, what's step one, step two, step three? All he, he learned how to process. groom from there. The That's why it worked so good on Pandaly. The customer. You would map out the process, you would time each step, you would find out at what points do we have problems in our process, right? What, when do we have problems and we mark them off? And it was your job to eliminate those problems or cut them down or revamp the process to save time and money. And I became trained to do this. I actually have a certification on the wall in my bedroom, ACE, ACE, Achieving Competitive Excellence, where I became a, considered an associate. It's the, the first major level of achievement and training for it. I ran events. I was in charge of amazing guy. The repair How did it all come down to this building from start to finish? And I did it. I, I mapped it out. I did this whole thing. No one else did stuff like this. I was the only person who was doing stuff like this because they trusted me to do it. So I revamped the whole process. We revamped the whole computer system and all this, right? Revamped this everything. 2009, 2010. <laughs> as it, I was paired with doing my YouTube hobby here at home. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden in the middle of 2010, basically here's what happened. Like I said, record. all of a sudden they started pissing money away. They were making no money anymore, this company, because the economy turned. They decided they were going to do a reorganization of the company. The economy turned and became a zombie. A company that's doing a reorganization. became a detractor. You're up shit's creek. Because what that means is that they are failing and they need to reorganize and screw people over and leave, kick people out and do stuff real nasty to keep the company afloat. And what happened in this case, they did a reorg where they took me out of this department where I was doing all this great work and they put me in a completely different department. And the management there didn't know who I was, didn't know about my, my skill set, didn't care about ACE at all. They literally didn't care for the fact that I had done all this above and beyond work, had gotten recommendations and achievement awards and everything. The, guy, the management there didn't give a fuck about me and after three months they laid me off. <laughs> then you weren't doing that good like, of a job. Wow, what a fail. What a fail by that company. And by the way, that company is now going out of business. They are in the process. Oh, just by the way. Business. They're laid off about probably you're about still 50 75% one. of their workforce. And it's looking like they're going to go completely out of business. Or what they'll do, they won't go out of business, but they'll just have the entire workforce outsourced to some third, third world company. I'm sorry, third world country where everyone gets paid a dollar an hour. You know, and that's where that will exist from now on. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic what a failure that company turned out to be. Yeah, but that's true. It I, did I, I probably guess. expose how terrible he was. <laughs> the the reorganization. So, when probably it, happened, it did. I get laid off. Because it's like, I, I can't really believe that he was that good to go above and beyond. And meanwhile, play games all night, every night, and drink a lot. It all doesn't compute. He's not that kind of a guy that can pull it off. And all I have to go by is his words, and they're kind of, uh, I, I don't trust them about anything, obviously. In 2010, and me, you know, living here for only a year, um, and really having nothing to fall back on. Because like I said, I was blindsided at the time. It was like, I had all these great recommendations and all this stuff. And then I was blindsided, like in Survivor. Like now, the industry... And you tanked. don't have the immunity the idol. Tanked when the economy turned. There was no uh, av no available positions anywhere in Connecticut or anywhere in this area, for that matter, to do similar work. I, w I mean, I could have started from the bottom, but how do I pay for my condo, right, when I'm getting a minimum wage job? Even paying working two, three minimum wage jobs, there's no way I would have been able to afford this place anymore. 
I said, I have to do something. I'm in dire straits. And at that point, in late 2010, I said, I'm just going to try to make a run for it. Let's make YouTube my full-time thing. And let's see if we can make it work. And even then, you know, it hasn't been easy. There's been lots of ups and downs. I would say, you know, that was a, a low. And then all of a sudden, the, the surge of popularity. All I can say is uh, we started from the bottom and... You're still on mission one. Clarity and support I got from YouTube was a high. Being signed by Machinima was a high. And then all of a sudden, uh, I had a, a decline in 2012 where people were like, I was getting too stagnant. I needed to, to adjust. I wasn't, you know, using the newest equipment or anything anymore. And there was a low. And then, of course, at the end of that year, when I took a big pay cut, boom, that was a low. And then I'd say last year it was kind of go, going up again, reinvigoration. You know, <laughs> the roller coaster, the roller coaster of hand charts is impressive. Going up and down and then up and then through the, the little cave right gets Live fucking streams. nice that was a great thing for me and now of course and and he's the only one on the roller coaster which makes it even more exclusive and special again they're going on down again because now you've got the bullshit of everyone on the internet thinks that i'm satan or something because it's a bunch of little immature kids who hate me and want to make hate montages about me yeah it's people, a it's a cult of children percent of the people who are actually doing that who have a snippet of truth the fact that that's their whole goal and they don't see the fact that they're hurting me by doing that negative shit right that they're not teaching me a lesson that's not improving my product no they're actually hurting me as a person by doing that negative shit but they don't understand that because they're not mature adults right they don't they don't have the ability to look in other people's shit Shoes, right? Walk in other people's shoes and see from another perspective. And that's no, it's just me. It's all right. Shit like that, thinking that, oh, it's funny and it's good. It's not. And if you live your life like that, you're never going to get anywhere. You're just going to be a negative person your whole fucking life. And you're never going to enjoy anything. Okay? But anyway, I digress. <laughs> he has this, uh, the same opinion nowadays as well. It's exactly the same thing. That's where I am now. And, you know, and somehow we're still children. Since 2014, we've been children this whole time. What? Now? Here I am in my life, I'm about to leave Connecticut and I'm gonna to go to the West Coast and it's probably, hopefully, gonna be a bit of positive thing. We'll go life. back up on, on the roller coaster ride of life, right? This is how my life- Yeah, it is the roller coaster. Ups and downs and it never seems to just level out. You get high highs and low lows and the one thing though that I have to say, <clears throat> the one thing that I have to say about life, and I hope that a lot of you who are watching this, whether it's on- Okay, this is- you take this to heart because I found- This is Phil's big advice the the massive lesson that you're supposed to learn from his entire summary of his life that he just gave you found this to be a tenant that's been true no okay, matter i'm gonna pause the music for this this needs okay. to be very deep it, it's a very deep moment i need your full complete concentration this is a legend giving out valuable advice bust out a, a blank piece of paper that says bills on it and write down everything you're about to hear you maintain the course if you stay positive and if you don't panic, I, I know that's a Doug Adams line from his freaking books, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's one of the best pieces of advice anyone's ever given me in my life. Because if you don't panic, things find a way of working themselves out in the end. Okay? They just do. There are times in my life when I lost my job or I, you know what I mean, I got laid off, got fired in massive debt, can barely even pay my bills. If you just stay the course, things will find a way of working themselves out. At least in my life, that's the experience I've had. And I hope that people don't, I think it's really people unfortunately lose faith. They lose faith that things are not gonna get better. They lose faith that if they just hang in there, that you know what I mean, that things eventually will. And you know what, I, I am, right in their understanding with those people because there have been some times in my life that I was in the fucking dumps for months on end. I didn't know when the next positive thing in my life was possibly ever going to come, if it ever would, if things would ever get better. And I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was barely able to live where I was living. And, you know, things were uncertain. And I hated my job and I hated my life and I hated everything. But, you know, and I even had crazy, you know, everyone has them in the back of their head, crazy thoughts about, you know, things that, you know, you shouldn't even be speaking of. Let's put it that way. They should not even be spoken of because everyone knows you have your little demons, right? But that's your own thing. And if you can just get through that and you can stay the course and realize that if you can be strong, a strong individual, that you can get through it, 
and you can get past the nasty shit, and there will be a light eventually coming at the end of the tunnel. It might not be the last light, because then you might go down on your next roller coaster ride, right? Because that's how it's been for me, up and down. But you have to hang in there. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm really trying to give you some really good heartfelt advice from my personal experiences. Because I've seen people that they get to that point where they're low and they can't get out of it. And they're just so stuck. And then they give up. And that's the worst thing you could ever do in your life is to just throw in the towel and say, I give up. I'm never going to try to get, have this life be improved for myself. It's never going to get better. You'll lose yourself. You will lose yourself as a person. And you can't do that. On the road of life, you've got to maintain the courts. You've got to stay positive and don't fucking panic and lose it because things will work out there are good people on this planet i know that you may not believe it especially if you're in a dark, dark part of your life right now there are good people on the planet earth who care about others who will help you okay whether it's your parents whether it's your friends whether it's a stranger on the street who's a good samaritan there are good natured good hearted people and you may not find them on the fucking internet on youtube or twitch you may find the most nasty negative elements there okay but out of those five million assholes, there's one nice person who matters and who cares about you. And those are the things you have to focus on in life. And don't get derailed and don't get sidetracked and don't get focused on the negative. Things will get better if you <laughs> hang in there and you don't panic. Okay? Thank you, thank you. This was uh, Phil Burnell from the company Burnell Production On Demand Begging Services. The next uh, TED Talk we have tonight is by Sam Hyde. Let's welcome Sam Hyde, everybody. What a great fucking segment. What an awesome... This is all on mission one. <laughs> what an awesome inspirational speech. I've seen uh, some better speeches in picture books, but this one was still up there. It's still up there for children's poetry and inspirational uh, speeches. All right. Well, sounds good. And of course, he needs to take a massive sip after this and uh, clear his entire mouth. If anything, uh, you know, all these years that I've done stuff. On Let's the get the music back here. That every once in a while, when I little B was going crazy of wisdom that it helps you in your life because really I didn't have anyone in my life quite honestly I'll be honest with you all besides maybe every once in a while a little thing here or there from my parents I didn't have anyone in my life who was guiding me or who was helping me and I had to find a lot of this shit out by myself that's great now you got scumbags and mental cases scumbags and mental cases on the internet still support me there were well it is what times. it is I mean I'm not there were dark times there were a lot of dark times in my life where it was like, I did not see the light, you know? But now being that I've come out of that shit, uh, and I am in a better place. <laughs> what do you mean? You're Dark Side Phil. That's literally your name is Dark Side Phil. And he's like, yeah, I was in the dark side, but I'm not anymore. Now I'm in the bright side. What? Come on. You know, I can say, Walk it like you're talking. Hey, there is light. There is positivity and light and goodness, and you just gotta hang in there to get to it. Don't panic, and you'll get there, okay? Don't panic. Right, I guess <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy has emergency streams and alert streams and important streams in capital letters. And that same guy says, please tip me in capital letters on Twitter. Uh, very impressive. And I think it, that might be it. Uh, what is this? Live callers. Yeah, from 122. So now that's going to be it. Yeah. And uh, with this, I'm going to close this stream. This was a great time. We saw so much, uh, a lot of content, a lot of content from uh, Horizon, Forbidden Vest, to uh, what did we have after that? We had some other begging for something else. Then it was the pre-stream, the PC moment that was terrible and infuriating. And now let's listen to this song that I picked on random. And that's going to be it. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll be back when I'm back. Or something. Don't forget to clock out. Please clock out. Exclamation clock out. So I know there's no problems in the system when I count your hours later. Okay? You're not getting paid, by the way. DSP can knock you out. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. You're still on mission one. Turn on the oven. 
scumbags, scumbags, scumbags and mental faces on the internet still support me. Pay my taxes. I want my Everyone hates me. Everyone hates me. Everyone hates me. Stalking when you least expect it. 